Roasting time. All right, it's time, everybody. We've done the love. We've done the kindness. We've done the, the hope, the hopium, the blah, blah, blah. It's fucking time. So the first one is going to be my debate with destiny, okay? So we're going to go to the YouTube channel. We're going to get that up. Now, if you search Demon Mama Destiny on YouTube, you will notice... Mine is the only version. Mine was the only one that ever got posted. Look at all those views. Damn, that one did good. You think oh, so here we go. All right, everybody. Let's get ready. Okay? Let's get ready. We're going to watch my reactions. We're going to do everything. Before we jump in to watching this one, I would like us to – I would like to explain – the context of how this came about, okay? So, this, uh, this, this debate was the result of, um, of a tw pseudo Twitter call out, okay? And <laughs> yeah, okay, Lonnie. So, um, so this is what happened. So real, real quick, let me just explain what happened. Uh, Destiny on Twitter called out somebody you all might be familiar with, uh, Cyber Witch Lexi slash XLEX Lexi. You might know who Lexi is. Uh, Destiny had tweeted a whole bunch of tweets at her, one of uh, uh, two of which I believe called her uh, mentally ill and unfit for the internet. Now, yes, we're going to be watching the entire thing. Get comfy. Um, and so I thought that was pretty fucking shitty. I thought that was pretty motherfucking shitty. And so I said, hey, buddy, what is this? Some kind of Gamergate shit? Is that what you're doing now? You're just like, you're just like gonna like call trans people mentally ill? Like, that's fucking weird. That's fucking weird. And so he said, why don't you come on stream and debate me about it? And I said, okay. So I did. I agreed. 30 minutes later, this happened. This was on my stream day off. And um and I just hopped on stream and was ready to go. Yeah? Now, um if you're now just so you know, just for the the sake of complete clarity, Destiny titled his stream Talking with a Crazy Person from Twitter, which was referring to me, okay? And then I replied by naming my stream debating Fallen Titan and Pseudo Gamer Gator Destiny, which made him very mad. Okay? Now you are caught up on the context. Now we are ready to watch the debate. So let's watch it and let's critique the fuck out of me. Okay? And I'm going to have my, my notes up here and I'm going to go over my notes at the end of every video that we complete today. Okay? That's how we're going to do this. That's how we're going to do this. Okay? Yeah, we're watching the whole thing. So get comfy. Get motherfucking comfy, everybody. I told you this was going to be a long stream. The content's going to be great. And we're going to go from there. Okay? Let's do this. We're Getting back to square line. one. Damn it. You if reset. You think, Damn it. These, think, these old 1.0 models always reset think, back to the beginning of the think, conversation. If you... Wait, you really want me to 1.5 speed it? No one is going to be able to understand what's being said if I 1.5 speed it. But do we want to 1.5 it? Okay. Nah, nah, fuck this. Just get comfy, marathon streaming. Fucking deal with it. If we lose viewers, who cares? This is bigger than the viewers. You know you're gonna have fun anyway because these debates are bangers. So let's do this. <laughs> Hey, and not much. What's up with you? Not uh, much. Yeah. Did you want to be on uh, on on video on here or what? Do you want a pop up video? I don't know. I usually um, do conversations on video because I, I like you, to see. Uh, you can have my video if you want, but I don't care. Yeah. Sure. Uh, let me just hit the Discord button real quick. Give me a second here.
What are you gonna have us? Hello. Do you want to activate? I don't know how you usually do it. I. Hold on, I'll be back. Give me one second. Hold sure, on. sure. There we go. Fixed. Fixed. Let's get comfy. Let's get back in here. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do this though. I'm also gonna yeah, do let this. Me get this set up here. Hopefully this won't ruin everything. Because my screen is designed to not have... Oh, yeah. Wait a second. There's one more thing I need to do. I'm so sorry. Here we go. This is going to make our lives a lot better. Here we go. Ready? Watch this. Here we go. This is going to let everybody know what we're talking about at any given moment. Okay, look at that. Damn, damn, that's smooth. Let's do this. Hello, Destiny Chat. How are you all doing? Much love. My name is Demon Mama, by the way, just so you know. I don't know if you can hear me, but my name is Demon Mama. DemonMama.com live if you wanna watch my stuff. Uh, I am also known as a crazy person from Twitter, apparently. It's all good. Nice to see you all probably know a lot of you some of you right. know me but nice to see you see now i think that that was a good move because he didn't put my name up he didn't intro me he didn't do anything i just wanted to introduce myself because i think that's fair i think i deserve to introduce myself okay that's all Unboxing video. Destiny unboxing video. He's unboxing a new fridge. Yeah, it's triple mama. I can't help that. Actually, I can. But I'm not looking at you right now, by the no, way. No, I Destiny can't. Chat, but there's basically no way Don't I can. Don't be rotten. Don't be rotten. That would be a shame. Can I? Does that look okay? Nah, fuck it. It's fine. Just deal with the triple mama. Oh, yeah. Welcome. DG Jeers. Welcome. Welcome. Come on in. Oh, maybe. Come try that shit here. I'll debate any one of you. DGG isn't acting weird? Well, that's good to hear. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Got my cactus mug right now. Yeah, I like to react to stuff too. <laughs> I like my mug. I, I, I drink from a mug too. Nobody cares? Oh, okay. Yeah, I love this mug too. Look at this. This is such a cute mug. Look at it. It's so cute. It's so nice. Let's go. All right. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey. Are you ready to do our um, fridge unboxing video? I'm fucking ready for you. All right. It's a so, couch, um, yeah. Uh, I guess. I guess. Did my take on 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 Twitter uh, bother you like a little bit or? Um. Hold on. I remember. I've always got. Yeah. Several thousand people screaming. Sure, sure. Yeah, time. I mean, me too. This morning, my my mentions have been uh, a mess. Oh, that's good. Um, I think you had a problem because I was screaming at Liz, and for some reason, you brought up the fact that Liz, I think, is trans. I'm actually not 100 percent sure. I think you were talking but... to Live Posting, not Liz. I know it can be a little. Oh yeah, hard to... that's oh, right. I, I actually misremembered. There were two people he called mentally ill: Live Posting and Lexi. We'll get to there. Names to me. Yeah, live posting. No, no, no. Oh no, Liz is cool and live posting is an insufferable piece of shit. Yeah, right. sure. I could um, never mix these two people up. Yeah. Okay. Whenever people I disagree talking... with you, I, I know I, I call them insufferable pieces of shit whenever <laughs> I disagree with somebody too. Yeah, I, I get Oh that. no, like I mean they're like a trash human being. Oh, oh okay, yeah, too, yeah, but, yeah okay, I would yes, say that I was too. Talking to, right. I was talking to live posting, yes. So um, Yeah, yeah, live posting. Not the same as Liz, not the same trans person, but but I get you. Um, sure. yeah, no, I, I, uh, more, more or less what I have a problem with is, um, I think that on Twitter, um, not only are you an insufferable piece of shit on Twitter, um, but actually you like lean into like these Gamergate era, um, tactics that are like, like super, super annoying to me. And actually I think cause a lot of harm. Um, and, uh, oops, sorry, I got to mute my alerts there. Um, but yeah, it actually really annoys me because there's this, it seems like what happens is basically there's this like plausible deniability when you lean in on um, very specific and well-known um, like stereotypes, whether it's um, when you called Lexi like mentally ill the other day 
Um, or when you call people shrieking, banshees, whatever you want to come up with, um, like you have most recently on Twitter. Um, and then your followers follow that lead and they bombard this person with even more hate. I mean, I, I can't say the things, because you're on Twitch, so I can't say some of the things that your followers, where my Twitter was a nice peaceful haven, and then one interaction with you, and I've got people uh, dropping T-slurs on me, F-slurs, someone telling me I should be hung All for being true. an F-slur. All of this true. Um, and yeah, so, so here's, here's a critique of me right off the bat. This comes in pretty hot. Now, I don't think it is any more hot than what Destiny did. In fact, like, I think I would do it again. However, it is good to be aware that one of the main critiques I received from DGG was that I came in too hot. That I said that he was a piece of shit, even though he started calling people insufferable pieces of shit first. The fact that I said that he acts like an insufferable piece of shit on Twitter was, uh, was too fucked. Yeah? So, fair. I I would do it again, of course. I don't think that this is the sort of thing that I would change. But I do want to express that, yeah, I acknowledge that was hot. Yeah. Potentially came in too hot. There we go. Let's continue. So, like, I don't know. There's just this pattern that keeps happening with your behavior. And it seems like what ends up happening is that you go, oh, well, you know. Um, I've done a, I've done a lot to fight against, um, people. In fact, I think in a conversation with Vosh, you even said you believe that you're the last SJW around because BreadTube turned into, um, some conspiracy about being, everybody being a class reductionist, which is absurd. And I debunked that in one of my own videos. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's just very strange to me. And I feel like, um, people should hold you to task for that in the same way that you have so told here, Gamer Gator. So here, I accused him of conspiratorial thinking, which I agree with that. But dropping that too early made him and his audience think that I was being bad faith. Even though I think that's a fair critique. His audience thought that, that was bad faith. Bull to task in the past. All right, cool. All right, so number one, piece of shit on Twitter. Curious which takes I've given on Twitter you disagree with. Number two, cause a lot of harm. I hope um, against certain people that maybe they're bullied off Twitter because there are a lot of toxic fucks on this platform that make it in a horrible fucking place to be around. Do you think um, Cyber Witch looks Okay, it? so this is what I was talking about where Destiny openly says that he believes that people like Cyber Witch Lexi and Liv should be bullied off Twitter. Two trans people that he just disagrees with, okay? That's just, that's not a critique of me, but that's just something people should note. He's one of those people who deserves to Absolutely. be trans. Absolutely. Nice. Who deserve, wait, who deserves to be what? D you, you said to be, deser you said there, deserves to be bullied off of Twitter. Uh, her Twitter yes. no longer exists. So you think, oh, awesome. you think Cyber okay, cool. Witch Lexi deserves, I just want to get you so on. So there's Destiny saying it's awesome that Cyber Witch Lexi's Twitter no longer exists. So, yeah. Record saying that because on record, yes, yeah, yeah. Twitter would be a much better place with a lot of these people. Is gone forever. Amazing. Um, be, so, to, uh, there, so you what you're doing also. right now? Wait, what you're yeah. doing right now is you are literally endorsing harassment campaigns against trans people. You are literally a gamer gator okay. right now. I, I joke wait, about wait, wait, you wait, being wait, a wait, pseudo wait, wait. gamer. Okay. No, 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 no. So there we go. Now, I think I got him there, but that was pretty aggro. Right? Calling him a gamer gator is pretty loaded. All right, let's continue. No, don't wait, 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 me. Wait, wait. You literally okay, wait, just no, said no, no, you no. think it would Hold be on. a better world if they got bullied off Twitter. Okay, slow down. Firstly, I haven't even I haven't even responded to your initial gish, gish gallop before we go. The on initial okay? gish gallop. It's because you have no defense to this. You know this is indefensible, wait, Destiny. You hold on. You don't. So. Now, here's a mistake that I don't think is, like, a character flaw. Now, remember, in this in this conversation, I am looking for critiques to do better. And something that I let him do here was pretend that I was being unreasonable. Allowed Destiny to pretend I was being unreasonable when restating his claims and the consequences back at him there we go 
know if it's indefensible because I haven't begun to give a defense. So I'm at I'm at point two out of five from what you started with initially, and now you want to go deeper into point two, okay? So let me sure. just respond to these first five. I'm literally writing these down. Okay? Yeah, yeah, go um, for it. So number three, gamer gamer gate era tactics. I'm curious. What I will those at the are. end. Gayfesh. Um, number four, plausible deni deniability because I say things like mentally ill, shrieking, or banshees. I don't know if I've used the word banshees before. Am I not allowed to say? I, I, I don't know like which words were, were like slowly encroaching back on like Hello, never. Being, I try not to say. Merrick, welcome. Get comfy. This is the long form demon mama self critique. Me owning myself to the best of my ability. Stream. Tarded anymore. Apparently, saying mentally ill is not okay either. I guess. Um, or shrieking, I guess, is not okay. Um, and then people should hold you to task for that. I don't know what that means. Okay, so backing off to the, uh, you think that some people should be gone off Twitter. It has nothing to do with anybody being trans. There are trans people that I like, and there are trans people that I hate. Nothing that has to do with anything, with anything that live posting or the cyber. Which this right here is what I'm know. talking about. This is the plausible deniability thing. It's like, oh, I wasn't doing that because they're trans. I just happened to call a trans person mentally ill, and then my following just happened to barrel in on that person and continually assault them with further, uh, maybe that's an ex I don't mean the legal definition of assault for the record. But Wait, so am I not allowed all to use anything that questions the sanity of somebody if they happen to oh, be Oh, guess trans? what? There's like a ton of ways that you could do that if you really wanted to. First of all, I don't really know how valuable it is to question the sanity of somebody on Twitter.com, especially when you well, yourself... When, wait, wait, especially when you yourself regularly, clearly lose your shit on Twitter and definitely like like visibly have an anger problem um but whatever oh. like if you want to question the sanity of people oh. do that but don't you think that sorry you have that was some a good responsibility one. the same responsibility that you you've argued against dipshit right wingers these fucking dunderhead uh motherfucking nazis that you've argued with in the past like sargon you've argued that they use their platform to direct hate and yet you are doing that you are deliberately and i don't know actually i don't know if it's deliberate maybe it's accidental but regardless the outcome is exactly the same the outcome is identical you Yes, Razzle. I do believe he thought this was going to be an easy dunk, and he was not ex he was not prepared for me to actually know who he was and know what I was talking about. Yeah. You're directing hate, and you're being careless with your words in ways that l act on very well-known stereotypes. I know okay, you so know this. One, I know you, at the last SJW on the internet, I know you know this. Sure. So, number one, how valuable is it to question people on the Well, some people are deleting their Twitter accounts. Apparently, it's very valuable. Apparently, I'm accomplishing my yeah, purpose. Yeah, if that's your EP, Destiny hates my guts. Uh, I, I believe it was Vosh who said that I might be the only person who Destiny truly hates. I think Destiny hates me more than Mike from PA. But, we gotta go. So goal. If your goal is, is to one. harass people off of Twitter, which it apparently is. Apparently you That's believe- That's all we do on Twitter! I think jumping at him too soon about his intentions on why he was shitting on trans creators was a mistake because it allowed him to slither behind plausible deniability. Well, that's why I called that out, but that's probably true. I'll put that down as could have been more clear about plausible deniability and about plausible deniability and intention and intentionality not being important. There we go. I don't know. That's all of your, like, everybody. Oh, don't even try. Twitter? Destiny, you can't even. I, I would love to see what your justification for why Cyber Witch Lexi should be bullied, bullied off Twitter, but I'm sure I, it's just amazing because the level of, like, um, di like of, of discourse and engagement that you engage in is, is, is literally just as bad as anybody you could possibly impugn. And Thank me you, making Gito, one it. tweet and then your simps flooding my mentions for hours is 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 hilarious it's like actually hilarious you are the toxic influence on twitter that you always rail against you really are um that was a really nice story so uh, we, when you yeah, talk about whether or not some people it's also be true twitter, that's great so if you talk about so this part was too aggressive on my part i will agree i thought it was funny and i agree still it was funny but this was too much too early too much too early whether or not some people should be bullied off Twitter. There are people that are constantly, like, making horrendous statements that are trying to Wait, deep- remember, Corey. I am- What is the opposite of not straw manning, not steel manning? I am identifying my own vulnerabilities to the greatest degree. And remember, at the end of this, we can still conclude that I did good. But I want to do the best. So we are finding every single possible weak spot. And we're going for it.
to platform me or bully me off of platforms again. So why the fuck wouldn't I return fire? Of course wait, wait. I will. Do you think like, that? Do you think that Cyber Witch Lexi is somebody who was trying to just bully you off? See, you're doing this thing where you're just smearing all people together. You're mad at some random un other person who might have a campaign against you, which is shitty. I don't think you should be deplatformed. Cyber Witch Lexi has literally been involved in tweets related to this. Really? Platform. You want like what? Me, do you like, do you want to like do you want to give me a couple minutes? That? Yeah, people yeah. in chat can start throwing. Up yeah, sure. I would I would that. love yeah. to see where you have where some where Cyber Witch Lexi. Lexi, the uh, terrifying, ju you know, just reached partner, uh, one of a few trans people on on Twitch at all to have Can reached you partner. Stop! Why do you? Why are you so obsessed about? Oh wait, this because it's actually people. important. Wait, wait. I thought you were the last SJW on the internet, Destiny. Now, actually, we'll get there. I thought you None recognized. Of my issues wait, wait. These people identity politics matter. Trans. Wait, wait. wait it doesn't so matter. Obsessed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It doesn't matter if your issue personally is with them being trans. The outcome. Is what matters. The outcome is that you I are have driving. Never, I have never attacked any of these people for anything related to them being trans. I don't know. Personal it's, it's really weird. Again, there's that there's that plausible deniability. I didn't attack them for being trans. I just called a prominent open trans person, one of the few on Twitch, a mentally ill, deranged person. Yeah, that's a little fucked. That's that's just a little fucked. It's almost like you're doing the exact. Remember, like uh, you know, Sargon. Uh, Sargon would do this all the time. Sargon's a great example for this because he would do it all the time. And I genuinely believe Sargon is too stupid to like actually know what he's doing. But I didn't think you were too stupid to know what you were actually doing. I, like, I, so I try not to call people retarded anymore. I feel like that's kind of a okay, bad but, but thing. That's so not here. That's neither like, here nor there. So now, well, sure. So now instead of saying that this person is retarded, you should think this person is like mentally ill. This person has a mental illness. Hmm. I talk about terminally online people. So all Destiny's argument here. I'm just going to take a moment away from the me critique and say Destiny's argument here fucking blows. This argument sucks. I'm pretty sure there's like two tweets back. I literally say like, if you were terminally online screaming on Twitter, yeah, you did that. He just he just argued that he wanted to call her the R slur, but he was too afraid to do so. Like that is such a stupid argument. But said that after, sure. Um, that's fine. Sure. If you want to so, say that, that's so great. But, but wait, wait. Now, let me ask you a quick question. Any trans quick person, mentally ill. Quick that, like, clarifying. What, am, yeah, I, exactly, am I, am I Allison, calling them mentally because they're trans? Quick clarifying question. Is is it or is it not? True. And again, I'm asking you this with the assumption that you are, as you have claimed on multiple occasions, not just in the Vosh one, I've seen this in other videos, that you're the last SJW on the internet, you're a social justice You lover. are really fixing no, 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 this. I, you because, really no, because love this it, line. Yes, absolutely. Of course I do. Because this is what you're selling yourself as to your audience. And if that's the case, I think it's it's pertinent to point out the fact that you're not being honest about that if you aren't. So here's the thing. If you're like some sort of supporter for social justice, surely proud of that you one. will know. Um, not only that it is a historical fact that mental illness has been publicly and frequently weaponized against trans people, but True. also that still when trans people point. are attacked about this the spot, I am still 100% on point. This was perfection. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Health. There, They're no often more also bombarded with all kinds of other transphobia, which is the case in uh, the case with Cyber Witch Lexi. Your simps flooded you in, right and they are You might be right about that, Silent. You might be right about that. But I think it. I think it swung in well. So they just go there to, to try and, and make you notice them or whatever. Okay, so do you Flood think in. if I would have used if I would have used a different word than mentally ill, do you all are all of my criticisms somewhat valid now? Well, I Is mean, it... there wasn't really any criticisms. You literally just were uh, saying that she was mentally ill. Like you didn't I, have I, a criticism. I think a lot of the people that spend all their time online on Twitter, like you, you mean like crazy. you? You spend... I get paid for it. It's my fucking job. Yeah, so does guess what? Guess what? So does Cyber Witch Lexi. She's a partner on Twitch. Yeah, you get. Okay. Yeah, guess what? So you are just as mentally ill as the people you went after. Except, guess what the difference is? Um, the outcome of, of of people calling you men. See, he knew. He knew I had him here. This is this is the I got him. This is the I got him moment. Mentally ill is that Twitch stays exactly the same as it currently is. The outcome of you directing your fucking army of idiot simps to go flood the mentions of every trans person who happens to disagree with you and calling them mentally ill oh, is that. There's a critique for me. Uh. I was too callous with using the term using the terms idiot simps. This was a mistake. And made DGG overly uh protective. Yeah. Well, no, the thing is I wasn't I wasn't shitting on just DGG, by the way. I wasn't just shitting I wasn't trying to just sit on shit on GGG, but that was the outcome. Which again, uh, that was a mistake on my part. I wasn't intending to shit on all of them. I was specifically referring to the idiot simps in his audience, but it sounds like I'm saying all DGGers are idiot simps, and that's a mistake. So there you go.
Twitch yep. stays exactly, just Simone. Destiny and Destiny clones. So that doesn't seem very social justice -y to me. So maybe you should just drop it and yep. start branding yourself as like some sort of reactionary Twitch person instead. I think I'm just going to carry on until every fucking lefty has been bullied off the fucking internet. Because, Excellent. Like, the Twitter takes are so fucking There horrible. we go. I mean, so, so that's what it's all about. So it's all, it's literally just all spite. You don't actually no, have no, any no, principles no, no. here. You yeah, don't wait, have wait, any, wait. you don't have no, any have rational approach here. I have plenty of principles, but for some you don't reason, know. you're hyper-fixated on Destiny. You Destiny. know what? I'm going to be totally honest with you. I actually didn't even know that Liv Posting was a trans person. I had no fucking idea. Yeah, I mean, I guess mean, that's great. I don't great. know if I called sure. her. Uh, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, Ill or Lexi or whatever. I didn't even know before you yeah, it doesn't me. matter. Guess but what? Wait, it doesn't the, matter the because is, it literally... Is, wait, Destiny. 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 Is, Destiny. Is, I know. It you, doesn't you, matter. You've taken all of my criticism. It and, and doesn't matter. Can you... I, I know that you love to talk a lot, okay? I know you're excited to be on here. Okay. Hey, there we go with that meme too. Hell yeah! Hey chat, we all know that meme, right? Like, I, like you can I, literally on my stream, I'm trying to write down points you give it, and you're like firing off like 20 fucking things, and I don't even have a chance to respond to one of them. Yeah, okay. you want everybody, everybody calling bingo in my chat is actually funny, and you're not, you're like breaking under the heat, buddy. I'm, I'm not breaking under the heat. I mean, I'm, it looks I'm like you to are. Be a little bit. I, I know that's because your blood pressure is probably through the roof right now, and you're very excited totally. to be screaming, man, here. But I haven't gotten to respond to almost a single thing you've said. It's just been rapid fire. Well, because you're bullshit. lying, it's though. It's funny because after you come off of here, you're probably going to repeat the same dumb things that people say. I mean, oh, he gish gouts. Oh, he talks to me, blah, blah, ignoring the fact that you, like 99% of the people talking to me, just come on here, screech I mean, over me the entire fucking nice time. Story. Like, oh, Dusty, Again, like, blah, nice blah, blah, story. Again, nice story. This is all just... all you've told so far is nice stories. Wait, wait, wait. wait what do you mean? You I'm anybody. telling you the truth. This is... That's wait, transphobic. Wait, this is verifiable, Destiny. This is verifiable. Go look at the actions that you've done. Go All right, so you ever wonder why this was never posted to his channel? Sorry. Look and see if, if Cyber Witch Lexi even has a post. You literally admitted at the beginning of this? This argument yeah, was Yeah, he literally over just called me screeching in this. I know, I know. Like, I I could... Oh, I... Uh, we're, remember, we're, we're going after me, okay? started because you literally admitted that all you care about is harassing people that you don't like off of Twitter. And what that's I think not, would be great. That's wait a second. Admitted. That's so literally what you said. Yes, he's turning red. So that's not go watch the VOD, everybody. Destiny the fans, yeah, you all you go. simps, so go watch in it. That you will never hear me say it. The only reason there, I did it again. That was a mistake. Calling, calling, that was way too broad and it didn't communicate what I actually aimed to do. Yep. I think that's so far my biggest critique is that I was way too hard on the DGG. No, this isn't why they hate me, by the way, Razzle. Razzle, this isn't why they hate me. I'll, I'll explain. By the way, okay, so two things. One, I agree that I fucked up. I, I agree that I fucked up on that particular, uh, like, on delivering those lines, and that was way too hard. But that This is not why DGG hates me. We'll get to that one. Um, yeah, I think that's a fair critique of me. I was way too broad in firing at his audience, and it came off as me being really hateful towards them, and that's not cool. However, I will say, I will say that the treatment that I had received on Twitter in the 30 minutes before I popped on to, to chat about this, well, it was like three hours total, but was ridiculous so they were already mad at me before i started saying that that's just a small defense of me uh in critiquing me i still agree that i was not good in how i targeted it but to be fair i had reason for it that isn't visible in here but that's a problem right the same reason the same way that i critique that in my critique of vosh and the mel discussion said that i didn't establish that there was no way for a hostile audience for me to communicate that um that i had been ext i had been getting hate from dgg in in the context of the conversation which is what most people see you see what i mean does that make sense so attacking the simp the, the simps was a bad move because i couldn't establish reason for it within the the context of the discussion at hand
Let's continue. And why I post on Twitter is to bully people off Twitter. That's just a side effect of what I do. Generally, what I try to do is I try to call out bullshit takes when I see them, and I'm a little bit inflammatory when I do. If the byproduct of that is bullying people off of Twitter that give horrendous dog shit takes over and over and over again, oh, then fine. I consider that to be a positive side effect of what I do. But my yeah, main so, goal um... is not to harass and bully people off of Twitter. That is not my primary goal, okay? Yeah, you I mean, again... you've spoken well, for like wait, 80% no, of the conversation. No, because, because here's the thing. When I'm... Holy wait, when... shit. Oh, I mean, there... sure, go ahead. Leave oh, right I can't, am I not allowed to say delusional? No, no, no. Either, I mean, it's fine. Also, you like... can if you want to. You, you're certainly welcome to say that if you want to. You're also oh welcome to do the smuckle. I love how, I love how the I see you've learned. Wait, you, I see how you've learned. I see how you. Ooh, I think him calling me delusional here is a pretty bad look for him. Not gonna I lie. I see how oh you've learned God. from Sargon. You've learned from Sargon learned to do the smuckle Sargon. when you're when yeah, you're falling behind. Great. Just go the. <laughs> apparently, you're learning from <laughs> the Sargon you, attack videos. You become like the the insane whatever people that at SJWs are. Here, we go. Destiny, Here we go. Destiny. Yeah. Destiny. Okay, yeah, you, you, you really have. You really are like a, a fallen titan, aren't you? Man, it's so sad. You are just. You are just like going straight into like 2016 era. That's not gonna sell these days, my dude. It's First just not. All, and not also, you should be honest. Okay, you should be so honest I'm with good. your audience. Mm -hmm. You should be honest with your audience and brand yourself as like some kind of like yeah, spiteful, seven, 16 minutes um, in. like Keemstar esque drama guy. If you're gonna gonna try and make the idea Hello, that you're Rhodes. making like substantial Hello, arguments by calling Cyber Witch Lexi um, like mentally ill or by or by calling Lib Liv posting um, shrill or whatever other like stereotypes you want to you want to break out like all this your intent in this doesn't necessarily matter and you know it doesn't because you've made this argument before to people like sargon you've made the argo uh, the you argument are so obsessed with roping me into whatever no, no, no. you think sargon is today oh, whatever I don't okay then pick somebody else one. pick anybody this else was a mistake i said i because i was just like on the moment i said the name sargon too much and it made it sound it made it sound like I was, I was obsessed with Sargon, and that isn't the case. Now I think that's a very uncharitable thing, but it's something I would like to avoid in the future. It's like you've had like this—I don't know. Maybe you're obsessed with Sargon. Maybe you have a crush on him. Maybe you like dream. Of I don't know. Him, I've never even talked like, to him. You're like the closest I can get is talking to Destiny. So I'm just gonna talk to Destiny for 20 minutes. I'm gonna pretend he's Sargon the whole time, and I'm gonna like get work through whatever. No, I'm drawing. I'm drawing a. Uh, I don't know. You do you want me to explain draw, it? You don't need yeah, to draw, I can draw a parallel you don't need because to draw it's useful. Any parallels to me. You could just criticize my behavior. You yeah, I am. Obsess, I am. And I'm showing you that the Sargon. people that you've debated no. against in the past, that you are doing the behavior that they do. You just Why had a conversation just, with this guy, didn't you? Why not just There's like a hundred people I could do. Nick Fuentes, any of them. They all do the exact same thing that you're doing right now, which is the equivocating. That that, the fact that you think that I'm comparable to any of these people show how absolutely Oh, yeah, on Twitter you are. Yeah, on Twitter you are. Absolutely not. What was the original post that I responded oh, to yeah, the absolutely. posting that kicked wait, all of this off? Wait, oh, remember? it was, uh, I, I, I've got it up here, but it's, uh, you were calling, you were saying that she's screaming on the internet because she made, like, literally, like, the most, like, a one-line shit post about debate bros, which is, like, the, the coldest take ever, and you had a complete meltdown and portrayed, and tried to portray her as- By the way, if you ever think that Destiny doesn't mug for the camera, take a look at this debate. Look at this shit. Like the, the just coldest watch take this. ever, just watch. and you had a complete meltdown and portrayed and tried to portray her as like some sort. Of there we go. I can do it too. See, goes two ways, buddy. He just doesn't like that I'm funnier. He doesn't like that my face is is, is nicer. Sort of hysterical person calling her shrill and all this shit. And I happen to point out that, damn, you sure do seem to be leaning in on those like misogynist, transphobic stereotypes recently. Again, things that you have called out in other people's behavior sure. so, in the past. Okay, so to be clear, it's not just one tweet, but there's been like a constant oh, yeah, there's been like, a surge. Yeah, yeah. There's been a constant surge of people on the left online because they realize, hey, we're dog shit at defending our ideas, generally because most of our ideas are uh, dog shit. I mean, shit. this has nothing so to do with the make... there. Yeah, the timestamp is approximately 1813. 1813 if you want his face please do 1813 in the destiny debate video on my channel 18 talk to me not over the over left over talk to me not your phantom of the left I'm, you're I'm, afraid I'm of the left to, i'm I know. trying to speak i'm trying to speak to specifically the tweet that i responded to if you give me a second to finish a single sentence i know well, i mean really if you would talk, talk about okay? wait if you would talk about things really that were prevalent excited. it would make make this conversation a lot easier but what you keep doing is relevant and that's what i'm doing i'm literally talking about what does the left have to do with me what does the left have to do with your behavior okay let's take a Let's take a little break. I am specifically talking about the exact Pivot tweet that Andy. I responded to that started this sure. whole thing off. That's what we're doing right now. Do you understand? Can you nod your head for me? Oh, yeah. absolutely. I understand okay. completely what you're doing. I appreciate so, the condescension, though. Liv's post was, do political streamers understand how fucking lame I try? Hold on. Let me open this up real quick. 
If you're debating him and he says he didn't know, you should take him in good faith instead of telling him what he thinks. Also, it's just your opinion that using uh, mentally ill as an insult is a problem. A lot of people don't really have a problem with it. Wrong. Um, wrong. I know, I know. But but that's not correct. Just, just so we know. I, I get you, I get you. But that's not correct. It is not just my opinion. That is a historical fact that l mental illness has been weaponized against trans people. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. It is, that is a fact. And he has made that argument in the past. That's why I called him out on it. That's why I called him out on it. I'll you to a Twitch debate. It sounds when it comes out of your mouth. 50% mm -hmm. yeah. of the time people are making Wait, these- Wait, but he does know that. That's why I'm saying that, Lot. That's why I'm saying that, Lotus. That's why I'm saying that. Twitter, they're usually referencing me, okay? It, it's, it just is. It's, I mean, it that's, is the fact. I, in you fact, can pretend that it's not. You they really are. Let, listen. Sure. Sure. Wait, wait. I don't, wait, no, wait, no, wait. No, let no, me no, have no, a second. I gotta finish. No, 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 no. Okay. I need no, to no, no. He said, uh, Lotus, he only said that. He only said that about one of them. He knew Lexi was. He knows Lexi is. So he's, he claimed he didn't know that live posting was. And yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll, okay? I'll tell you so later in a, a second. A lot of people like to run around these circles and do this shit, blah, 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 blah. And I know I've heard the whole like, oh, no, it's not a reference to you because, you know, funny enough, the projection is real. Um, you know, you, oh, no, plausible deniability is exactly what you're trying to hide from now. But yeah, so people make fun of the debate pro culture. But the, the real problem is people like this will run around and they'll give dumb. Oh, I did do that. I think I did do that, yeah, boy. I think I made that clear. He interrupted me while I was trying to make that clear, but we'll get there. Dog shit I do ag I agree over partially. and over and over again. And when you try to challenge any of them on it, like, oh, don't debate me, bro. don't debate me. Bro. So yeah, if somebody tweets out like some stupid subtweet where, oh my God, political debate bros are so dumb. Of course, I'm going to respond like, oh, wow, constantly screeching stupid channel public media platform where anyone can see it. Someone challenges the claim. Oh my God, you're such a debate bro. Debate bro. Why are you even responding to this public platform? Why? Yeah, I think that's a perfectly fine response tweet to that. Okay. 100%. Yeah. So let me just inform you of a few things that you might be um, blinded to with your massive ego at this point. My there was a, a significant, yeah. yeah, yeah, literally. You're like, oh, all of the any tweet referring to a debate, bro, must be referring to Destiny. Destiny, first of all, you didn't fucking invent invent being doing debates. Like that's been a thing that's been happening since like fucking ancient Greece and before that. On just Twitch, so you know, I yeah. Did. Oh wait, wait a second. But guess oh, what? On. There's like a ton of other people. In fact, there's people who are uh, damn, they're skyrocketing up there. People, you got Vosh, you got Zan, you got Vosh uh, is not on Twitch. Oh, oh not ahead. on Twitch. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, nice try. Go ahead. Uh, 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 do you do you think that the that the, the tweet needs to be taken literally, that it's literally only on Twitch. Uh, Vosh is back on Twitch, baby. Oh! Oh, the Trump yeah. defense. Don't take me literally. Wait, wait a minute, what? what? Wait, you're trying to say that like, that like making fun of- Muggin again. Muggin Steve. Bait bro streamers uh, has to be literally on Twitch, Steve. so it has to be you. There's also, let's see, I can name a couple of smaller ones because as it turns out, there's like a huge scene on Twitch. You probably know some of them, Dario, um, is one of them that has been called a debate bro in the past, likes to say, come on my stream and debate me. Guess what? I'm one of them. I tell people to go and debate all the time, but guess what? I can also take a joke, unlike you, which you decide that, oh, in, in response to a very mild critique of debate bros on Twitch, you took it incredibly personally, believe it's all about you, and then decided to lead in a misogynist okay, stereotype wait, I just, that I just you would have critiqued on. in the sure. past. Let's just, I just want to, no, first of all, I would never critique that. I think defending ideas is perfectly valid. Yeah, okay. Um, so, what, so do you think that this response um, versus Thank the you, chat, hey buddy, want to come chat about it? it? Do you think the hey buddy is a reference to me, or do you think a lot of people just say hey buddy too? What? I mean, do, do, I, so, wait, wait, are you for real? Like, do you literally think that Hey Buddy is in, you invented the term Hey Buddy? Okay. Like, I are you gonna, you are you, wait, are you, you gonna know, like copyright? Wanna... Bad look, bad look from Stevie here. Ooh, okay, all right. Is all this right. like copywriting the I think one question that would be interesting to answer for self-critique is if large content creators should be forbidden from critiquing anyone else, their large audience will harass. No, but you have to be cognizant of it. You're not forbidden from it. There's not, there's a spectrum here. Hold on, we'll address this real quick because I think this is important. This is an important little side side thing, okay? You're not forbidden. You're not forbidden from interacting with smaller, uh, smaller people. But Destiny literally admitted at the very beginning of this conversation that his goal is to run people off the internet using his fan base on Twitter. That is problematic. He admitted to the thing that he's trying to pretend that he didn't do. And that is a problem because, as it turns out, mob mentality can be pretty goddamn bad. And if your audience is a giant mob, you can fuck people over really hard.
Is there anything inherently wrong with that? Would you be okay if the target was Fuentes? Good news. We'll we'll get to that. I talk about this in the debate. So let's get into it. Let's get let's Happy get further birthday in. Song I talk or about something like that. Are you gonna ho copyright that next, Destiny? Are you for real, my dude? Okay, you're actually insane. What else do you want? Oh, to nice! Oh, hey. I got him! Oh, you know I got him there. See, this is why this stream is gonna be really fun. So that's what you got. I know you, you've been like literally blown out on every point. And no, 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 no. It's you really funny. Insane. It's actually I but didn't I'm, I'm listen, so Destiny. I'm gonna be completely honest. I who are just absolutely wait, fucking crazy. So. You, you're calling me crazy, but all I've stated mm -hmm. is exactly what has transpired, and you've lost it because you you're just not willing to be honest about what you do on Twitter. This is actually hilarious. I mm -hmm. actually came on here expecting like one of the toughest debates of my life, and this is actually mm -hmm. hilarious. You're just pivoting. That's all you're doing every single time. Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, for the inventor of uh, for the inventor of the concept of debating and the concept of using the word "Hey, buddy," I'm uh, I'm a little underwhelmed. Well, sorry to disappoint. What yeah, else do you have for shame. me? I mean, Anything that's about else? it. Are you really? mad about me calling people mentally well, ill? Well, no, I yeah, I am mad about you calling trans people mentally ill because I'm trans and uh, I actually care about trans people a lot, and um, I actually really heavily doubt. Um, or you know, here's the thing: I'm even open to the idea of you being um like a social justice warrior. I just don't think your actions are lining up with it, and I think that. In your um, hatred and fervor for the uh, what you know, you, it, Razzle. what you imagine to be the online left, which apparently, like you, um, yeah, that's possible. That's possible. We'll get there though, at Tononoaji. Let's get there. I think the entire online left is like Peter Coffin or something like that. Um, you know, judging by your statements about BreadTube, it's like actually just disconnected from reality. Like vi verifiably false, the statements that you made about what, what BreadTube is and isn't. Which I don't mm -hmm. even care, really. That's only one section of the online left. But in your hatred of the online no, left, I, don't I think, think you've so, begun to... Um, I just think he doesn't let's care say, enough to, to, to be honest. the thread a little I bit. I do not, for the record, I don't think that Destiny is like deeply transphobic or anything along those lines. I never have. I've not said that. I don't believe that he is. However, I do believe he's careless and that his ego stands in the way of his principles on stuff like this. There you go. But you've begun to um, fuck up in your tactics and you've started to cause harm to the things that you claim and that you sell to your audience as being important to you. And I think you can do better. Like, I do wow. actually believe that. I do actually think you could, especially given that, um, yeah, it is true. You are influential on Twitch. Um, you're mm -hmm. really influential on Twitch. And right now, your influence is driving trans people off of the uh, off of the platform. Like, Sorry, actually. Lefties, lefties off the platform. Well, sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. Do you? I don't really care if any of them are, are trans. That's fine. I don't I mean, I don't see, but that's the thing, right? Trans. You're so blinded by your weird <laughs> obsession with the left, the other. I mean, no, 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 no. It sounds like a right. Left. You sound not like you sound left. like a right winger not, trying to trigger the left. Oh, I know you're excited. You just wait, wait, wait. Not, not the left, the lefties, socialists and communists. Those people. Yeah, I do okay. want them off. The so, what is your? What do you even think the definition of the left? Is? Like, like I don't know if you. I don't know if you have like a coherent definition of what the left is, but well, the we, left a includes lot a lot of socialists and communists. Yeah. Sure. So, in in America, I don't know where you're from. In America, when people say the left, they're usually talking about Democrats. Online, when people say left, that I'm. I don't. I don't. You're so insane. Um, okay, so in America, sure. Go ahead. Keep saying that. So in America, when 99% of people say the left, they're usually talking about the Democratic Party. That, that's what real life politics is like. Online, I mean, that's what Republicans say, talk about, yeah. No, that's what real life wait, politics is like. Wait, you really like. think that Democrats, when they refer to the left, they're not talking about, like, at the very least, like, Bernie Sanders and AOC? Like, in fact, in fact, um, this is so, like, verifiably false. Wait, like, hold on. Sure. Hey, everybody. Hey, DGG. Hope you're doing good. Okay, sorry. Hold on, hit me for a second. What did you say? Yeah. Uh, no, I said uh, like I I don't think that's accurate at all. Um, in fact, like Biden has been defending himself from the left within the Democratic Party. With like when you say that like in America that there's no like that uh, the left means Democrats. That's only Republicans. That's only people who literally will call Joe Biden a socialist. I mean, what is the what is the meme right now on the right wing? Um, it's uh, calling um. Okay, a I don't know why we're getting. I don't know. I don't know why that's. that's Wait, this is relevant funny. because, like, the thing no, is, no, like, no, you oh have you have your own Literally little a like two minute explanation of fucking semantics. Oh, oh, oh! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. These these ideas are too you big agree, for you to understand. Do you understand? Do you understand that when somebody online says they're a lefty, that means something different than when somebody normal in American politics describes somebody as being on the left? Do you understand that those two things oh, are very sure. different? Oh, for sure. Yeah, but that doesn't. Okay, what, how does that change anything? What I'm saying in America is, if an average person says like, "Oh, I'm on the left," usually they mean they fall within the Democratic Party. 
online when somebody says they're a what I'm saying is just true. You go look it up later. I don't. I mean, sure, but that, but you could also say somebody online says that they're a lefty. Usually, that implies that they're like an usually anti-capitalist, like socialist or communist is generally or anti not a liberal. Usually, that's what that means online. I don't know. I mean, these days, I don't know if that's really true anymore. Like, I can think of a lot of people who describe themselves as lefties who are pretty firmly um in the like like uh like social democrat category. Maybe even yourself. Um, but like, uh, you know, there's like Polar's world, there's like Pisco, um, I think even Booksmarts, I don't really know Booksmarts all that well, but these are people who generally I hear describe themselves. Hey, look at me. Now this is a praise. I'm giving myself a small praise here, shouting out smaller creators while on a bigger pot platform from DGG's audience. That was a good move. I'm proud of that one. pretty frequently as lefties i'm gonna um, put that as a, as a positive that category critique. i'm I think gonna do you that just more. have again i think your imagining of the left is totally disconnected from reality you just think of peter coffin or somebody that you hate maybe it's uh, i don't know maybe it's Hassan. i don't know who it is who you think of when you think of the left and i think you're actually the one zareth not necessarily uh chat you can critique whoever the fuck you want i'm critiquing me chat you can critique whoever the fuck you want you can critique me you can just be here for the show you all don't have any obligation to do anything. You can enjoy it. You can dunk on the people I'm dunking on. But I am critiquing me, okay? So you guys do what you want. Now, if you have a critique for me, please share it. But don't feel obligated, okay? I just want that to be clear. This is still a show. I'm still doing this live. Enjoy what you want to enjoy. I am proud of these debates, even if I have critiques for myself. And I think that you should be able to enjoy it, okay? All right? There we go. He's out of step. It's that image, that Simpsons image with uh, Principal Skinner's like, no, surely it's the children who are wrong. That's you right now. I think I have a much better grasp of politics, both online and in real life, than you probably ever will. So I I'm mean, you can say that, but right now you can um, say that, you but you're your just story, wrong. But, like, uh, like okay. I can, you, I can, you, I can you show you how you're wrong. wrong. If you don't, if, if you, you go and talk to any average person in the United States sure. and even in Europe, and mm -hmm. you ask them what they think about socialism or communism, they'll usually say like, "Oh yeah, like that's some meme shit that like yeah. nerds or losers okay. follow." But what does online, that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything we've been talking about? Literally nothing to do with what we're talking about. Because no, it's literally everything we're talking about. I'm saying that there's a difference when you talk about lefties online versus a lefty in real life. That's all I'm saying. They're two totally different definitions. You can sit there and make dumb fucking no, faces No, I mean, all the thing want, is I'm trying, trying to understand like how this changes anything that we've talked about. Like, I, I want to understand what your point is. about what the definition is between lefty online versus lefty but to what end though life. what's your point with that well because you brought up the fact that i'm mad at online lefties and i seem to not know who that is and yeah you don't you, seem to know who online lefty I is i know exactly who they no, are no no so if we're wait wait if we're talking about online lefties i know that you like this is the thing that i'm not understanding where you're going with this because when i asked you well who's the online left you then were well americans this that and the other thing so well who's the on like what do you even think the online left is and because yeah. that calls themselves a socialist obviously zareth if it goes out of hand zareth if it goes out of hand yeah capitalist sentiment that's rising on like fucking reddit and okay. other large social media sites so, on like twitter so okay well i mean it is rising i will agree there's an increasingly large amount of people held there's an increasingly large uh, polling polling data i don't have it all on hand but does show that there's an increasingly um large criticism of Hell capitalism yeah. among uh quick uh, pause everyday. quick pause we've been going for about 30 minutes if you're here and you're liking the show please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the like button on my youtube channel those are both free things that you can do that actually help my channel go, which is the goal here, okay? We're going to be going all day, so there's going to be lots of fun. I'm going to be having conversations in between each of these reviews. It's going to be awesome. Thank you for being here, my lovely, lovely imps. Now let's get back to the show. Americans, but that's neither here nor there. Um, the point of the matter is that uh, I don't know, like what your what your like problem is with um with like socialists or communists or whatever your little straw man that you invent of the online left is but what it's leading you to do is this weird spite fueled thing that's like again basically turning you into like in my opinion in my interaction with you and i'm not like a big fan of your content i haven't followed it forever or whatever i know a bit about what you do i've seen some of your videos thought you did great against nick fuentes for example um but 
what it's what I've seen on Twitter is that it's basically your behavior on Twitch Twitter is being justified by some imaginary phantom of the online left. Into okay, I'm curious, which, so I'm not going to sit here because even though you would probably do this to me, I don't do this to people. I'm not going to sit here and ask you for a fucking source, but I'm curious, generally speaking, yeah. what takes do you think I give on Twitter that you think are so abhorrent or that you absolutely disagree with that you think I have no foundational oh, basis for? Wait, wait, you're, wait, did I say anything about your takes on Twitter? I said specifically the way that you act towards people, the way you direct your your audience. I don't care about your political takes. If I wanted to argue with you about political takes, there's totally different discussions. We could have a whole. Wait, I could have you, you on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold say on, hold the on. The way that I acted on Twitter. Yeah, the way you, you act on like... Twitter. Yeah, that doesn't have to do with your political takes. I don't know. I have. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? What the fuck? Somebody's doing fucking yard work or something. What the fuck? Some problems with your political takes. I think you have a bad analysis. Wait, so wait, 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 let me, wait, you asked me a question. Let me, let me, yeah, let me explain. Not, wait, I'm, I didn't even, I think oh, somebody on, got a jackhammer going outside oh or something. You gotta let me answer if you're gonna ask me a question. You asked me what's my problem with you on Twitter. My problem is that you're oh, directing, you're it. yeah, it's the, it's the Gamergate shit. It's the directing hate towards people you seem to not like. Um, it's, it's, uh, claiming that everyone is a lefty, whether or not, whether you know where they are or where, or, or anything about their political positions and therefore you, determining Ro that they, Ross, in your own words, that. deserve to be harassed off Twitter. Um, like that's the Gamergate stuff. That's what I have a problem with. Now I do have some problems with your political takes, but I don't think that's what we were here to discuss. Like for example, okay, I so feel like I could offer. No, 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 example. Let's do one at a time, okay? Sure, Jesus sure, sure. Fuck, because you want to rattle go, off. Go for it. Go for it. I know it's, well, it's number sure. one. Directing hate towards people you don't like. Isn't that literally the whole point of calling people out on social media platforms? No, no. I said I. Uh, Elak Kaval. I believe I said not his takes, but the but the way he interacts with others. I'm I'm quite sure. That that's what we just said. Now, maybe I, I may have misspoke and said takes, but I have been talking specifically about in, in this throughout this entire conversation. I have been specifically talking about how he quote tweets others and directs his mob, not his general takes. His general takes, I never had a problem with. Yeah, maybe I did, but I don't think I said, uh, I think I said if I remember, and we can go back, but. Reverting to equating him with Gamergate. Well, I think that was important, but I do agree it was probably not established enough. Hey, wow. Thank you so much for the incredibly generous five gifted tier one subs, Celeste the Lezu. Thank you so very much for that. It's really, really nice. Thank you. True famous horse. Let's continue. Let's continue. Actually... Um, I mean, not in my opinion. What do opinion. you think anybody does on Twitter when they talk about how, like, oh, this person gave a dog shit take about this, or oh, this person is an idiot about this? What do you think that does? Oh, um, well, I mean, there's a couple of functions. I guess it depends on how you approach Twitter. Um, do my... you agree that that directs wait, wait, hold hate on a second. people hold on they a second. don't like? There wait, are... do you agree that that directs hate towards people they don't like? Um, not necessarily, actually. You're, wait, wait, okay, let me explain. On, wait, 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 no, you no, have no, to wait, give me a chance to explain Destiny. Destiny, come on, I know you're desperate to get out of this conversation because you look bad. Wait, 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 don't even try, come on. If you're gonna be, like, this delusional about these things, it's, like, not even hold on a minute. Destiny, you're literally not letting me respond, and you're trying to say you're bored when you're clearly engaged in the conversation. This is cope, my friend. Oh, I had him. I had him on that one, okay? I'm proud of that one again. <sighs> Excuse me. Shit. Ugh. Goddamn allergies. Goddamn springtime allergies. Jesus. Critique for mama. Stop having allergies. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank this you is Cope. so very this much. Is Cope. Wait, wait a second. Thank you so very much for the incredibly generous $25 from Yauta XD. Really appreciate that a lot. Thank you so very much. Can you just let me answer if, if you, the question? I heard the more times you say it, the more true it becomes. Sorry, did somebody tag me that I missed? Hold on a second. Isn't that the same argument that people make against Vosh or Hassan? Just because you quote tweet, quote tweet a smaller account doesn't necessarily mean that it's harassment. Yes, Darkster, except... I've critiqued, I have been the one who's critiqued Hassan and Vosh for this, and Xanderhal, and myself. I don't interact massively with small accounts unless I have very good reason to do so, and there's a reason for that. Because it is incredibly easy to unintentionally um, direct uh, uh, a lot of harassment to other people. In fact, I critiqued Hassan for this. I think that Hassan did not need to quote tweet an incredibly small account in order to get out the take that he doesn't think the touch grass stuff is bad. What's the name of this debate video? Destiny versus Demon Mama, the legendary showdown. That's what it's called.
Do I hit the gym? Not right now, but I will in the future. The gym no, of I mean, nature. Go ahead. Go, go rattle off some other and hiding no, 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 wait, I was I mean, talking the same question again. When you the VOD speaks ahead. for itself, Destiny. Come on. It does. Go ahead. Um, so the, the fact of the matter is that when you call somebody out on Twitter, there's a whole bunch of d different things you can do. You can aim to make people aware oh, of shit. the bad Sorry. behavior of somebody. Thank you. You can direct hate. You can in encourage people to go after them. Thank you, Eli. Um, which is one of the possible things I don't you know. can do. You can I don't, I don't uh, like be hoping that, that they much. change their actions. There's a whole bunch of different motivations for responding on Twitter. I tend to think Twitter is really bad about this. In fact, it's an a huge meme in my community. Anyone in my community can tell you this. I make, uh, I have a code of Twitter that I think will help people to guide Twitter a little better because I think it's pretty toxic most of the time. But what you've talked about doing is that your well, Lotus, Lotus, that's easy to say when you don't have thousands of people talking about you online. Like it's easy to say that you don't care about randos when randos aren't important to you. Like you gotta, you gotta realize that's like a little bit of a, of a, of a a missed spot in that approach right what matters here is that like to me if you have thousands like i i know this firsthand i went from having nobody give a shit about me to yeah like it's way different and also a lot of these people get really weirdly personal like really weirdly personal anyway that would be a better way but yeah anyway let's continue or engage we love me and cream is, and 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 is good of twitter and my thing is well when I am uh, going to think about the, how I uh, there should be one. Uh, can somebody help Zyreth? Thank you. Approach people who I believe deserve to be harassed off Twitter. I would reserve this, that it's for this, the it's worst this, of the, the worst. Stream labs. I don't even really think I would ad advocate for that most of the time. Like, I mean, I don't know. Some of your takes I think have been pretty bad, but I would never advocate for you to be harassed off of Twitter. Um, there's a lot of people I don't like that I wouldn't advocate for that. But I guess that's what you Thank think. Thank you, Cheeto. You, we could make fact, that a said command that the in only Discord. Reason why I think just a couple seconds ago, the only reason why you would call somebody out on Twitter is to get them harassed off, which is very telling. And again, just reminds me of Gamergate era. So, so you if you're a Gamergate now, Twitter that's great. Right you said the only reason I attack people on Twitter is to get them harassed off. You that's said that. You never said that. that. No, I never said wait, wait, that. Wait. I, I even, not okay. only did I not say that, did, I specifically actually. corrected you. And I said, we that just might be a watched him say that. that. We just watched him say that. We just watched him say that. I think many overreacted on Hassan saying, go touch grass. Uh, actually, I don't agree with you entirely on that. I think Hassan was a little bit out of line. I don't think he like committed like a fatal sin, but I do think he fucked up a little bit, personally. That's not my goal. My goal is usually to shit on bad takes. That's my goal. I think goal, we're okay? talking about different spots. What we were no, what I'm we're talking not. about. Hold I on, hold on. I just said that. No, yeah, I can't okay. hold on, dude. You oh, just literally said like five things. Wait, but you're responding to something else now, and no, I'm trying to explain. First of all, okay. initially, before you even went off on this, I said I was going to have to refocus you because you're going to say a whole bunch of relevant shit, and you just did that, and now I have to refocus okay. you. If I said irrelevant shit, right? like, I mean, yeah, I just think 99% of what you said in this conversation is relevant, but I know you feel really good oh, about all your dumps okay, right now, okay? I mean, anyway, the original thing that I asked you about was do you not agree that most people are directing hate towards people they don't like on Twitter when they give out those takes? That's literally the whole point of, of, of calling people out on Twitter. Even on your own Twitter, you say that dunking on your enemies is important. Dunking on somebody is literally directing oh, yeah, hate wait, wait, towards somebody. Dunking, dunking on your on enemies is definitely is literally important. directing hate towards somebody. Um, so not necessarily. Wait, examples, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. You're, you're jumping through a lot of stuff here. You're jumping through a lot of stuff here. For a lot of these jumping examples, through a lot given, of stuff you say, here. yes, that's what you've done this entire conversation. Actually, I haven't. For, I really haven't. I'm literally writing down what you're saying to me on stream. Okay, People but are you say that in every stream, and right now what you're doing is you're not actually, you're literally just saying that I'm bouncing all over the place, but I've been pretty clear in what I've messaged you. I've been saying the exact same thing. I'm literally writing down every single thing. Destiny, my God. Just watch the VOD back if you need to if you need a review you watch it back saying, I wish you would watch the VOD back I right watching the VOD back right now and feeling pretty damn good about myself not gonna lie wait Lo Lotus okay hold on I'll explain that I have this taken down hold on I'm gonna I'm taking your notes down because I wanna I wanna address this I can explain this in a bit. It's it well, is, won't. Anyway, you literally we'll keep saying, okay, that I'm cutting you off. I'm writing down every single thing you're saying. You are I never said you right cut now, me off. You are literally right now gish galloping me, okay? I've seen you're his laying notes. Out like five oh, yeah, I've seen his notes from this, by the way. Points. I'm trying to write them all down, and when I respond to a single point, you're cutting me off, and you want to go and defend that point. Okay, give me my five respond. points. So, so if you want to give out like a deluge of shit arguments, okay, okay, sure. and then try to all find right, this is, this is meaningless. This is meaningless, Destiny. Okay. Give me my points. So you, so you said you want to make people aware of people's bad behavior. You want people to go after them or whatever for their bad behavior. How is that not the same thing as directing hate towards? Wait, people? wait. There was two. I mean, those were two gave, separate things. And then you also gave another example. You said you hope that they change their actions. You generally hope somebody changes their actions. Why wouldn't you try to DM them or settle in a private platform first rather than oh. calling that on Twitter? 
all the examples this is literally what you do when you try to call people out on twitter is literally an example of directing hate towards people you don't like okay so let me address a couple of these first of all the first Very one rarely you did, i know you said five that was four but, but I there explain. was actually two there so that was three that you listed and there was well, fuentes yeah. is banned just so you know twitter, just to keep so. your math straight but um on the first part um, these are when we were when you we were saying the things that you do on Twitter That was me talking about general actions that people take on Twitter. I don't uh, Do engage in Twitter with the same way that you do um, maybe in this case I kind of did because I felt like you were being particularly bad faith and I felt it fell into my rule number four of uh, Dunk on people who uh, dunk on enemies people who I think aren't engaging in good faith stuff like that But in general, thank in fact, you so much um, Zara. literally happened this morning. Zara, thank you so very much you know it. I'm going to bring the f hellfire to your doorstep. It's going to be great. Keep you warm all winter. Let's go. Um, Lycan, somebody who I've had great engagements with, uh, we were si sort of starting to disagree on this, and I DM'd him. Same thing happened with another creator, Synth. Um, by the way, Thank you so one much. of your followers, right after you retweeted me, retweeted me, told uh, Synth to go hang herself. So that's pretty shitty. Um, just so you know, that's pretty fucked. And that came I from your I literally sent that person a personal order, marching orders. All those no. This, I, I, I explained this one poorly so uh discussing harassment from synth was described poorly and appeared as though i was saying he is personally responsible and he got me on that i think that he got me on this one Oh, no, it has Obama nothing to do with 100%. that. I'm just letting you know mm -hmm. that you have the fallout of your actions at the point. Your audience is bringing toxicity. I kind of saved it here, but not completely to other people. People who, in fact, like you and defend you. Oh, and that's thank what you, so, Zyra. Just a really, really of, appreciate of, that of a what lot. I've been talking about here. Regardless, that's those awesome. are the ways that people... Nothing to do with wait, wait, wait. It actually fun. literally does. I'm literally walking through your points. I understand you're like, clearly... I don't know if your audience is having this much trouble following, um, but I don't know. When, when you talked about those points, I was talking about very specifically, those are the things different people do on Twitter, not what I do personally. What you said is that, you're in, that way, the way that you engage in Twitter, in this framework, I know you said earlier that this wasn't the case, but right here, what we were just talking about right now, you said that the point of retweeting people is to direct hate at them. And I'm saying that's not the case. Some people certainly use Twitter that way, like yourself, but not everyone. I'm not saying the point of it. I'm saying that that's going to be the byproduct of anything you do. When you attack somebody okay. on social media... But see, this right here is playing into my point. This, what he is arguing, is supporting my point. You're attacking their arguments and points. It's always going to direct hate towards that person. No, it isn't always. There are many ways to call people out that's not going to necessarily direct Give me one hate. example. Yeah, um, you can say, hey, I really don't like the way that this is framed. I think this is problematic. Let's talk about it on stream. And you what can do, you do think it like that gonna, instead of, all, wait, wait, instead of... What you literally of, just said, people would respond with like, oh, you're being a debate bro. Invite me on your Twitch nah, stream. And I don't people think they would, would actually. So because here's the way, wait, 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 years, that's yeah, exactly wait, what somebody would I mean, I've been doing this for a year and I've been, I've been, had many success. So maybe it's a you problem. Maybe you engage so negatively on Twitter, on Twitter that people assume that you're like, well, I mean, I will say, at least from my personal engagement, proud of that. You're one. really fucking like you come off really fucking fragile on Twitter, and so people probably interpret I'm the that. the one that comes off on fragile. Oh, absolutely. On yeah, hundred percent. Because you call that person. Wait, okay, wait, it, wait, wait. Do you not mm -hmm. wait? I want to know. Do you actually disagree with that? Do you actually think? Do you actually? Are you actually going to contest the idea that mental illness has been openly, frequently, and is currently right now being weaponized against trans people? I, there are probably people that do. Sure. Oh, there's a lot of people. Like literally, we're ha like, hey, I don't think I ever insulted Destiny's hair. I don't think I ever did that. I mean, holy shit. I don't know if you're not connected with the trans community, but this is something I cover a lot. And I can tell you right now that literally trans people have been killed over, Hold on. over Wait, shit like real this. Quick. The person that... I, oh, yeah, people I'm just saying. Trans, I'm just saying. The you, you know, that, this wait, is... wait. The person that made this comment... Wait, wait. Which comment are you talking about particularly? Wait, what do you mean? Hold, do you want to... Wait, the, the, the hang yourself thing? I can yeah. send you a screenshot. They were banned because they got it reported. Thank God. But nonetheless, I have a screenshot for you. I can send it to you. Uh, okay, gotcha. Point. I'm super curious who these people actually. Yeah, follow, yeah, absolutely. But... Yeah, okay. absolutely. Um, in fact, I also took a picture of. Um, I took a picture of one of the people um, who uh, sent me. And again, I can't. Uh, I can't actually say this on there, but um, ugly Tiesler. Um, I took a screenshot just out of curiosity. Oh wait, of... is it the Callisti eighty eight person? Uh, that's one of them. Yeah. Yeah, this person is an anti fan of mine. Oh, but... okay. Well, that's okay. fine. Just saying. Okay. But no, you, I, yeah. you know, you got to be aware. <laughs> you got to be aware. Uh, you got to be aware of. of... Wait, 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 wait. Me? Are they you got... you yes, actually, okay. yes, you do. You yep. do have to be aware of that sort True. of thing when gotcha. you are when you are 
and let me explain this again for you. I know it's it's difficult to get, but you've made this argument in the past, so I know you understand uh -huh. this. When you also, have a he proceeded to make my argument tomorrow. The next day, or two days later, he went on t on Tim Pool. And he made this argument, just so that we know. Like, he made the same exact argument I made to him against Tim Pool about Trump. Just so we know. Just so that we're all on the giant clear. platform okay. like you do. One of the biggest on the web. It's mm -hmm. incredible. I know, you should, I know it's so big that you think that everything's about you. But when you have a giant platform, you are responsible for who you deliver to other people to some degree. And I don't think that it's like, I don't think it has to be like totally off the rails but when you lean in in and i don't think you've contested this even once well-known stereotypes well-known weaponized um statements and terms and stereotypes about trans people well, we can address and that, then Lotus. your anti stands or your stands which are very hard to tell apart to be completely honest they're um, not they Maybe really they are, are actually in the comments it's pretty tough um, but those anti stands, those people are going to flood in, and you as a content creator do have a responsibility. And in fact, I know you've already. I think that was a mistake on my part. Equating the fans and the anti stands. was a mistake on my part. Yep. You did this in the past, Destiny, and I know you know this. So Small mistake, but a mistake. You gotta be a little more careful, is what I'm saying. If you're gonna, um, it maybe maybe if your yeah, goal you can is to like actually chat have conversations with not people on Twitch or get them to come on, maybe you should be a little bit less. Why would that be my goal Twitter? when these person have explicitly stated that they will never have conversations oh. with me anyway? I don't know. Maybe you should just leave them alone then. Maybe they don't want to talk to you. Have you considered that people don't like you? Maybe maybe you're like a toxic influence and people like don't like being around you. You know what? I'm just asking. If only if only there was some function on. Demo 91, I'm a OG Vosh chatter. OG Vosh chatter. I promise you, I'm very familiar with Vosh's, Vosh's work. On Twitter, if only there was something that you could push to make it so that somebody else wasn't able to retweet you. Maybe they could implement a feature that would make oh, it yeah, so that there were people you didn't want to interact with. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could make it so they wouldn't have the ability to access your Twitter account. Oh yeah, some of them have done that. Wow. There's also another mm -hmm. feature called, um, you know, for there's this feature um, that you can do where you delete your account and mm -hmm. you usually do that when somebody who has a giant platform has uh, gotten a whole ton, so many people that you can't possibly block them all because they're all simps and they're all going to go repeat exactly what their daddy destiny told them to, to told them to mm -hmm. that was okay or signaled to them was okay. Uh, yeah, you delete your account. That's another feature that has. But we can recognize that these features really, you know, in a in a civil conversation. I've known Avash for three years, I think. Why are you being ignored? Who's being ignored? Yeah, he never took any action. Yes, that's true. That's true, Posadas. We can we can go there. Do you think DGG felt unfairly antagonized? Um, no. Uh, but this this didn't. Be, again, this didn't hit most of DGG. We'll get there. We'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, hold on a second. Uh, Lotus, Lotus, if you want to come on at any point, you are always welcome. Lo why the fuck? God, you gotta stop, Lotus. I love you to death. I truly love you. But holy shit, you need to stop being a Discord boomer, okay? Stop being a Discord boomer. I'm giving you the Hell Dweller role because you're family. Stop being a Discord boomer. Please. It's really good. Oh, that? These features shouldn't happen. By the to way, be. for those of you who don't know, Lotus is my cousin, and I love him very much. Right? I mean, maybe, the maybe, block what, is fine. You know As in, like, my actual cousin, and I actually love him. Like, I would die for my cousin, okay? There you go. Now everybody knows. Well, sure, maybe some people could people, block. It, I'm trying, it's really hard. I'm trying to have Just sympathy. Saying. So people will attack me and shit on me publicly. And then when I respond and shit on them back. Somebody to... give Lotus a cool, a cool fucking, uh, a, a cool fucking picture, okay? Give, get, somebody help Lotus get a cool avatar, okay? I can't die. I would, but, but you know, I would give up this mortal shell feel bad when they delete their accounts no that's not harass. what happened though like cyber late no. lexi has harassed me and attacked me publicly oh i mean she has attacked me publicly well, okay harassed and attacked okay um maybe Lip maybe you're right attacked me publicly okay well let's let's uh let's say Most of these people okay hold on wait, publicly, wait a second so... but there's a difference there's a couple of differences oh, yeah, wait wait the there really is this is okay. i mean i know wait, you wait, know wait, this wait. destiny you've hold made... on a second hold on a second <laughs> one second nepotism no the hell the the hell dweller role is specifically designed so that people 
know who is personally attached to me. You silly goose. Oh, you're so silly. It's, that's not... Oh, you people. You people are going to drive me. Made this argument yeah, before, because don't be it. disingenuous. Oh, okay. you, First your of all, arguments come off wait, so wait, much wait. better when you're like, you've said this before, you've said this before. You and Vosh talk the same? Hey, Dre gonna Dre. That's because we're from the same area. Vosh was born and raised in Southern California. I was born in Southern California and raised by a family of Southern Californians. That's why we talk the same. We we live, we are fr we're from the same region of the world, obviously. That, what, yeah, yes, absolutely. Anyway, let's continue. When you keep wait, wait, saying that, it, I mean, it makes your point so it, much It's better. just true, though. Mm -hmm. It's just true. I know the truth. The truth does help arguments come off better. It really does. I just does. want to say, this conversation is really fun. Are you a really big Vosh fan? Uh, I mean, I like Vosh, sure. I feel like I'm talking to a version that's been filtered down. Like, I can tell that you copy mannerisms off of Vosh, who copied mannerisms off of me. This is a very interesting conversation. Oh, I'm I sorry. Because you're doing a lot of, like, literally, Sick. you've done this. Literally, like, I, you I actually mean, people talk. We're both really Americans, funny. you know. No, no, I know. Just, I know. Again, here's that egotism. American. It's got to be you. you. It was. You can call it ego, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry, Destiny. I'm so sorry that I. A second generation. Yeah, second generation yourself, the better version, the improved version. Destiny 3.0. Yeah. Oh! Okay, best, my best moment was right here. This was comedy gold, okay? He failed and I just literally threw the knife right back. I'm here to okay. take you. You know, you're, you're, you've fallen off of the mountain and the new, and the new, the Neo Destinies are taking over. Okay. Shame. Neo, Neo Sucks Destinies. to be outdone by a newer model, doesn't it? Um, okay, but on. yeah, just saying. Um, he, the, the he fact played of the right into that, that you one. Know he gave me that platform one. between you and uh, and someone like Cyberwitch Lexi. Even between you and Live Posting, first of all, so your ability to direct hate and harassment is actually significantly um, more. Also, debating or dunking on each other back and forth in Twitter, I don't generally consider harassment unless it goes beyond um, you know certain lines. But uh, what I do consider what I do consider a little bit weird is when, like, for example, in this particular case. Um, Liv makes like a, a random statement about like generally debate people. In fact, literally there's been videos. There's a really popular YouTube video that goes, uh, debate me, debate me, debate me. Everybody knows it. That wasn't made about you. It was made about a bunch of random fucking people who do this shit. But, um, but again, if, even if it was about you, your response to that was to go like all caps level, like boomer tier tweeting in response. So yeah, it's a little, to it's like a little toxic the way that you engage, even with people who disagree with you. And I guess, you know, when it comes down to it, what I would just say is like the way that I determine whether somebody's like um, engaging well on Twitter is like how they engage. Because debating and disagreeing with people and dunking on one another happens. But it gets really fucking weird when people like yourself, Destiny, um, engage in well-known, um, again, stereotypes, epithets, whatever you want to call them, um, while also, you know, selling yourself to your audience as like the, the last social justice warrior or whatever. But you don't give a shit enough to even be careful about your language in that way. Um, yeah, I can be careful and not use mentally ill. I guess I'll have to find some other way to talk to the like mental. Oh, don't! I mean, you don't. Really, have on this Twitter. is so. This is like. This is that's that's. Come on, you can just say, "Oh yeah, that was actually pretty shitty of me." Like you don't have to like do this like extreme performative. Like oh, I'll never. Didn't you say in your critique of Mike from What's a Tiff that repeating ad homs that the de debate opponent levies is bad? Just wondering how you reconcile that. Is there a reasoned way for what? Wait. I didn't repeat it. I owned it and made it better. He said that I was a degenerated clone, and then I switched it and said, well, the 2.0 2 models are showing you up. That wasn't repeating it back. Like, what repeating it back, if I did it the way that Mike did here, this is a little, this is a little c comedy lesson. If I did it the way Mike did it, he would have said, he would have said, you're a degenerated clone. And then I would have said, no, you're a degenerated clone. That's it. What I did was he says, you're a degenerated clone, uh, d third generation of me. I'm like, damn, the third generation's got some cool ass, mo some cool ass features, huh? We're showing you up. Feels bad to be beaten by your degenerated clone, doesn't it? See how that's funnier? It plays way better because it's me adding, I'm taking his and countering it as opposed to just going, no, you. So yeah, that's how it, that's why it plays different. That's why it plays way different. It's a different style. Anyway, let's continue.
ever say mentally ill again. Like, I mean, I do agree. You should probably check the ableism. It's something the I'm working on myself. It, it, the problem is that all of this is like super performative. Like it is entirely possible. So there was the, um, I don't remember her name, Angie Speaks or whatever. I think I called her a subhuman fuck before. Subhuman is a word that I use against yeah, a lot of yeah. people. Mentally ill deranged is words that I use against a lot of people. Okay. It is possible that like, so calling a black person specifically on Twitter subhuman, maybe not the best look because of the types of attack or maybe calling a trans. Remember, this is the destiny that tweeted a burning cross at a black woman who was a conservative, to be fair. But nonetheless, let's just be real, okay? person like mentally ill maybe not the best yes. Given yes 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 yep yep yes that was what he lost his first account for okay like those types of attacks but like instead of go it being look it up as like go hey, look it up these are the best words to use it becomes like oh you're attacking trans people online now blah 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 blah. Is like, that what I you're said? not actually concerned about like that oh was like how maybe he lost there's like a first particular account. word yes. or a different thing that could be better here like uh instead like it's it's it goes to the most furthest like essential mm -hmm. thing that you possibly can it's maybe like oh you're actually trans people. person hold on can i please respond to your wait, wait, i'm just Holy i'm just shit. commenting i don't care what you're gonna say or okay. comment because you're gonna because you're gonna derail it into another argument i'm not i'm not i really not wait destiny i'm serious so the Even first though... thing you said, okay. so the the, the the first thing that you said mm -hmm. is um you know there's a difference in platform between smaller content creators versus you. So my questions here is that one, does this mean that I literally can't critique like any smaller person that shits on me? Because there are a lot of smaller content creators that attack me. And believe it or not, cumulatively, these attacks all mount up to be something that's pretty decent. Am I not so, allowed to go after any single one of so those individuals? This is funny. They... This is funny here. Nah, nah, nah. We're they happen to come from smaller okay. platforms. Number one, number two, Lyft posting has twice as many followers on Twitter as me. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's kind of silly to be like, oh, you have it now. Do I have a bigger platform on YouTube and, and Twitch? Yeah, sure, but like, what the fuck on Twitter where she's attacking me? She has twice as many followers as me. Okay, and then the third one, debate wait, wait, she wasn't attacking on you. She other. made a joke about debate bros. Let's be she clear. She has attacked me plenty okay. in the past, but that so he does lie. He uh, uh, explicitly lies here. Wasn't I'm what happened this time. I'm 99% sure that she has my channel in mind. She's making these types of okay. jokes. A lot of these that's people the do. Ego, you can pretend that they right. don't. Sure, that's the ego. Okay. It is. Um, There's other people that do the sure. stuff, okay. Destiny. I know and you then, don't know about and that. Then, um, and then debating slash dunking on each other back and forth, I don't consider that harassment. You're literally saying that, like, well, when you attack people, you have to be mindful of what happens with their audience. What yeah, you do you think happens when a bunch of people are tweeting out, like, oh, Destiny's transphobic, right-wing reactionary, blah, 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 blah. That's going to lead to harassment. So I don't understand how you yeah, think it it's could. impossible for me to call them back and call them out and do the exact oh, same thing oh, wait i mean like like i mean again we're kind of you're kind of smearing together a bunch of different stuff that happened um i don't i've never once said that you don't have the ability to defend yourself against um other like people who criticized or whatever that's like literally such a straw man of my position it sounds like you're not willing to engage with it in good faith um but it's like but but yeah you're totally capable i think anybody should be able to respond but you do have to be mindful when you have an inc like a massive platform advantage over somebody and yeah maybe Liv has some more followers but you know for a fact that your platform's bigger than her don't so even what judge. did i say to lexi that was so unfair then wait what you that, said like, to lexi was totally un inexcusable and actually honestly i do think that was transphobic now whether you meant it to be what or I, not what did i what oh, did calling I her I saying oh i think you're let me let me get the tweet i have it up here let me just uh let me just bring it up real quick i can read you your exact words give me one second Uh, hey, this is your words, by the way, Destiny. Hey, just as an FYI, I legitimately think you have a mental illness and shouldn't subject yourself to online scrutiny and stuff like this. It's pretty clear you're not capable of having any kind of reasonable conversation like this, and you'd probably be healthier, happier True, offline. True, gay fish. I'm sorry, Destiny, I don't know. Wait, your mic just cut out. Wait, really? Yep. Or okay. no, it, you said oh, offline, and then it cut out. Oh, offline? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, How I'm, is this transfer? Wait, wait, it, it, listen. Whether okay. you intended it to be or not, it absolutely is. Telling a, a person who's openly trans, who is not only openly trans, but also a creator in your space, um, that they're, oh, I think you're legitimately mental, mentally ill, that all of these sort of stereotypes, that is ridiculous. If you really think that, if you, first of all, and people in your, by the way, your own fans, I've checked this tweet, by the way, your own fans told you this, that if you actually thought that and you weren't just trying to get a cheap dunk, you could have DM'd, you could have said, hey, I'm not gonna engage with this person because I think they're mentally ill. What you chose to do is the worst possible way around it. You chose to try and label a, a, a public open trans person who shares your space, whether you like them or not, as mentally ill and that is fucking shitty that's that that is okay, transphobic. Well, you know that what is, it would, I'm, it would I'm, mean... gonna, I'm taking it back i'm taking back the mentally ill slur okay and i don't know why it can only uh i guess be a derogatory slur towards trans people i think it's, that trans people not. and cis people can have forms of mental Wait, illness yes, that they have nothing can. to do this with is, this is this is this is right wing to... tier come on this is again this literally is so right anti sjw tier. you're you're being literally right you're the you're you might be the last anti sjw on the net destiny that's that's what it might be 
Listen, mm-hmm. the thing is, this you is know so, as he well looks as so, I do, this, this part was really weak on his part, in my on opinion. On text matters when you're making jokes like this. There's not much and I can say And if you're going to direct that sort of shit with the, the platform that you have against trans people, I think it's fair for people to call you out on that. I think it's totally fair. And I think that your reaction to it is you know, a little fragile and, and weak. Definitely. I'm the one who's fragile. Uh-huh. Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. You've kind of shown that throughout this engagement. But but for the sure. fact of the matter well, is... Here's my like, suggestion. Sure. If you are a snowflake and you're going to get super fucking bothered by me responding on Twitter, then not you personally but sure. anybody in general one there is a block function use it mm-hmm. and that's all i got for you yeah, Easy. yeah and and also just try to use the block function for the thousands and thousands of mindless drone-like simps that will flood into your mentions telling you to hang yourself and all that shit too remember First of it's all, not it's you not, do on... not get thousands of responses from people that follow me telling you to hang yourself it's probably going to be a few and you know yeah. what those should be the funnest responses because if you report things like that, those people will get banned from Twitter. Yeah, so it's just it's really shitty. Those though. are the, the funnest, thing is right? Like, yeah. like especially if you, um, especially if you actually like. I mean, I know you've said this lots of times. Uh, did was I? Wait, did that happen? I got I got a lot of hate, not thousands. I was being a little hyperbolic, just to steal from uh from the from the uh the book there. But to be fair, that was me, and I wasn't the direct target of this. This was other people who were getting this. Other people he was calling mentally ill. So. I think it's reasonable to believe that's the case. Um, that you say what you actually believe. I don't really buy that. I don't think anyone's 100% honest all the time. I think that's like a thing that you sell when you want to build like a personality thing and a brand and whatever. I think you um, sell, wait, what's the thing that you sell? Oh, you, you like sell like that you're the most honest person who's ever lived. You always speak the truth and, and never do anything wrong. I, like that sort First of, of all, you guys have such this insane character of me. Okay? Well, I'm no, a human I mean, being you and I know like, that. I'm not wait, 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 Destiny, no offense, but it's not, it's not just because of I, – I know this isn't just your assertions, but I promise you I have seen at least four times this morning in the comments um, people saying – Destiny always is honest on Twitter. Yeah, Sometimes I'm going to take this down and we'll talk about this honest. afterwards. And that, like, that'll be in the discussion portion of this, you got upset of this because debate. I was attacking some strange character of the left. Now you're quoting what Oops. fans say about me, trying I'm to say that saying, that's my opinion of myself. No, no, no I'm just say, saying. I'm just saying what you're just saying is wrong. No, no, what, so what I'm just saying is that, that, you can, some, that you can imply that. I have never in my life said that I am the perfect arbiter of fucking truth. All I said is that I generally try to find the most truth. Nothing I do is performative. In, in most sure. arguments. That's generally what I do. So if that's, if that's the I've case. I've never said that I'm perfect ever. Sure, sure. If that's the case and you try to engage honestly online and whatever, barring some hyperbole, <laughs> then I think that if you honestly uh, do think that somebody is mental, mentally ill, you definitely should be more careful about your about how your platform could affect that person. That's and what I've heard as, as well. it's as easy as just not quote retweeting them to your fans. Well, if they're, listen, if they're deleting their Twitter accounts, maybe I'm doing the world a better place. Damn, not just the there world, we go. Right back to that. At the end of the day, yeah, you, you, you know you've what? seated on you know nearly what? every point all that I've those, made here, and yet the conclusion is I'm not going to change anything because I'm all stubborn. All of those mental illness claims I've made, I stand by 100%. If your you life do. is it's being okay. heavily no, he just did the opposite. impacted by Twitter, guess what? You should delete it. There mm-hmm. is nothing of value to be gained on the shit wasteland yeah. that is the barren politics and, landscape. And, and guess what, landscape of Twitter. And you know what? I, if, I like your, I like contri- it. If, you, if you're online and you're like crying or you're distraught because of hate or horrible shit that's coming to you on like social media platforms, you should fucking on assault to leave that shit and you're yeah, like yeah, I agree. better no, for I agree you with thank you. me for it but guess what destiny i agree with you i do agree um I, in fact i would advise people to I've advise people on my own stream that they should do that but the reason why twitter is trash is because of you because of people like you not only you but people like you and the way that you absolutely. engage with twitter not absolutely 100 cl- and especially as, oh true. absolutely you not open wait wait remotely. let me just remind your audience and mine all of our mm-hmm. audiences that you open this by saying that um no you that was him that being be sarcastic good... elac caval he was he was being sarcastic he said he was reclaiming mental illness. And he's like, I take it back. I'm taking it back. He didn't actually concede. He might later, Thing, though. If these people that you disagree with, these actually, I, and I, I don't know Liv Posting, but I do know Lexi. Lexi's a wonderful person, one of the best faith in people who engages. I don't know what imagination or struggles you've had in the past, but the idea that she deserves to be um, harassed off of Twitter by your sense is been, fucking though. stupid. I have been, though. I will call you out. Demo, I, think I have been bullshit. extensively. But you've, you've admitted to it, and you don't seem to want to back down Spoiler's on that. True. Even though you've seated the fact that people because with platforms have a response. Wait, wait, wait. wait I'm not done. Let been... me finish. Oh, of course you're not. Let me finish. Yeah, I know. You're annoyed when women talk too much. I get it. It's fine. Um, you're not the only one. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's one of these things where you've seeded that, yes, people with a platform do have some responsibility to what to their communication, the way they go about it. You've seeded the fact that mental mental health um, and mental illness has been weaponized, like almost primarily, that's been almost a primary weaponization against trans people. You've admitted that you engaged in these things, and you've also admitted that you believe that people that you don't like on Twitter should be harassed off of it. And what I would say is you are about the most, if that's all true, 
and you're not just like like desperately trying to save face or seem cool to your audience right now um then what then you are indeed the emblematic the paragon of what's wrong with twitter so when you say that i say that people that i disagree with now that was with... pretty harsh is that a critique i don't know that was pretty harsh but i don't know if that's necessarily a critique Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. Off. I never said that it's people that I disagree with. I think that it's people that are involved, coordinated harassment campaigns, or people that are online on Twitter making constant dog shit takes that are attacking other people constantly. And the online left does this relentlessly. Okay. Well, I'm, we're, not not we're not talking about. We're not talking about. I'm really owner. not even allowed to talk for more than like twenty seconds. Go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Mouth and just Go blubber ahead. all over the. Go like, ahead. calm down. Look at that. Please. Look at me. I'm proud of myself for apologizing there. See, I know how to apologize. Um, Yauta, he's just spiteful towards it. I do not understand that. Shit. Okay. So, I, <laughs> again, you keep repeating the same dumb argument. Yeah, you can let... Oh, my God. It really is like watching, like, a fucking 3.0 version of myself. Jesus. Um, upgrade. Upgrade. So you can upgrade, say... Upgrade. Uh, upgrade. Huge downgrade. Very clearly something fucked up in the in the transmission from 2.0 to 3.0. So, when you say people that I disagree with should be bullied now, off... Now, see, so he stole my joke. Originally, he called me a degenerated clone, and I said I was 3.0. He stole my 3.0 joke here. Repeating this over and over and over and over again. I've never said that. I, I understand that, like, so part of the Gish Gallop is you have, like, your four or five arguments, and then you repeat them over and over again, even though we kind of walk through and try to, like— That's not a know, Gish Gallop. Uh, That's the opposite of, of a Gish time. Gallop. It doesn't seem to work. Um, are you having a lot of fun talking to your stream right no, now? No, I was good. just saying uh, out loud. That's not that, a Gish Gallop. people you just— What? I th uh, yeah, if you haven't hit the like button on my stream, please do. You can do it. It, it, you just click on the YouTube link and then you press the like. It helps me grow. Thank you. That, wait, wait. Having Deeply five points it. that I stick to and, and I'm consistent with is the opposite of a gish, gish gallop. Which you've seeded to those points, by the way. What do you what do you think a gish gallop is? A gish gallop is when you bounce around from, from random points I don't and think have you no intention it. of completing I think I delivered it I've brought up a couple of very key points. We've stuck on them the entire time. And you kept accusing okay. me of gish gallop, but you have no evidence no, of it. That, so, okay, so a gish gallop is when you lay out a ton of arguments and you don't give me the chance to actually properly respond hey, to any of them. That's okay. what a gish gallop Which is. Which one haven't I let you respond to? <clears throat> on almost anything. Uh, I see, I see. Anything, but, nothing, right? If you want, we can try and ha like we haven't even had a conversation right now. We really like, have. You're just getting it, mad that you're you're just getting mad that someone's like meeting you on your own ground. Like honestly, this isn't my yeah, ground. There's, you're on there's... you're on the hypothetical ground. This is wait, we, what you're doing right now is actually I guess how most lefties seem to imagine. Right, here we go argue. again. Like, there's this that is phantom actually, again. This is actually so phantom. and it's so crazy because I run into this so much with right wingers and, and lefties now where people imagine that like there are certain destiny debate tactics and I know that he does and then when I talk to him I'm gonna use the same debate tactics he does but I don't. Wait, you can go through and you can watch any of my debates or any of my conversations Wait, that's not what i was talking and about i at all. literally never do any of these i, I don't know what you're like, talking there about there might I be was... times in a conversation where i get like a little about? bit heated and maybe i'll talk quickly or whatever but like i'm almost always like hey Wait. you disagree with me stop me here i'm or, not hey. letting him talk as he talks Hey, if you want to respond to this, sure. Or we can go point by point by point. Destiny. I will do this in every conversation. Destiny. Whereas people wait, wait, wait. Destiny, Destiny, hold on. Before on you go off stream, on another one. So right now, I'm doing the same thing that you've done to me this entire conversation. And you're losing your mind over it, right? I'm not. So I'm just asking you to wait. I want to finish the stream, point. I'm trying to write down point by point by point. And I actually haven't gotten through a single oh time God. where I've written down everything you said and gotten to respond to it. You're incredulous right now. Wait, I'm just so saying, you, you were the one who called me Destiny 3.0. Over and over again, okay? But like, I literally. I was wrong there. Critique. Self critique. He didn't call me Destiny 3.0. He called me a degenerated clone. I came up with the Destiny 3.0 thing. But let's be real. I'm Demon Mama 1.0. 100 times better. I literally have not gotten through a single time oh where I've God. written down your points True, and gotten to respond to them because you'll cut boss. me off of the first one and then we'll run down a whole other like train tracks of railroad. And then at the end of every single time we, we try this, you just repeat those same five points again. And I haven't actually gotten to respond to a single like fucking like deluge I, of, of commentary that you've I given. Just I haven't like gotten to do like any of this. You're still ranting um, about what you supposedly so, didn't do. You so just had a whole bunch of time there. So you literally said, and you've repeated this point over and over and over again, people you disagree with be bullied off. That's like your primary objective or whatever, blah, blah. Like when it, the, the the harshest form of this that you seem to be positing is your intentional goal is you go on Twitter and you try to make people quit Twitter. What, what I've told you multiple times now, and I'll repeat it again, although I expect you to ignore it and repeat yeah. your same argument, what I've said is that when I go on Twitter, there are people that I disagree with, and I will quote tweet them, there and I will, will call be them mysterious. stupid and there deranged and whatever shit if I think they're making stupid or deranged arguments. And if they happen to leave Twitter as a result of that, eh, 
I'm okay with that. It's not my primary objective, but yeah, I would like to see less people on the platform that are giving deranged or insane fucking takes. Okay. As I imagine you yeah. and every other person that quote tweets people um, and, and does stuff on Twitter like that would agree to, much like how in your very own tweets you say that your goal- uh, Kitty, to, Kitty Ku Titty Kubo. I, I think that, that Destiny does occasionally, like I think he does. I just think he's like, I, I just think that he's like, not in this one i think he's i think he's had principled stances before i just think he's not here i think when he engages with lefties he doesn't do a very good job with it but happy to have you by the way this is my mega self-critique mega stream and we're starting with this one and we're going to go on and on is to dunk on people on twitter it's going to be great which is directing hate towards somebody and bullying mm. them whether or not you agree you can pretend that it's not but it is um i mean i don't know there are some people like nazis for who i'm certainly yeah well, that's I'm fair certainly lyra fine with i think there are times where i do that um, yeah towards i just uh i find it really funny that Roommate is watching this with me, and she says she thinks you go off on other things Destiny has done before you give him a chance to respond. I think there were times where I did that, um, but yeah, I don't think that was characteristic of the entire thing. I do think there are moments. He also does that to me at times, for sure. But, um, I know you've you've. But I, I think that's fair. galloping all this random shit and not letting you talk, although you do. You get your opportunity to talk, and then you say the same. No, thing. I just no. It, listen, it, listen. I, I just talk. Notice that Destiny had, nobody said shit. Okay, I'm sorry. Nobody said shit in chat when Destiny talked for a solid minute with zero interruptions. Nobody said shit. But then when I talk, people go, oh, you go off on a bunch of different things. Ah, come on. Come on now. Again, in the framework of this conversation. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I agree. I agree, Lyra. I agree. I agree with you, though. I, I agree with you on that. My critiques of Destiny in this are totally different. Like, nobody's ever even asked for my critiques of Destiny in this. But um, I can give them. Whether or not it's your primary goal, you've openly admitted multiple times in this conversation. I see that, that, that Twitch is, is getting some of the, uh, some, some, some and fucking I'm saying that not Destiny everybody fans. does that. Um, and uh, even if they Come on do, get comfy. that doesn't necessarily mean that it's right. Um, and that what you're doing is right. And also, um... The other thing that I find really funny is that, like, first of all, I wasn't even referring to, like, debate tactics. I meant literally I'm – I'm we're engaging in the same way. We both do the little bit of – a little bit of interrupting here and there, a little bit of ranting here and there. We both do that. We're both a little perform. See? I literally bring it up in this debate. ...in that way. But it was you no, who did accuse me of being... Not, I, don't, I don't do performative oh, shit. Don't oh, waste oh come on. Performing. Don't lie. Everybody does. No one on this entire you platform... Talk to you're a streamer. Me you're, you're st Fun fact. I have met and talked to many people who have met you IRL. I've done it. I did my due diligence. Do not do performance. Wait, 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 wait. I know that for you guys, wait, 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 this, wait, wait, is like a, this is like oh, a fun exercise for you that you enjoy, like getting on in virtues and whatever. Nothing that I do is performative. Wait a minute. Ahead. You're a streamer, Destiny. Listen, I also am very bombastic IRL, incredibly bombastic IRL. Just because I'm perform because you're performative IRL or that's your standard doesn't mean that it's not performativity. All streamers are. Oh, absolutely. It's of just a fact of the matter. As long as they, if they break the rules, you can say it is absolutely. You're a streamer, Destiny. My God, you're a showman. That's what you do for a living. Don't lie to your audience. This streamer is like means bullshit. I turn the camera this is like on and I capture what I do. This Some is like. Are wait a minute. Are you I'm like? Not. I will stand by every single thing I say to the death. I'm the same way in real life. Yeah, yeah. In DMs, oh, me too. Off stream, on stream, oh, absolutely. in Discord. Me too. But nonetheless, I can acknowledge that being on stream, there is always going to be some performativity. Are you really telling me that like? Uh, oh, like that you uh, live your life with like a like a like a like a fucking uh, focal point, you know, behind you five feet with purple lighting. Like, come on, there's all there's always an element of, of theater to anything that's done online. Actually, I really like what? the lighting here. Sometimes yeah, yeah, I'll see your MDMA, and I really like the way the lights look. Actually, it's not actually pretty cool. So but go ahead. That's and after this, Dark Horse. You can, I, don't, um, I, I like also real quick. I like what you just did there, where mm -hmm. when you said performative originally, that's yeah. usually an attack on character, no, and then you tried yeah, to back that up in terms of like, oh, well, you have a setup in the no, back. No, no, see, this was him projecting that. But on camera, saying, that's not what performative means. That's not how it's ever perceived. Wait, but that was cute, that actually, little switch that you played there. Wait, hold on. Let's like, continue. I mean, you're getting like, I think you're getting a little um, like defensive over certain terms. I don't say performative as a pejorative. I was literally just using it as a, a description of what we're doing here. We are on a stream. So it's interesting because earlier you attacked me because you said that mental <sighs> illness is oftentimes something that people use to attack trans people in order to call them into question their sanity just because they're trans. I love this and then moment. You I'm sorry. Performative against me, which is something that's often said towards streamers to imply that they don't actually believe <laughs> oh, what oh, they're talking wait, about. Are you but literally now you're saying that when you use performative against me, you didn't <laughs> streamer phobia. I didn't take into the intentions of your work. Streamer words, phobia. Ill, you can't Destiny, come on. This is pathetic. Streamer phobia. Are you? 
really pulling out the yeah Oof. i know you're grinning because you know that's a bullshit argument streamer no, no, fucking... they... yeah, he knew he knew he knew phobia is exactly analogous <laughs> streamer is phobia parallel. steve it's Jesus really, really, really funny. come but, on but... Like, that's ridiculous, and you know that's not the same. You know that if this was a conversation, it's any enough, other way. Must be true. Yeah, I mean, it is true. You know that's not fucking... You know those aren't yeah. people saying that. Um, I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, for sure. Um, Just for those who don't know, the on-screen chat is my Discord chat because my website is down. Normally, my website is where everybody chats. We have a million emotes. It looks super nice. My website... The website's getting attacked, so everybody is in Discord. If you want to join the Discord, discord.gg forward slash demon mama, and you can chat up on the screen. But feel free to sit wherever you are. I watch all my chats to the best of my ability. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, let's continue. And then you have to say, I've heard you say this in the past against an argument with Sargon Destiny. Say that one again. Wait, it's I, really good. I literally have been... your argument Wait. a lot. I, I don't know if you're, like, caught in the first five minutes of this conversation, mm -hmm. but we've been talking for quite a while. And I know, I know it can be hard to like keep these things when you when you know you do, you do them a lot. So I get it's it. It's like every bad debate thing I ever say is like filtered down. Like you must be getting mad right now. Like I know, oh, I can see that green or whatever. Blah, Damn, blah, blah. like it, it must funny, suck. I remember, like back in twenty sixteen, it must suck to be confronted with what you've created, isn't it, Destiny? <laughs> you Destiny three point <laughs> is is just crunching you right now with your listen. It's really funny because like it's it, this whole thing, this really whole funny. like wait wait wait, this whole this whole tangent was because you got really offended because I said something about like. Uh, about like um, that, I'm meeting you on the same ground, and you took that to mean like, oh, I, I'm uh, something about your debate tactics. I literally never brought up your debate tactics. You are the only person who's alleged that I'm like a a third generation Destiny in this conversation. Which, sure, all right. Uh, by the way, if we're gonna be third generation Destiny, please like and subscribe to my channel. That way, I can be as big as the original Destiny. That'd be great. Third de third generation Destiny on the way. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't I know, dude. That like, joke a little it seems bit. like. But that uh, was a delivery issue. Delivery on the on the pitch. Fair critique. Fucked up the joke a little bit. Basically still, tried it still to draw landed, out every but it was a little it was a little stumbly. For, like basically being a shithead on Twitter and doing mm -hmm. some really like terrible stuff that I don't think you would um I don't think th I think that you would criticize other people for doing this exact thing. Let's and see. again, oh, it's so much um, as all of the points which you seated, whether you want to say that you didn't or not, let's just we can watch the vod again together if we want to. Um, well, sure. Wait, spicy mango. I don't disagree with you, by the way. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh God, there's Destiny fans in chat. Everybody, chill. This is my self critique stream. We are just enjoying ourselves while I self critique. Calm down, sit down, and have a good time. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be fine. Just relax. It'll be good. We're gonna talk about it afterwards and everything. Let's go. I'm curious because I wrote this it's down. Good. Let's it's talk about this point exactly because you keep and I said sure, you sure. bring it up after correcting you on it again. Okay, okay. What is this thing? So you said you've openly admitted multiple times that this is what you intend to do. That I intend mm -hmm. to bully people off of Twitter. Yes. So if my intention. Yes. Like he did not say that. He did say that was his intention earlier on. Or a byproduct of what I do. My mm -hmm. intention was to bully people off of Twitter. You admit that I could be far more effective at doing that, right? Oh, I do agree. You could be, yes. I could coordinate harassment campaigns and oh, shit off yeah. of alternate accounts. I could be Oh, okay. Crazy. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, but that's not sorry, like incompetence isn't a defense. You do you really think that no, no, somebody like listen, me wait. is not bullying? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You you just claimed that I was using incompetence. You don't think that it might be that I actually just have a desire to engage in a different type of behavior? You really think the reason why I haven't bullied some people on the internet is because I'm incompetent at it? I mean, I don't know. Well, that's what you were. That's the well, defense. Well, you said you that you don't. Wait, you wait, can't wait, say wait, I don't let know. Let me answer the question, Destiny. Let me answer the question. You literally just said that your Destiny. incompetence isn't an excuse Destiny. or defense. Let me answer the question. I'm planning incompetence. I have to answer the question that you ask if you actually want to find out. Okay, yeah, go for it. Well, I'm just trying to hold you to what you say. I mean, I, I am. The, okay. the the this conversation was opened with you saying that you um are and i don't remember the ex the exact wording here and i'm trying mm -hmm. to be i'm trying to meet you at your mm -hmm. own i'm not trying to fucking bad faith you i really want to understand what we're going here so. i mean no i came on your show and i'm engaging with you like you know like i'm talking engaging with you. yeah something yeah, like that okay yeah. i mean sure maybe you're real mad about it and whatnot but um You're calling me a snowflake and fragile that was working really well for me yeah he called me a snowflake 
not the other way around. I mean, it, it seems to be. You, you seem a little, a little. You're doing the smile thing that Vosh does. And wait, wait, smiling? Just... Destiny invented like, smiling like, too. Like, so like, wait, what are we at now that you invented? You've invented the smiling. Know, you've invented okay, okay buddy. buddy. You invented debate. Now that I'm like, now that I'm looking for the mannerisms, it's like fucking Socrates, Steve, inventing philosophy and thinking okay. and talking. Keep going, keep going, keep oh, going. you're using that language thing? Oh my god, that's my thing. I d I invented the language. I use language to communicate. Oh my no, god. No, no. Okay. Anyway, the point is, let me let me answer your question now that we've you know got off on this. The fact of the matter is, you were the one who opened this. See, conversation. that's the thing. I loved this debate. By the way, for the record, this was so much fun. Even though I feel Destiny was being an asshole, it was so much fun. I don't know why he uh, like like really he uh, like he got so mad about it. It was so funny saying that um you're perfectly fine i had a, with people being i've harassed. said this for six months that i had a great time in this conversation it was super fun for me oh you've seen me on tiktok that's awesome samani we've been hitting soma we've been hitting the tiktok really hard yeah my i've been tiktoking like really hard lately like um we we We've been like really focusing on it. Soon I'm going to be doing unique TikToks, which is going to be super fun. That's so good to hear. Like, oh, that's so validating to hear because like we've been working really hard on the TikTok. What an amazing. Yeah, this is an amazing day. I agree. Off the platform that you're that that. Yeah, you're you're totally fine with direct. By the way, my apologies. Uh, I was supposed to set up the TikTok table last weekend, but I was too tired. I'll do it. I'll, I'll I'm going to be off for a couple days after the vaccine. So I'll do it during then. I promise um hate and harassment towards people if they're a piece of shit and my argument is that um you know is that uh okay i'm glad that you've admitted to that um i don't know what your intent is but i know what your outcome is and your outcome Wait, you, you you realize that you agreed with that last point right that it's okay what? to direct hate and harassment to people on the platform if you think they're a piece of shit right um i think within reason yeah like i think somebody like a so nazi we don't, so, wait wait so, hold yeah, on you said that earlier there are yeah. some people like nazis who are yeah, yeah. fine directing levels of hate towards so certain levels so yeah you, you can't attack me with that point when it's something that you agree with you just levy that as an attack on me so you well, said wait, I, I, i'm fine wait. with people you said you said that well destiny you said that you're fine with people being harassed off the platform that you're fine directing hate and harassment towards people mm. on the platform if they're a piece of shit yeah you agree with those points so you can't attack me with those well you wait wait a little i kind of can because, in your um, criticism because yeah. you agree with both of those points except i kind of can because the thing of the fact of the matter is that um first of all like uh i would argue that if um like i mean obviously there's, there's obviously people who we believe should be um taken off of platforms like i think anyone i don't think anybody would not that's agree fine with that remember demo extent. this is only the to first of what many extremes are and your oh. extreme is apparently I, I don't know it seems like it's just uh you're willing to use transphobic hate to drive people off the platform who mildly disagree with you and when it comes to lexi when i've asked you about lexi or when i've asked you about lived you've said oh they've you have vaguely gestured to them participating in some kind of hate campaign or whatever what it sounds like to me is that you take any criticism of you or any disagreement with you as like a personal attack that's trying to dis disassemble your massive brand that out like like massively outsizes these people but then you're totally willing to just obliterate them with your simps and not think twice about I can it and not that think that responsible while all the while and again this is the the only argument i've been presenting to you you know it has multiple parts but it is the only argument i've been making all the while claiming to be the last sjw on the internet and some so sort of social I'm justice curious, warrior if i would I can, use I can any other that. term besides mentally ill are you all of a sudden perfectly okay with all of my behavior on twitter because you're very fixated on no that expression. um no i'm not um but 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 this is just the examples that were most prevalent these are the ones most recently that well no this is the way no, no, this is not this is not just the example that's most prevalent this has been like a linchpin to your argument you're literally yeah, 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 over absolutely. and over again saying like this is like well, uh, well, conservatives use mentally ill to attack trans people yeah, it's not do. just a random point you're very fixated on this i expression. mean of course yeah yes, because that's the one we're talking about i'm talking about how you use okay. it wait wait wait, wait. What, okay so i what are you what are you okay you you're doing the thing okay so what do you, you mean said, so wait, wait you said that like this is just what i'm using it's just one example and i said well yes. no it's a very important example it's not just a random example it's important you're like oh yeah well of course it's a very important one yeah okay wait wait okay, so okay, it's not wait, just wait, a wait, random question. argument that you're using clarifying this particular question. expression is very important to clarifying you. question i just want to understand when you say am i okay with what you're doing on twitter what do you mean 
What do you mean by that? Do you uh, mean in terms do you think of like if I see people that I will vaguely refer to as lefties that consistently bully and harass and demean my takes and quote my stream and do all sorts of shit or whatever, is it okay for me to call them out and to you know talk shit to them and call them stupid oh, yeah, and all totally. that shit on Twitter as well? Of course, absolutely. I have no so problem then, with that. Wait, I do that too. Question. Sure. So then yeah. back to my original. But what question. I don't do, if I, were to, if I if I were to redirect all of my mean and horrible comments, blah blah blah, but I just didn't use the expression mentally ill, would you be okay with what I do then? Um. Oh, I mean, when you say what you do, I mean, I guess here's the thing, because like, that's a really, that's like a broad for like, you're, you're taking like a broad conclusion from a specific example. But in this case, yeah, if you weren't, if you hadn't, if you had been mad at um, Cyber Witch Lexi's take, and you hadn't gone in really hard on calling her like a mentally ill person who should leave the internet and all this shit. Um, yeah. You know, I think that you probably would have been able to have a much more, in my opinion, not only a much more responsible, but a much more effective engagement. I think hey, you're thank um, you so much, several to cows. Like, really appreciate uh, surpass, that. you know, both ableism, but also transphobia in this case, these, these transphobic stereotypes, whether you intended it or not, um, is, is the big, is the biggest problem. And I think that is a real problem. I think it's a problem so with communication for that, this. Sure. Let so this me. entire conversation boils down to you being upset that I used the expression mentally no. ill. If I hadn't said no. that, you'd be okay with anything oh, else? Oh, I mean, I mean, uh, it, it is a little, it is a little upsetting. Um, but it's upsetting in the same way that I would be um, mad at somebody like using racial epithets. Same way you have presumably been mad at people being racist um in the past the same way you've criticized people for being disgusting racist in the past okay almost, i would you don't need to quote my own well, i'm just saying I mean, I i'm just saying you know when we're in this conversation and we're talking about this we're talking about your consistency asking, it's what very, i'm disagreeing very, with you I'm, I'm just asking a very simple question so yes. i wouldn't have used the expression mentally ill would mm -hmm. you be like oh destiny's totally fine at what he's doing on twitter i mean I mean, I would have other problems. I mean, I think you're, I think you're a dick, and the way that you engage with people on Twitter is like really unproductive. But other than that, I don't think you're like doing anything morally wrong. What I think that you're doing morally wrong is when you, um, when you lean on, um, on well, like again, well known, um, like stereotypes and and this, this, like again, it's directing hate, and that is different. There is a big difference between just disagreeing with somebody, calling someone a name or whatever, and specifically, um, not just like not just even saying it to them but also quote retweeting them so that your followers can get on it and saying this person should not be on the internet that that does have an effect we we can't and, and hey, wait I, hold on so do you think I, it's bad for me to quote retweet and say like this person doesn't belong on twitter hey dirtbag left dirtbag left chill okay okay chill we're not even done with the first debate okay relax um well, because maybe you, not that. Again, you know? so as part of a yeah. gish gallop, you keep using all these arguments, but I don't think you it's actually. It's not a gish gallop. This. No, there's yeah, no gish galloping wait, wait. going on here so, at all. So let me explain what a, what a gish gallop is. So a gish gallop is when you lay out bad argument after bad argument after bad argument, but if you lay out enough of them sequentially, it appears as though you're making a legitimate I argument. I haven't. So done my that. problem. You've well, you've literally okay. seeded most of my arguments here, Destiny. So you literally have. Watch the vod again. Oh, okay, have you? You think that? Wait. You think? No, I said that he. I, no, no, no. I, that was in referring reference to other things, Elak Kaval. Um, you say that you think he's not doing anything morally wrong, but then you go on to say that he's doing morally wrong. No, 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 no. I said that if he hadn't been going around calling trans people mentally ill, that his takes wouldn't be morally wrong. But he's pushing into the area of moral wronghood. We can talk about it. We can talk about it after, Lotus. Don't worry about it. You can do it. it it's not a big deal. I'm not going to, like, blow up on you. Anyway, you're going to always have love from the imp, so don't worry about it. We can talk about it after if you've ever wanted. It's your opportunity. You can come on the show if you want to. No need if you don't want to, but I'm totally fine with it if you want to. Everybody can go watch the VOD. Please so do. So I just keep asking you, is it okay if I engage in the behavior that I engage in if I just don't say the words mentally ill? Is and it... now you keep vaguely saying like, oh, well, yeah, but there's wait, 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 let me... like, wait, wait, wait. And then you say things like, oh, like, I don't like it when you quote well, wait, retweet wait, wait. Are you going to let me answer or are you going to pretend to do an impersonation you, of me? I'm asking you very specifically. Yeah, if okay. I quote retweet somebody and say this person doesn't belong on Twitter, is that a behavior that I shouldn't engage in? Is if that a bad thing? If you quote retweet somebody and say they shouldn't belong on Twitter, and you're aware that that is going to likely influence your audience and you feel you've done the due diligence, I think there's a space for that to happen. But what I don't think is okay is I don't think that um, doing that same behavior and tying in um, extremely obvious, um, what I would argue are hate hate dog whistles, if not just outright hate, those that is not okay. And the reason is because when you retweet somebody and say, this person's dumb or whatever, then the most that somebody's going to get is like, oh, you're dumb. And you might get some annoying simps and whatever. But I can tell you, again, firsthand, and I know you know this part, Destiny, but getting hate 
getting like racists and transphobes in your comments and also getting the signal from the streamer intentionally or otherwise that that's okay remember no hey let's continue is a big difference it's not just being called dumb it's being targeted for your intrinsic traits it's what leads oh, to I'll, the uh, lotus uh, this debate is almost over like well i guess it isn't almost over but as soon as this is over we can talk I plan on doing a little talking section after each one, and then we'll have a breather, and then we'll go into the next one. This is going to be – this is an all-day event. It's like going to the carnival. It's great, but we'll be able to talk shortly. Horrific mental health uh, situation that trans people find themselves in in this country. Yeah. Uh, it's got a little longer. We can 1.5 speed it if you want to. All right, let's, get, let's try it on 1.5, and let's see how it goes. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Type of behavior and okay, and so yes really yeah. good speech, so wait you asked me a question was, destiny my god yeah so what i did was i asked you a question on if it's okay for me to retweet and quote tweet somebody yeah and i'm, sorry, I'm just enjoying okay sure. i asked if it's okay if i retweet and quote tweet somebody if it's okay for me to bully them if i don't say mentally ill and your response to that was well my problem is when you do it when you call them mentally ill so i'm very specifically so i'm going to try one more time because i've had to ask a lot of these questions like four or five okay, or six yeah, times so i'm okay. trying to ask one more time and say is it okay if i retweet somebody and say this guy's a fucking moron um, or this person's a fucking moron they don't belong on fucking twitter like fuck this person is it okay if i retweet somebody and i quote that even if they're yeah, trans I mean, or even if they're a lefty or a black person or a white person or a gamer or whatever i mean i'd argue it's it's uh it's like shitty and kind of wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, let me answer like, destiny I think it's mean, I think it's shitty, I think it's bad, but I don't think it's like morally wrong in a, in a larger scale, nor do I think it's like it's on particularly now. politically harmful. So yeah, there's, I mean, I've answered this already like three times, but apparently it's not good enough. But what does matter is when you then do you that. Keep doing this, because now you're going to do this. Wait, wait, yes. Wait, 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 yes. Wait, yes. But I'm asking you aside from that. So then, do I think that my... like directing hate in general is bad? I mean, I don't know. Like, wait, but you don't think directing hate in general is bad because you literally said you're okay directing levels of hate towards Nazis. You don't think that that's bad intrinsically? No, I don't think it's bad intrinsically. I don't think, of course not. Of course context matters. Yeah. Is it just bad when I do it against people that you agree with no i no, wait, wait what do you mean bad. what are you talking about you said that it's bad to direct hate towards people but then you also said it's okay to direct hate towards people i don't know how you actually feel about that no no wait what i'm saying is that i think there are circumstances in which directing hate against somebody can be incredibly harmful like i don't know are you is this like a hold on. you don't but you don't think that's always bad do you if i direct no, hate I towards Nick Fuentes and it's harmful no, to him likewise wait a minute hold on a second do you think that it's bad for like justice to be done and someone to go to prison um i don't know wait just uh oh to answer the question, Destiny. It's simple. Do you think I, it's bad for me? The answer is yes, but that's okay. because I don't think that justice should be. I think it should be rehabilitated, should be rehabilitated. Not like okay. retribution well, or whatever. So that's okay, not if a... that's the case, I mean that's a bigger thing. Yes. Yeah, so, but do you okay. think? Do you think then that let's bar let's let's say in our current system, barring because mm -hmm. I, I also do agree that retrib like retributive mm -hmm. justice is not good. But do you think it's a good thing when like someone goes to prison for a crime? Within the confines of our current system, no, no, yeah, yes. Okay, yes. What if that person is innocent? Do you then yeah, think it's good? Not. Ah, so the context does indeed matter. Likewise, when we're talking about hate, the context matters. And I would argue that you directing hate against random people that you disagree with, um, and also, again, leaning very strongly into extremely hateful and objectively harmful um, stereotypes, um, that, again, you have never contested that. Appreciate you not trying to contest that and going full right wing or whatever. Um, but yeah, you doing that is a bad outcome. It's exactly like, it would be like, uh, again, it would be like sending an innocent mm -hmm. person to prison. If you subject- so yeah. Yes, so your yeah. analogy is apt, okay? Mm -hmm. The problem is that you came onto my stream and you essentially said directing hate towards people is bad. Much the same way that somebody might say That's not what sending I said, people though. to prison is good. And actually. then what I would ask, and I would say, well, hold, that you're actually you're taking my argument. So mm. let, let me explain this very no. carefully. Yep. No. So you said, no. Destiny, do you think that sending people to prison is good or bad, right? And generally, you know, I would say, oh, it's probably good if you send somebody to prison. Like, well, what if they were innocent? Oh, well, I guess in that case, it's bad. Mm -hmm. So really, the original statement, sending somebody to prison is good, doesn't hold up. Really, the statement is guilty people should be sent to prison. Now, you've come onto my stream mm -hmm. and you've said directing hate towards people is bad. Did but I make I'm that argument? One, yes. I don't think I did. I think you I said, absolutely I think the... did. It was in, I wrote it down like four times earlier. Maybe. Five, right then. Earlier, you said directing hate did, towards though. people on Twitter is bad. I think and I specifically I, said directing what, hate against why. This is why I have asked you. You, I said, do you think directing hate towards Nazis is bad? And you said, oh, well, no, I guess like some people can be hated on the internet. So now, what both honest. of us have established, yeah. one through your analogy, yeah, of, don't worry, I'll make it work out. Well, listen, we if, we have to, if we have to, and then two, is directing hate it, towards people on Listen, Twitter? if we if we get to a point where it's getting too repetitive, we can move on. Let's let's finish. Let's go about. Let's go a bit further, and then we'll we'll talk. I want to make sure that we can make this work out because I'd love to have that convo. Well, I don't know. We need to ask more I'm enjoying this a lot, because personally. Because when you your original hardline stance was anytime you do anything no, that, that contributes good. to that's harassment or bullying no, or hatred of people yeah. on the internet, on Twitter, that it's a bad thing. That we was can watch the VOD, but that was not my wanna... original point. My original – actually, in fact, I know I know for a fact, and I can tell oh, you this. Oh, yeah, but, Soma. First of all, like, I know my he's a good, he's YouTube, a good but, speaker. But don't – like, Destiny is a legendary debater. Like, there's no doubt about that. I just disagree with him on this, and obviously he hates my guts now, so.
I know that this is not Who's the that? case, and anybody that. can yeah. anybody who's not convinced in the audience, uh, just so you know, like my entire point coming in here was because I was pissed off that you've been, you know, directing a lot of hate towards trans people in specific, and that is something that I have a problem with. And you've been directing transphobic hate at those people. That's the problem, and that's exactly what I've been talking about this entire time. I never, I don't think I ever once here. Maybe, maybe I yeah, like, unintentionally is. made like made some argument, but I but I'm better. I don't know, maybe I did. Maybe I said something like that wrong. I'd be willing to cede on that particular point. Oh, um, you, wait, 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 sure. I'm finishing. I'm not finishing. I would be willing to cede on the like if I if at some point I implicated that like directing any hate ever in any circumstance is bad. I don't think that's the case because I seem to recall a bit earlier in this conversation saying like, oh no, I think there's cases where directing hate is justified pretty openly. I don't think my argument was ever this. I think that's like what you want it to be. But the fact of the matter is that. Fuck. Hold on. Fuck. Give me one second. Okay. Take your time. Hey, DGG. How's it going? You doing okay? Come hang out on demonmama.com forward slash live. I promise. You'll have a good time. I'm not a bad person. I'm not a crazy person. I know. You might think I am, but you'll have a good time. Okay, Come hang out. One second. Um, hold on. I'll be back. One second. Or I'll be right down this. Sorry. I need to run downstairs real quick. One second. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll keep the stream entertained. Hello, everyone. Can, can DGG hear me? Can anyone confirm whether DGG can actually hear me at this point? I'll talk to you guys. I promise you, I do engage in good faith. People try to make it out like I'm not, but yeah, okay. Hey everyone, my name is Demon Mama, for those of you who don't know. I'm pretty cool. I'm a political edutainer. I'm a lefty. Talk about all kinds of stuff. You all yeah, they got in, mad. Um, they did get mad here. If you want to, I do a lot of debates. I do a lot of conversations. We talk about a lot of stuff. I promise I'm not as scary as I seem. I am Demon Mama. Some people are scared of demons. You can also follow me on YouTube. I have a whole bunch of videos. I even have a video where I talk about Peter Coffin and Aww. Destiny and how both of them are kind of wrong about BreadTube. That's all right. I hope Destiny's all right. I got misgendered by a poll in DGG. That's not very nice, DGG. That's kind of shitty. That's kind of shitty. Probably shouldn't do that. It's not. You have another laser focus critique. All right, give me the laser focus critique. Hit me with the laser focus critique. Not very nice. Not only is it not very nice, I'd actually argue it goes against probably. Yeah, most of I think DGG did like me after this. See, I didn't get hate from DGG until the next debate we're gonna watch. Principles. Um, yeah, it's true. I am, I am white. I am white passing. That's true. I don't really feel particularly attached to my whiteness. Um, I think whiteness is a, a silly construct, um, that changes definition whenever it's convenient, um, you know, for the political establishment to determine who can be, you know, kicked out and whatnot. Yeah. Well, I hope, I hope, I hope they fix it. It's all right. Listen, I'm, a, I understand if people make a mistake, that's one thing. The deliberate stuff is a little bit worse. Mistake is fine. Thank you. Hey, listen, it's all good. I've I've had a good, yeah, Socrates, Steve. Yeah. You like that one, guys? Listen, I have had a good conversation one way or another. Um, I think I've made my point pretty well, but I'm, I'm interested to finish this off with uh, Destiny because this has certainly been interesting. I will say, I do like Destiny's lighting. Thanks, His Venus. lighting situation Appreciate is that. wonderful, actually. My lighting is better now. Looks nice these yeah. days. Well, it's a much bigger, I mean, keep in mind, my, my chat's uh, contending whether the, the demonmama.com website. Uh, what I said about whiteness? Is that I am white, but I am not attached to whiteness as an identity. I, I am identified as white. People see me as white. I benefit from white privilege, but whiteness is cringe. Better or DGG. I don't know. I think uh I think DGG is a lot bigger. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. There are like four hundred mentions. There's about a risk. It's a oh, risk I saw that. for sure. I, know. I've had a million pings. I don't even know. Yeah, personally attached. Yeah, I'm not personally attached to it. Yeah, not at all. I know. Destiny invented finishing things off. moment will always hurt i'm so sorry i'm so sorry can we just i know destiny invented finishing things off Ooh, oh fucking wrecked welcome back no okay sorry hey um okay if you would have come in here originally mm -hmm. yeah that's right the meme that was from my convo with destiny do you know how many memes you know how many fucking memes have come from my convos with Destiny? We'll get there. Let's hey, continue. You call mentally ill people, or you call trans people online mentally ill people. Yeah. Kind of transphobic? Yeah, that was my argument, though. That really was. Like, if you that go back and watch it, I think it absolutely was... was not no, your argument. Pretty sure it was. Yeah. You made a much broader argument. Was it my argument, chat? Chat, was that my argument? Yes or no? Let's be honest. Was that my argument? Was that not literally my argument? And he's just telling me to my face that it's not? Yeah, I acknowledge the risk. Yeah, come on. Come on. This is silly. Like, obviously, that was literally my entire argument. It, 
is that gaslighting? No, because he's not. Gaslighting refers to to purple, uh, you, uh purple, purposeful personal relationships. You can't really. I don't know if you can gaslight somebody that you don't have a personal relationship with. Purple. I I mixed up personal and purposeful. It made it seem as though I literally can't attack trans people. Period. Or that mm, all of my behavior on Twitter that. is toxic and horrible. Nah. If your original claim is you come on. I mean, I do think oh, your 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 behavior on Twitter is pretty toxic and horrible. Brain. But I don't know that it's necessarily like I I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't say. So that you just said it again. So yeah. what behavior of mine on Twitter is toxic and horrible outside of uh, saying mentally ill? The, the, the directing hate to people who don't deserve it. Uh, usually along the line. Does it have to be personal? No, but usually gaslighting is okay. Let me explain something. This is something that irks me a little bit. Um. Uh, this is something that irks me a little bit. People often use the word gaslighting because it sounds scarier than lying. But lying is lying. Okay, let me explain what gaslighting is, okay? Let me just explain it because I do think this is important. Gaslighting is when you repeatedly make someone doubt their sanity by uh, by by challenging... Um, by, by by challenging their perception of reality. So let me give you an example. Um, you can get you have to yes, gaslighting in, inherently involves lying. But well, I'll respond to this in just a second, Soma. Let me just save that down in my notes real quick. I'll respond in just a moment. Um, so let me explain what gaslighting is. So gaslighting. Um, this is gaslighting. I have been gaslit before. I'll tell you from my per from my personal life the experience of gaslighting. One of my exes, many, many, many years ago, would start fights with me, and we would and things would be said in those discussions, and we would talk about them to an extensive degree. And then later, when we tried to sort it out, once we were calmed down, she would deny ever having said any of the things. She would deny even having the argument when for hours just a few like just an hour or two before we had just had an argument and she'd be like i don't i don't remember that i don't remember that at all or 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 what are you talking about i never said anything like that and there were times where i wrote things down purposefully like in a notebook i would write things down because I would be like, yes, I took a note at this time of day that you said this. And then she would be like, no, I didn't. That's gaslighting. And the reason why it's gaslighting is because it makes you start to be feel like you're crazy, which makes you easy to manipulate. Because if you start to think that you're crazy, then you're easier to you 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 stop believing in yourself. That's gaslighting. There was a play. It was from a play, if I remember correctly, not a movie. From a play, originally. You, it makes you stop trusting yourself. Sometimes, but you should. But in my opinion, Lotus, you should never let a relationship get to that point. If you're at the point where it's that that where the conflicts are that demented, it's not a healthy relationship anymore. Now, um, I do think that it is possible. Is she the one who taught me to always get the receipts? She's one of them. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I know. I know, Lotus. Um, that She's one of the people for why I, I, I learned to always keep receipts. Because I realized that uh, people can just say no. And it's not just lying. Again, lying is one thing. But this is uh, serial, procedural, manipulative lying with the goal of, of, of undermining somebody. Now, to address Soma's comment, I hate it when people say something transphobic and instead of apologizing, they argue with you about how they aren't transphobic. No one called you transphobic. They said the phrase you use was. And every time you say the thing, trans people hate you more. It's that simple. You're not wrong. You're actually correct about that. There are, like, I get it that you, like, not every time a trans person calls something out, are they going to be right? But when somebody... When, you, when, when a trans person says, hey, what you said was kind of transphobic, and then you respond, you're calling me a transphobe? No, we're calling out an action. And that's the thing. I've said since this debate that I don't think Destiny is like an intentional transphobe or anything. I think sometimes he's careless and arguably maybe neglectful at times, but I don't think he's a transphobe. But some of his words are. So we can critique the words without critiquing the person. You don't have to essentialize. Anyway, let's continue. Gaslighting is usually deliberate, but it can be—it's complicated, okay? 
that's the difference between lying and gaslighting. Let's continue. ...of uh, gender and or sex. Yeah, that's the part that I disagree with. And you have done this multiple times. Again, um, I think the uh, I think the live posting one was a little bit um, a little bit more... Okay, uh, I just want to be... Wait, yeah. Okay, I'm going to let you finish this, but just to be very clear. Sure. So sure. initially I said you should have a... If you would have had a more pointed claim, then it, mm. then it would have Sorry, been very I, strong. I've been yelling a little loudly. Ill but uh, now, and, I, and you just said, well, that was my initial... Honest, yeah, my initial but now you're saying, well, actually, it's about you directing hatred to people and deserve uh, it on the basis of gender. I guess. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Wait, is not is not directing hate on the basis of gender and sex using using uh yeah. Let's known... just do it now. Stay. Here, Lotus. Let's do it now. Let's just do it now. Come on, let's do it now. Let's let's do that. This is this is a good time to break. Let's let's do it. I think this would be super interesting. No, don't be nervous. It's all good. It's all good. Hold on a second. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. It's all okay. All right. So uh, awesome. Pronouns are nice. he him. Correct. I always check. You know that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah excellent. That's fine. Fantastic. All right. So, uh, welcome, my, my, my wonderful, wonderful cousin, Lotus, uh, hey. I'll use that term for now, and, and, uh, thank you so much for f the, the, the fateful day of you finally coming on my show, um, we argue about politics all the time, as I told my chat many times, mm -hmm. and, uh, and we have for, uh, my entire life, uh, so we've always been like that, but, uh, I'm really happy we get to talk today during the Demon Mama versus Demon Mama stream. Yep. Have you been uh, enjoying the show so far? I have been actually. I've been here since the start, so it's excellent. Nice. Excellent. Um. So yeah, I was just uh. Yeah, I just had like a few. I think I could just kind of like narrow down the conversation to like a few interesting, just points to discuss to get your viewpoint on and just. Cause I think it's where maybe he was going, but. Okay. I think it got like very contentious between both of you. Oh, absolutely. So then it kind of no doubt went on back that. and forth. Mm -hmm. So I guess like the the one of the main things I have like two like big points. The first okay. is when is it like who essentially is the arbiter of who deserves criticism or when is it okay for a large platform to target a smaller platform? Because there's always going to be some percentage of your audience. Um, if you're a large platform, that's probably not going to like follow the rules or something, and sure. then they will say things that they shouldn't say so when is that okay and when is it not okay like why well, would it not okay be not okay for destiny but could be okay for someone else yeah we are we are all collectively the arbiters of that and uh there isn't an objective way to draw that line instead we have to make arguments and in this conversation i believe i made a decent argument um for why he was being irresponsible and the results of his actions and now, if we wanted to go really deep into that, I could talk about analytics. I could go and show the way that his, uh, his, you know, associated communities that have his branding plastered all over it behave towards certain people, the things that are said. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that at the end of the day, we are ultimately the arbiters. It's up to us to make a convincing argument. And I don't think, I think the thing is, again, I know that he also holds this position because he made it the next day on the Tim cast about Donald Trump. Yeah. So he just has, he has basically uh, in his, now we, everybody has to do that. It's all arbitrary on that front. You know, we determine where the lines are on these sorts of things. Um, just like we determine where the lines are between somebody who's guilty versus somebody who's innocent. Um, there are different, you know, structures that we, by which we do that. But when it comes to social media, it's people, we have to make a good argument for it. Now, I so think, are we basically, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, I was just going to say, I think that destiny uh, puts that line below himself and that it moves wherever he is so he can be as aggressive as he wants to and he and it's not bad but if somebody else like trump does it well you know that's fine because it's 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 above where he is but anybody you, yeah yeah so that's an interesting question then do you think it, maybe his argument is that trump is a political figure so there's a difference like he's like such a huge political figure that there's maybe a distinction between that, like a president of the United States or like a senator or something mm -hmm. versus like a streamer. Well, yeah, but I mean, then the question has to be that, well, Destiny, first of all, is a political figure. Uh, he is one of the most well-known political streamers or presenters in the world, especially on the liberal side of things. Um, like literally he's world famous. And uh, so, you know, I think that that's a pretty weak argument. And that's also not the argument he made here. He tried to avoid uh, acknowledging something that he does obviously believe because he made he's made this argument in the past about everything from responsible platforming to um, all that sort of thing. 
So do you think maybe the that he thinks that what he's doing is actually not like a negative though? Because it seems like in this conversation he thinks he's doing like a positive. Like he considers um, and I th- I I think uh, Cyberwitch Lexi seems like a really nice person. So I don't know. I'm not talking about. I don't know her character or whatever. But oh, yeah. he um. But I mean, from did... everything I've seen with with her, she's like super sweet. But it seems like he had like maybe he sees her in it as like a like a harmful figure, and then so in his mind he's doing a a just. Action. Yeah, but I mean, we would we would acknowledge that, like, likewise, like, okay, so let me give you a, a sort of hypothetical version of this that's like, okay, so what if we have, in an alternate universe, we have a destiny that determines that everyone except for him is wrong, and therefore it is okay to target and bully and harm everyone in the world? That would, that would be, I, I think that would be worthy of critique, right? So what I'm saying is that his... His internal calculus, and this was my critique from the very beginning, still is, his internal calculus for how he determines when somebody is harmful and deserves to be um, bullied off of Twitter is mm-hmm. uh, is really bad. Like, really bad. But isn't that what you just said everyone has to do? You said, like, it's all we have to collectively yeah. be and the I arbiter? Think, and I think he's doing it badly. Yes. There's no inconsistency but then there. Kind of like a, but that, then that's like a – that's all – it's all is like subjective then, everything, right? But everything is subjective. You and you, you. It, that's the thing. We, uh, of course, every behavior that we engage in, we have to come to a conclusion on. And I was bringing the case to him and his audience that he's doing a very bad job at coming to that conclusion. And I think there's a number of ways I could, you know, there's a number of supporting ways that I could do that. The primary one I was focusing on here is how he's very careless with some of his rhetoric towards marginalized people who I happen to care care about a lot. So uh, let, let's assume, um, assuming that he didn't have any idea that these people were were trans, um, mm-hmm. would it be, uh, would it be okay to? Oh, that's an interesting piece of art. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's me as the arbiter from Halo. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Um, whoa, assuming whoa. Destiny didn't know they were trans, um, yeah. would it be okay to use mentally ill, or do you see mentally ill as like a, just like a universally? Like a moral word to use or moral term to use. Well, for last I checked, Destiny is a consequentialist and uh, or, or something very close to that position, which is also the 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 worldview that I subscribe to. Um, and if that's the case, then it is it would be irresponsible for him to use terms like mentally ill uh, uh, so broadly. Um, without doing his due diligence. And I would say the same thing about certain other things. For example, well, we all know how he feels about the N-word, but if we're going to use an example of a word that's, that's, very, that's very obviously not something that you should be throwing around, um, if if Destiny um, was calling people the N-word online and then he was using the excuse, I didn't know they were black. Well, he's the one with the platform. He's the one who chose to use that word. And when he uses it against somebody who's black, even if he didn't know that, that was his own problem. That was his own problem, right? Like, like, like he chose and he failed on that. So likewise, I would do feel you, the same way about mentally ill. Like, I think... You, yeah, sorry. go ahead. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I was no, just going to say, do you feel the same way about um, the word delusional? Um, I think that it can be. Uh, I, I, Of course, like, there are words that I think that are less clear. Um, but... Uh, certain terms yeah i do think there are certain times where that's the case and um and i think that the the reason why i made like the reason why i even argued with destiny on this is because it was pretty egregious in my position like he literally went on a multi-tweet screed about how lexi is so mentally ill and deranged that that she shouldn't be allowed on the internet like that's fucked like that's really far like this isn't just like oh like like he he used the word delusional offhandedly. Like I'm not even being like super super woke scoldy. I'm just pointing out that like he went ham on Lexi, and he doesn't like being called out on that. I guess. So yeah, yeah. That's my problem. Is that like I think there are I think there are cases where you could be like okay that wasn't intended. Like I mean for example, there's been times where I've said oh, that's fucking crazy, you know, offhand, and that's been like. Pro- probably not super, like perfectly responsible for me something that i'm working on i yeah. think there's lots of people but that's plausible what he's doing yeah. is like like his situation the reason why i used his situation and i didn't go to other hypotheticals i used what actually happened that he actually said was because it was so egregious it was so it was so indefensible you know what i mean like he's yeah. he straight up just went on a giant rant about how a one of the few t- trans 
partners uh, on Twitch who talks about politics. I mean, all together, she's one of the few who's made it to partner. And mm-hmm. uh, and and also like, uh, and and this is not, of course, this is impossible. And and this is one of the problems of talking about things like this with somebody like Destiny is, of course, he showed me the evidence of of her being bad. It was nothing in comparison to what he said to her. Like. It just wasn't, and that is all publicly available now. You can go look it up if people want to. Um, yeah, and I, I just think that it was his his exa- like the the reason why I even chose to debate him on this is because it was egregious. Now, if it was something small, like he was he was like, oh, I feel like they're being delusional. Uh, like, okay, whatever. That's that's one thing. He did that to me, and I, so I, I needled him a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, so I guess that leads into like another like interesting point. I mm-hmm. I, I would be interested to get your view on. So yeah, like, absolutely. Um, I see a lot of people talking about in the chat. They're talking about oh well, um, they're using the words like ableist a lot, and uh-huh. it seems to be it seems to be things tend to be targeted towards oh well, this is like a X slur or this kind uh-huh. of slur. Sure. But it's like what like I find insults to be kind of like subjective in a way. Like so for me. So, I, I mean, obviously, you know, I, I have OCD, but, mm-hmm. like, if someone made fun of my OCD, that would be a lot different than, like, if someone called me ugly, for example, I would be a lot more hurt by that yeah. than someone making fun of my mental illness. Um, so it's like, it, I, and, and I remember, like, I'm, and I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, um, uh, this isn't really about you or anything, but I, cause I remember, um, like, I think it was, like, a few days after the Destiny thing, you were talking about Luke Smith, like, that uh-huh. Linux programmer guy. Sure. And I remember you, like, you made fun of his beard a little bit. Uh-huh. And I thought, like, well, what's the, like, I don't know, like, what's the distinction there between, like, what bullying is? Because, like, you know, so for me, if I had, like, some physical feature and then someone with a platform made fun of that physical feature, that would hurt me more than, like, if someone made fun of, like, a compulsion I had or something. It's mm. so, like, where do you draw, like, what's the, this is kind of like a thinking out loud thing. Like, what's the sure, difference sure. between something that's kind of like, you know, a, a group maybe something that could be seen as like a group slur versus like an individual insult that could subjectively be like very hurtful. Yeah, sure. Um, well, there's a couple of things that go into this. So this is just, just so we're clear, this is like a different, a slightly different direction, just so the audience is clear. Like we're talking about what my personal conclusion is as to why I would make fun of Luke Smith's uh, beard versus why I wouldn't call somebody um, like re quote tweet, somebody calling them severely mentally ill and that they should be taken off the internet. So first of all, the the scale is very different there, obviously. But um, with regard to Luke Smith, um, now most of the time I do actually try to avoid like body shaming. Like I don't really call people fat and stuff like that. Um, but by my measure, how you keep your beard is a choice. Like how you take care of your beard is a personal choice. And I think that impugning people because of their choices and their decisions is much more valuable and important and important and useful and much less harmful um, than uh, than impugning people for intrinsic characteristics. Um, but isn't your presentation like really important? Like so for, like a tr- for someone who's like, uh, like non-binary something uh-huh. their presentation sure. could be very important to them and if you made fun of that even though it's their choice yeah but how they want to dress you know it could be a very sensitive topic well, right well i mean maybe if i was making fun of them for like um i don't know like i mean i don't think that's an exact comparison like if you're saying like oh i made fun of a non-binary person because they looked androgynous like that would be targeting their intrinsic identity versus being like why the fuck are you why do you have a giant like why do you have a giant stain on your shirt that's not targeting someone because they're they're uh not binary that's because they spilled fucking mustard on their shirt and they weren't paying attention you know they're two totally different things oh i guess i was talking i was using the beard example because that's more of like a a choice of presentation not like an accident and and this is a choice of presentation by somebody who um a choice of presentation by somebody who a uh in my opinion is a nazi um and i think there's good evidence to back that up um b literally talks about uh, uses his channel to regularly talk about quote unquote bug men, which he refers to as like limp wristed soy facing. Like yeah. th- th- this guy, he he called he called um, Richard Stallman a and and this is a quote. So don't slap me with anything, uh, Twitch or YouTube. Uh, a degenerate fat Jew, um, pedophile, I believe. Maybe maybe I'm wrong about that one. Um, but he did call him a degenerate fat Jew. Um, I think it was yeah. just the first two, but yeah. I, I yeah. don't really care. Like uh, when it comes to somebody like Luke Luke Smith, um, I think making fun of his beard is way more than f- fair game, given the given the type of world, like the type of uh, rhetoric that he also engages in, right? And um, there are certain things that I say are like um, 
are not allowed, like are not cool, no matter what stuff that I wouldn't even say to a Nazi, right? Like I would even, I would even a Nazi, I wouldn't make fun of for being trans or being gay or something like that. I might point out that it's hypocritical that they simultaneously, um, you know, uh, uh, like that they simultaneously critique or, 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 or attack, um, gay people. And then they are gay themselves. Like I might do something like that, but I wouldn't, um, but yeah. beard making fun of somebody's beard care but, regimen is not one of those things. But, but you're saying yeah. that it's, if I hear you correctly, it seems mm. like you're saying it's okay to make fun of his, his personal presentation because you find him to be a Nazi. No, it's because the reason why I think I think it's fine to make fun of his personal presentation is because one, it's a choice, and two, he also w regularly engages in that type of insult while looking like the way that he does. So, like, imagine this. But, Wait, hold on a second. Imagine yeah. that somebody like uh imagine that somebody came into your house like we're just gonna come actually not even your house let's so say you're outside right you're sitting with somebody at a table and this person covered in in pigeon shit and and mustard and 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 whatever and they're just sitting there and they look at you and they go wow you're mega fucking ugly and then you go yeah that's rich coming from you pigeon shit like do you well, see how they're I, they are I, impugning I somebody else and I, I guess so I you're pointing out would, that that's that's a hypocrisy you're comedically pointing that out I, I guess i would draw a distinction between like a stain on a shirt that you could just take off versus a um like a choice of like let's say he just likes his beard and that's how he wants to present i don't think because he do you think it's okay no matter to make fun of Hitler's acts, mustache because, because if because if there was a non-binary person and they dress a certain way i would never i would be i would never think to like insult how they appear you know okay. Sure. And it, it wouldn't really matter even if I disagreed with like a political opinion or something. It would just be like a no zone. Like, so even if you if were so if you were arguing with a a non binary Nazi who regularly spends their time um, talking about soy boys and effeminate men and 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 stuff like that, and they w and they were in a video actively shitting on somebody else, like like calling somebody a degenerate Jew um fat jew and then they also had a piece of a hot dog smeared in their beard and you said you know you really probably shouldn't be calling people a degenerate a fat degenerate jew um when you have a, a fucking hot dog stuck in your beard you don't think that that I would be like fair game I I understand what you're saying. I just, I personally wouldn't like. I personally just wouldn't mm. lower to that level. Like, right, if, when people insult my physical appearance, I usually just kind of stop the conversation and I'm just like, hey, I don't, mm. we, you know, just that's really yeah. not cool. Like, that's hurtful. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I personally don't think like, uh, like if someone does that, I wouldn't like return it because I think it would make me just as bad as them. I guess. Yeah. I wouldn't. I don't think it feel does. Like I'm like bullying I, someone. But... I I don't think that um f that that firing back at somebody who is actively engaging in something like turning that weapon against them and doing it better than them and funnier is necessarily bad. Yeah. Yeah. I think you, you're more uh, um, like protective and um, like you're, you're, you have an aggressive style, but it's more in the, it's in the realm of like protecting people you care about, which well, I think is your style. Yeah. And yeah, I, I think it's just, that's maybe like a personal thing. I know like for me, I just, yeah, I don't know. I guess I, I think like, I just wouldn't, I would, I don't, yeah, it would make me feel bad to like insult someone's, like, I don't know, like, even if I didn't like Luke Smith, it's like, okay, well, it's his beard choice has nothing to do with yeah. the, the things uh, well, I don't I, like. I think that uh, it's perfectly fair game to, for me to make fun of his uh, bad, in my opinion, bad beard choices, especially given the context of this being a guy who churns out, um, churns out content where he regularly insults other people's appearances regularly insults people for intrinsic traits regularly uh makes do nazi dog whistles all kinds of stuff his his moral reprehension is beyond belief and i find it incredibly ironic and funny to point out that he looks like shit while pretending to basically be the ubermensch so yeah i think that's yeah funny. maybe i don't maybe yeah. i don't because i'm not like um i'm not a streamer and an entertainer or something yeah. so it's harder for me to understand that like there's you there's like a, a side where you like that's kind of part of your thing like your yeah. gig and that's like so that's, well, so that's part, part of my yeah. job is to is to is to use humor and comedy to point out inconsistencies in people you know like um like like sometimes the best way to illustrate an inconsistency 
is to set up an example of that and demonstrate it live. And I think that's a very personally, I mean, the, I, I think the Luke Smith beard thing was just like a random, like it, it's relatively good at it. There are better examples for sure. Um, yeah. That I've done, but like, I do think that, that that as a tactic, as like a comedic tactic that highlights somebody's hypocrisy is incredibly valuable. That's, that's, that's something yeah. that I believe now. Do I think, okay. that, do I think there are limits to that? Absolutely. Of course. Again, I would, I would never, um, at least like, for example, uh, one, one such example of that is, is that like the term subhuman, like I really don't like that term and I really, really avoid ever using that even against Nazis. Although there may be a certain occasion perhaps where I could imagine it, like say there's literally a Nazi that I'm talking to and going on a rant about degeneracy and then I'm like, you look like a fucking subhuman worm yourself. What the fuck are you talking about? Like stuff like that is stuff. There are certain things that I think that are vi that have to be very justified, but I don't think like like clowning on someone because they have a bad beard is like is like one of those. So what do you so I guess going back to like the main thing with Destiny and you, like what do you consider as like valid um uh valid like I guess you call it dunking or whatever? Like yeah, what, yeah. what makes something acceptable and then what makes something like where is the consistency versus like what like someone like a, a Ben Shapiro or a you know or uh, a Fuentes could do that would be equal to someone on the left and be have like a consistent standard. Sorry, sorry. Can you restate that? I'm a little confused. Yeah, sorry, maybe I didn't word that right. So, so when like I guess it goes back to that question of like who is the arbiter of yeah. like who gets to use their platform or something and right. it, like when is it okay to do that and when is it not? Like what oh, are, okay. what would if you if you're just asking like, my opinion yeah. um, because I think well because I think that's like the crux of the whole discussion with Destiny yeah. is like he thinks he's using his platform to make the world a better place and you're thinking he uses his platform to harm and slash harass people. And there's that seems to be like the main mm -hmm. misunderstanding or miscommunication or like misalignment. Yeah. So I personally think, um, and I, I have, uh, I, I have, uh, I have talked about this in the past before about where I think that like those lines lie. I think that you have to have a very, very good reason. And this is my personal belief, and this is the belief that I argue for and that i would hope other people will adopt i know there are people who think about this differently and i would argue those people are wrong At the end of the day we're only making arguments there is no arbiter there isn't a god or even the government besides maybe you could argue twitter has limits on that but but we're yeah. these are social things that we're making cases for so the social case that i would make the case for is that if you are going to engage in dunking on somebody in a way that would that highly endangers them or their platform or could subject them to an incredible amount of hate that you should have good justification for it and i do not think that destiny does and destiny was unable to make that argument in this in this debate i believe and uh i think that holds up i do believe that still to this day even having reviewed this debate a million times the evidence that he showed me for uh for lexi being like worthy of of disappearing off the internet and losing her platform was that she mildly critiqued him a few times. And I think that that is not a, that is a bad, in my opinion, that is a bad argument. That is an invalid argument for why you think somebody should be driven off the internet. Now, if he believes that that's fine, but why won't he no, own up to it? And he won't own up to it. That's the thing. Yeah. He says, Oh, I believe that people should be bullied off the internet if they're trash. And I'm like, well, but then that leaves the question just like, this is and this is why I brought up the pri imprisonment situation. I'm like you agree that it's right to to imprison somebody who's guilty, but not someone who's innocent. So the question is: Is Lexi actually guilty of the things that you claim that she is? And does the do, do the people at large believe that it's fair? Do you so, think there is kind of an ever shrinking list of acceptable insults to use? Um, because that's something. It's it's it. I, what I what it seems to be is like there's. Like different words will, every you know, people have people have subjective uh, weaknesses to different words, and it's like when any particular group or set of people like mm -hmm. um, they'll vocalize that and say, "Hey, well, this is this is not cool." Like we get extra hurt by this, then it becomes like the new word to like not say. Like I think like the you know the R word and mm -hmm. like other things like that. Is there gonna? Because like it's hard for me personally to see the difference between calling someone like an idiot or stupid versus calling someone like the R word. Uh, I mean, I don't really. I don't, I mean, I don't use it that, but mm -hmm. really, but like, I, 
I don't know. Like, I, it's hard for me to really. Like, it kind of seems kind of arbitrary. Yeah. Like I saying, I "Oh, have... you're a fucking idiot," versus like, "You're a fucking R word." Like, uh, it, it's it's still calling someone stupid and slow and stuff like that. Uh, so it's... W- one second. So yes, let's let's let me uh make sure that I'm I'm getting your argument correctly. So you're you're yeah. basically saying, do I think that there is like an ever shrinking pool of insults? Um, that yeah. Uh, yes, I do think that's true, and I think that's a good thing, actually. I think it's a good thing that yeah, we have. Yeah, I'm not saying whether it's good or bad. I'm just yeah, yeah. wondering, like, what. Yeah, what I do think gonna, there is. What that path leads to. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that we should, uh, as a society, move away from, uh, broad, broadly move away from insulting people because of their intrinsic traits. And I think that the reason why, um, I think, uh, can somebody please get Mac the finger out of here for fuck's sake? Jesus fucking Christ. Get the fuck out of here, please. Holy can I, shit. Can I uh, ask a little clarifying question? Yes, yes. So when you say intrinsic traits, mm-hmm. um, I, that leads me to believe you're saying that we can judge people on the things they do, but mm-hmm. the things they do are essentially a result of their intrinsic traits, right? So um, when I we... mean, no, not really. Like, unless you are a hard determinist where you believe that— I'm a pretty hardcore determinist. Well, honestly. if you're a hardcore determinist, then yeah— but then at that point, you may as well just give up on trying to have a moral system. Why would you bother – if you're a hardcore determinist, if you're like a Calvinist-level determinist, why bother having a moral system? Just live your life arbitrarily, and the determinism will, will – will, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, and then it doesn't matter. Why are we talking here if that's the case? Yeah, I mean I think it's important to assume free will, but I think from like a real – like right. biological and just like reality materialistic perspective it just seems to make sense that like we even if you don't think like every action is like rolling down a hill or something like how we act is so largely determined from like how we were raised and all this stuff that to the point I, it's hard to distinguish it from really being like intrinsic to me yeah um it's I, like I, know I, from, I get that i know and... from my past like i like i for a while i would like emulate like my mom and dad's talking points uh-huh. until i was like probably like 20 or something and took you know took time to like get out of that and i think a lot of people have that experience like it's like can you be judged for you know those actions if you were essentially a product of how you were raised in your environment and all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. yeah um so i am not a hard determinist um i do believe that uh, there's enough evidence to say that there's uh, some extensive level of deter of like mathematical determinism that we can't even comprehend and may never be able to uh but the the fact but the way that i look at it human behavior is and as far as i understand you know i'm not a genius but i, I try to be smart i try to think about these things human behavior is largely predicated on feedback loops which means that how we choose to act is actually important in how the future unfolds. Even if we live in a deterministic universe, our in, our our coming in contact with certain information will change how that how that all unfolds. So therefore, I think that it's important that we try to make a distinction between be, between traits of an individual that cannot be changed or that cannot reasonably be changed and traits of an individual that can be changed. Um, and, and so that's why I think that it's important to distinguish between intrinsic traits and actions. So for example, I'll give you like a really simple version of this, like a really, really simple version so we can just kind of like get the idea out there, which is, let's say that you see a kid about to touch a, a, an open flame and you slap their hand away, you bat their hand away and you go, don't touch that, that will burn you. And then they learn to not do that as a result of your, of, of you, uh, of you saying, hey, don't do that action. Um, that would be an example of targeting an action and socially discouraging that action. And of course, when we go out, it gets more and more complicated. And then we have to get, then, you know, then we have to do this the talking back and forth, the dialectics, the blah, 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 the, the dialogue, all of it. That all happens as a result of us trying to figure out more complicated circumstances. But at the end of the day, um, I believe that we should try to socially uh socially one way or another encourage the best behaviors possible and we should avoid uh damning people or harming people for stuff that they don't have any control over like i think we can both agree that it would be pretty bad to um to shout at somebody because they were born without their legs right like yeah like get up and walk why the fuck aren't you walking well that's pretty obvious as to why 
um, that sort of thing, I think, is not very helpful. It doesn't do anything. It only causes harm. However, shouting at somebody or politely asking, there's all kinds of different tactics, just doing an action to get somebody to, say, put on a mask actually has a chance of making a better outcome. That's why. That's where I draw those lines. And I think that there's a lot of, yeah. like, internal back and forth that goes into um, that goes into determining which actions fall into which category. But that's why we talk about it. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, those are the main things I want to talk about. I don't want to, like, take up too much time no, on your No, it's been wonderful. Story, I've, like, this has been a I, super, uh, super interesting love talking to you. Yeah, Always. likewise. Yeah, um, and, and congratulations, by the way, on uh, – you are currently in front of uh, about 700 viewers. So good job. You just like did excellently like in a cool ass conversation in front of like 700 people. That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. It's a little nervous, a little nervous, but yeah, it's, I can, yeah, I can it's fun. Feel, I can it's kinda, it's very interesting talking to you on here versus the phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm a little, I'm a little like, if, funnily enough, you, you get an interesting look into it because you get to know how I am in a in a debate with nobody watching, versus how I am with everybody watching, and that is true. there's differences, but it's probably in different ways than people would assume, right? <laughs> like yeah. I think I think I'm a little bit more like, uh, like I'm a little bit well, I'm mu I'm much less like I guess I'm much less careful with my rhetoric when I'm talking one on one, uh, you oh, know, with you, sure. and I make I make <laughs> more sure. I make more mistakes, you know. But that's also because of a matter of comfort, you know. So, like, I I know yeah. that like we've been we've we've been debating each other and fighting back and forth for like years, de since decades, we're yeah, yeah, since we were like nine, <laughs> yeah, like uh, yeah, it's it's so yeah, that makes that makes sense. Um, one thing I wanted to say that I think you might find interesting is like um, because I, I do see people chatting about it in chat about like the r slur versus like calling somebody stupid and you did bring that up but we didn't really get to talk about it i think that we could talk about that um i i recognize that there is a there is, that is like in a tenuous position and it is feasible or or it is um believable to me that some point in the future um that at some point in the future it will no longer be considered like acceptable to call somebody stupid or an idiot or anything like that and if that happens then i'll you know sort of um deal with that in time um but do you think you should be the person to start that or are you waiting for someone else to do it um well i mean i think it depends right like i i i would say that like with regard to like the r slur um yes i i tend to be on the position that i'm proactive about that because i have seen how much harm it's caused and i have been convinced um through a number of different paths um that it is harmful I do not I have not yet seen the like harm coming from terms like calling somebody stupid offhand. It's just not the same. And maybe that okay. will change someday. And if it does, I'll reanalyze at that at that time. Um but uh you know, I, I think that it's important to um I, I think that it's like it, it is important to analyze these things sort of like as honestly as possible and also as like uh rationally as possible and i recognize there are probably many terms that i use today that will not be acceptable in 30 years and hopefully i will have the humility to not use those terms in 30 years you know what i mean and i do yep. think that that is that that sounds like oh this is subjective and whatever but that's how language is language is deeply subjective there are terms um and i think there are some things that are like always gonna be bad right um but there are other examples where that's like um not really the case like for example uh let me give you an example of probably the the like again the worst word that everybody can think of off the top of their head the worst the, the n-word right we can all acknowledge that um nobody would really write a book quite like um like tom sawyer or huck huck finn or even to kill a mockingbird or whatever that like people wouldn't write that in that way today because that would even even though it's like a historical period piece it's like it probably wouldn't be considered you know particularly tasteful but we can acknowledge that even though um the standards on that have changed that like mark twain wrote an anti-racist book right like he wasn't mm -hmm. like so it would it was probably seen I mean, I, I know this as for a fact that that book was praised by anti-racists of the time, you know, even though it had lots of uses of the N-word. 
Um, and even though today we wouldn't even like, like we would probably critique a book that used the N word that much um, today because of yeah. the standards have changed that, that Mark Twain was not just being racist just because that changed. But somebody who did use the N word in a derogatory fashion would be racist both today and in the past. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yep. So our cultural standards change over time for yeah, sure. Yeah, and that's how I approach stuff like the Arsler. That's why I have have ripped that one out of my um uh out of my vocabulary because it, it just it hurts too many people and it's been weaponized yeah. against too many people, so I just don't use it. Now, stuff like calling somebody an idiot or whatever, some people might get really mad at that. I know some people have gotten mad because I make the joke about the re which like i that's a factual error by the way people just don't know where the source of that meme was that meme was it's pepe screeching it's uh, because there was a video of frogs screeching that's where it comes from it's not people mix it up with another meme but anyway uh i know some people think that one is like not so good and i still use it even though some people don't like it that's because i don't think it's hit that threshold yet but it might someday yeah. and if it does then i'll adapt i think that i have uh i am adaptable enough and and sensible enough and and uh humble hopefully i am a little bit of a i have a bit of an ego you know that's just how it is you can't do it without being a you can't do it without being a streamer that's just how it is you know that's you gotta part be of being a streamer yeah, yeah you gotta have it. It's, it, it you know you have to you have to be able to otherwise you'll be crushed under all of the fucking people who tell you you're a piece of trash um well and i think what you're saying is like ultimately i think we're all looking to try and reduce harm at the end of the day and so I think what you said is totally correct. I think that's just part of the evolution. If we find that, you know, it causes harm, then we'll try and move towards reducing harm. Yeah. And that's kind of ultimately what everyone's system boils down to. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, I just think there are some things that like, and this, I've said this also on stream, you've probably heard me say this before, I'll say it again, which is that like, I think there's uh I think it's a little bit of an immature desire, but it's it's common online um of people who want to have the objective answer always at any point like a like a like a rubric that was given by god that you can always say this is either objectively good or objectively bad but there are a lot of things yeah. where that is just simply not the case and language is one of those language i think there are cases where we can make we can make a pretty clear argument that hey that was wrong and there's a lot of gray area and that's also how that's also like i mean the reason why I I don't – while I will critique people to their face and tell them, like, hey, like, don't use the Arsler. Like, I don't, like um, – I don't personally, like, uh, think that people should be completely disowned or, or, or deplatformed just for using the Arsler. Like, you know, and I, yeah. have, I have had that conversation. I literally had that argument via chat with Vosh way back in the day, yeah. you know, because I don't think it but was – But does good. that philosophy kind of make you feel – um like you understand where maybe where destiny was coming from a little more though like if you feel that way that you know words are kind of kind of gray a lot of the time maybe like a, in my view when i watched that the first time i think destiny can be an asshole sometimes but it's like a good faith interpretation is that he just didn't like he didn't he wasn't like trying to like you know impugn someone for being mentally ill as like because right. they're trans or something well that's the he thing. just is being kind of extra edgy right like yeah but i and i agree i and i and i've said this a couple times i'll say it again just so it's clear like i don't think he meant to do that i think he was just being really careless and i still think he was being really careless of course i understand his position this has been my i never i haven't changed my view on this particular argument since my conversation with destiny you know i had you yeah. know like like i don't think that i need to um but 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 i'm of course willing to engage but the thing is with um with that i i understand where he's coming from i just don't think that it, it's convincing i don't think he's convincing in it he and i know yeah. and the reason why i don't think it's convincing is because i've heard him in his own videos do this stuff to other people you know like he's been like yeah. you you don't realize that you're like oh you know you're just like i mean fuck think about like th his conversation with like nick fuentes i think it was was it fuentes the one with the jazz where they were talking about jazz and like destiny was like oh you're what what you got a problem with jazz you're being racist well nick fuentes technically didn't say he was racist destiny yeah, was making the claim that he was dog whistling and that he was being irresponsible yeah, with be his rhetoric I just think yeah, he that can do oh things, striker sure. striker yeah um yeah yeah so I just think that I Destiny think... here was being stubborn and doesn't want to admit that he was fucking engaging in fucking shitty ass rhetoric that he should probably look at because 
I do think it's bad. And and I and like again to to like move beyond just the destiny conversation as to why I think that it's bad and careless to like use these things and why I don't by the way. I don't go around on Twitter retweeting re quote tweeting people and calling them mentally ill because that is yeah. to me a ba that's a bad move. Not only is it optically bad, yeah. but there's a big chance you actually hurt somebody with that. And I don't want to do that. Yeah. I think it'd be really interesting to see how these conversations would go if they were just held in like like the way we're talking right now. Yeah. Um I think it's almost like people get more entrenched and it's like the conversations go the wrong direction. If people could just like, like how we're talking right now is like what I would yeah. consider like perfectly good faith. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And I wonder how much like you and destiny would actually agree on if both of you entered in good faith. I know it's not him, it, not, not just you. Cause yeah. he definitely, you guys both were kind of aggressive towards each other and it kind of builds on itself. You know, cause I saw how he, he opened with like the, you know well, the crazy person thing yeah. and and you initially said he was like a gamer gator and so it, it starts off on that bad foot and i feel like there's probably actually a lot you guys would agree on and i think a lot of online discourse you know like watching as a layman um i don't know i feel like when you enter it like just talking like this it's like so much more ground can be covered in such a much more healthy and constructive way yeah well okay so like yeah there i think there's well i mean that's the thing that's the difference between like blood sports versus actual meaningful debate like and i do agree that like um yeah of course we do that jade monkey that's why i love the conversation because like i believe now now destiny and i i think we don't agree on this particular thing i think that it's possible to engage in good faith in a debate where you aren't necessarily nice to one another so like i think that if like for example a great example of this is the conversation that i had with dylan about nukes where both of us were dunking like like dylan was so fucking mad like he was so mad at me and like i was mad at him but we were both engaging in good faith we were just both you know spicy and i think that it's a it, it's possible to maintain good faith and spiciness and in fact i thought that's what was going on for most of the conversation with destiny was that i thought that it was like okay he's dunking on me he started the dunks all right we're gonna dunk but we're still gonna try and work towards some sort of conclusion um but there are some times where it just can't happen um i i uh would love to believe that there's like some good faith conversations i could have with destiny um but i don't think i don't know that i believe that I just uh, there's a couple of there's a couple of on a couple of levels. First of all, like a lefty arc. Uh, secondly, I think that like I don't know. It's not necessary for me to speculate. All I'm saying is I do believe that. I mean, I've had hundreds and hundreds of really great conversations like this one that aren't bloody at all, and uh, I love them. Yeah. But like there are times where it gets bloody, and Destiny knows this. His entire show is about that. Half of his debates are blood sports, and that's okay. I like blood sports too, but you just got to know which one's which and know when it's reasonable to do that. And I don't know if he's doing that. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I can see that. So yeah. yeah. Anyway, it was awesome coming on here talking kind of surreal because yeah, I well, watch you all the time. It was awesome um, having you on here. So yeah, we'll have to do it again sometime. There's Absolutely. like another cool topic. Anytime but. you want, you just pop in and let us know, and you'll you'll get plenty of, of yeah. love. I'm sure the imps look. The imps are, are happy, although they're calling for blood. So maybe they want maybe they want you to blow you. <laughs> Wrong they time to call spices. for blood. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, thank you so much, Lotus. It's been wonderful, and uh, I hope you have a really good rest of your day. Okay. You too. All right. Love you. Bye. Love you. All right, bye. Ah, that was such a great talk. I've never had a family member on my show before. That's so cool. Oh. All right, let's review. Whoops. Got to get rid of the guest text there. We got to go over here. Ba, ba, ba. Let's hide that. Yuck. Here we go. So, notes on the Destiny debate. Came in too hot. I think that is partially true. I think that I came in too hot given the fact that he was fucking being weaselly. Um, and, but nonetheless, I have to be able to uh, pr predict and acknowledge these things. Okay? So, too hot to start with. Does our site support Chromecast? Yes, I believe it does. I don't know all the details, though. It's down right now, though. Um accused him of conspiratorial thinking too early which implied bad faith i was correct 
but my presentation was bad. So yes, this is good. Three, calling him a gamer gator is pretty loaded. Yes, but it's also funny. So I do agree though, it was very loaded and it probably made him personally very, very angry. Okay? Allowed Destiny to pretend that I was unreasonable when restating his own claims and the consequences back at him. This is something I need to do better at. I need to get better at countering this. I think that there are ways to do this, and I think one of them, one of the ways that I think that I can do this is by avoiding coming in too hot. That doesn't mean I, I dial down. Thank you very much, Soap, by the way. That doesn't mean I dial down my aggression on the total. It just means I rearrange it. Early on, stay chill. Later, freak the fuck out if I want to, right? So we got to just change the direction. I want to backload the aggro instead of frontloading the aggro. I think that's a good idea. Interrupting him early on was probably a little bit much, though he interrupted me too. That's fair. That's always fair. Could have been more clear about plausible deniability and intentionality not being important. This is one that I think I fucked up on. I think that I did a bad job being clear about intentionality. I also think, I also think it's simultaneously true. I tried debating determinism, DM. But I sympathize with your take, but I'm a hair or two above yours. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. We'll have the conversation sometime. Next call-in stream, all right? Oh, good faith criticism? Oh, sick. All right. I'll bring this up. Oh, interesting. Whoa, I'll have to give this a read. All right, we'll read this. We'll read over this later when we get to that stuff. We'll read over this later. That looks cool as fuck. Mucho texto, but that's fine. We'll read it later. All right, so here we go. Could have been more clear, yes. This, I think, was a big mess up. Now, I think it is simultaneously possible that Destiny overplayed this. And, and, I, and he did, by the way. In the aftermath of the debate, Destiny claimed that I called him a transphobe and stuff, which I didn't do. I didn't do that at all. But I could, I could do better on this and be clearer so that there's less likely, um, you know, less likely for it to happen. You are the talk like influ ex influence. This line was too much too early. I agree. Last SJW on the internet. That was probably too thin of a premise. People probably didn't get the reference. So this was probably a fucked up reference. Using the terms idiot simps was a mistake and made DGG overly protective and was too broad. This is another big critique. I'm going to mark this one as another thing I think I fucked up on. I should not have gone as hard on the simps and the DGG thing as I did. Simply, simply put, I think that was a fuck up on my part. And this one is the same thing. Yeah, so there we go. Saying Sargon too much, he was able to exploit that. That's true. I just needed to mix up my references. Shouting out smaller creators was good. I agree. I want to do this more frequently. I want to do this more frequently. Potentially under-establishing Gamergate references. I think this is another problem. Uh, a lot of people don't, don't remember Gamergate, and I sounded like I was talking about something that a lot of young people on the internet don't actually know about. So this is just a boomer moment. Now, there's a way that I could do this, but I need to explain it better. I need to explain it better, okay? Discussing harassment from Synth was described poorly and appeared as though, as I was saying, he was personally responsible. Yep, that is true. Equating stands and anti-stands was a big mistake. This was a, a genuine mistake on my, um, on, on my part. Um... Equating stands and anti-stands is a big mistake. Anti-stands suck ass. Stands also suck ass, but anti-stands are so fucked. So, yeah. And then I fucked up my delivery on the 3.0 pitch. So, I think those are some really good points of critique for myself. Now, before we go on to the next debate, is there any critiques... Uh, is Are there any critiques that uh that that anybody in chat feels would be good to bring up right now before i go on 
speak now or for forever hold your peace just kidding you can literally bring it up whenever if you think of it but i i just want to clear right now hate fans anti stands there's got to be a better word i agree Yeah, I know. I know they liked that one, 85D2D Derek. It was good, but I, I flubbed I flubbed the delivery of it later on. True, Lonnie. So I'm going to be nicer to DGG? No, but in retrospect, I would have been at this point. I mean, they've been horrible to me for the last, like, six months. I'm not... Yeah. I think I got him d defensive right away. Yeah. But, I mean, he did the same to me, but that wasn't visible on stream, which is a big deal. That's why we're doing this. No, I was talking about other people, o o o Odong. Ododong. Thank you, Corrupt Wanderer. Really appreciate that. Yeah, I agree, Strictly Peppa. Yeah, matching energy is a good idea. I agree. Yep, I agree. I agree. I think the due diligence of him being immediately aggro was off from a person that was going to defend themselves. Um, Maybe. I don't entirely know what you mean. Hey, that's good, George Popsy. Yeah, that's true message from this guy. I agree. Yeah, the thing is, like, he had been insulting me like crazy before. Like, remember, he named his fucking stream that I was a crazy person. Didn't even put my name up. Fucking asshole. Still an asshole, but, you know. Going through Gamergate in the middle, in middle school. Yeah, it sucks. Think some of the early low blows, blows should have rolled off. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I was talking about someone else. Ododong. I was talking about other people being inundated. I only got a couple dozen people, which was still a lot. But yeah. Yeah, he had a title that was roast that was trying to roast me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I agree. I agree, Adam. I agree on that one. I want the website back. Me too. I know. I know, Gynotype. I miss the website too. Yeah, that's true, Longo Shlongo. But Chud Logic, love you, Chud. I love Chud Logic, but goodness gracious, he's very patient with people. Yeah, yeah, I did. Bi I did bite the bait. Of course, I did. Yeah, that was my first big, big one of that one. All right, everybody. We're wrapping up the Destiny one, okay? We're wrapping it up. We're wrapping up the Destiny one. We will discuss that. We can't not discuss the follow-up, okay? It is impossible for us to not discuss the follow-up, but we will do that after the debate, okay? So let's settle in and let's do it. The Scrub King debate time. We'll see. We'll see. Now, remember, I was told. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. We have it on 1.5. We're going to watch it on 1.5. I think 1.5 will work great. Yeah, this is going to be, this might get spicy. All right, we're going to go into this, though. All right, we're bringing the Scrub King on. Let's do it. Damn, my old right. angle, angle sucked. Hello, 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 the Scrub King. We'll talk Welcome. about that afterwards. I'll put that How in are my you doing? notes. Death before decaf. We'll, I'll can talk about that right? afterwards. I can. Can you hear me? Ah, can you hear me? Wait Oops. a second. Sorry, I forgot I had push to talk on. In fact, let me turn that off. Give me a second. No problem. There we go. Uh, and I I don't know for sure, but uh, I assume because your name's the Scrub King, you see he him, but but uh, uh yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. okay. Alrighty, I'm just gonna. Unless you want explicitly to be on video, you can be if you'd like. I can set that up if you'd prefer. Um, um, would you like no, to be up on video? Okay. No, Alright, so. Oh, wait, hold on. Apparently my stream can't hear you. Give me a second. Oh, that's a bit odd. Alright, can you talk again? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me now? Test, test, right. test. 
All right. And uh, let me wait for chat to respond. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Go for it. All right. Let's see. Okay. All right. Looks like they can hear you now. All right. Excellent. Well, that's great. Um. So yeah. Um. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. I gotta look at this. I gotta look at this. I'm sorry. I gotta look at this. What the fuck? Hold on. Okay, this is funny. I saw Lonnie say that debating you gave the Scrub King his his career. So I googled the Scrub King social play. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Destiny. Oh. Oh, 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 oh that hurts. Oh shit. That that sucks. Oof. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, ow, that hurts. Oof. That's an oofing moment right there. God damn. Good to talk to you. It's been a while since we last talked. Been quite a while, I guess. Um, we saw your meme today, your your meme about using friends uh, is psychologically damaging or whatever. And we thought it was funny, and we all wanted to, like, me and my chat were like, huh? And there was a bunch of uh, thinking emojis in chat. So we're trying to figure out what you meant by it. What your argument is. Because you said OP was right. And we didn't know what you meant by uh, that. Yeah. But you seemed like you were willing to defend it. So, all right. We want to know what you mean. What your position is. And if there's anything to debate about. Because who knows? We might actually agree on things. But I felt that meme was very confusing. Uh, sure. So, pretty much my whole thing is that um, I think that uh, like using people as friends. And the way I interpret that is like, at least within the context of the meme, it's pretty clear that it means like leading friends on or... Um, like manipulating some sort of friendship that you have with somebody, oh. I think is pretty comparable to using someone for sex, which I would interpret as like same thing, kind of like leading someone on or manipulating you. somebody's feelings for you. Yeah, remember, to, yeah. one of the main critiques that I received on this is that I started this off like an asshole. And I really don't think that's true, but we're going to find out together right now. Sex out of them. Hmm. I think these things are pretty comparable in um, their capacity to do like emotional or psychological damage to someone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, see, like, if you're if you're like deliberately misleading a friend or something like that, um, I can I could see where that would be an issue of like, uh, you know, of, of problems. But the problem is that I don't know the way the the way the meme read it, it really seemed to be riding on the sort of um, well, uh, unfortunately, uh, well worn stereotype of more or less, um, like the idea that like men and women are only friends because when they want to fuck and that sort of thing. Um, so when I read it, and when a lot of us read it, it certainly came across like that. But we were sort of wondering, because it says, you know, using someone as a friend, like, what does that actually mean? And, um, yeah, but I guess, but again, if your definition of that, or if the way that you read it was to interpret it as, like, oh, like, this is somebody who's, like, deliberately misleading someone about the state of their relationship, then I guess that kind of makes a little bit more sense. Um, yeah, and I, I got that, because generally when we use the word, like, using, mm -hmm. um, I don't really know if there's a context where you would say that you're Thank using you, a Bobby. person that's not, Appreciate like, in a that. negative way. Like, generally, we don't really... Whenever we say that we're using someone, there's there's sort of an implication of like exploitation or some kind of negative something there. Yeah, I don't it's really just know, like a neutral or positive connotation to the word using there. Oh, I agree. It's just that's why it came across odd to me in the, in the format of the meme of saying like, oh, um, using someone as a friend, where it's like, well, a friend is like a friend. A friend is a friend. How do you use someone as a friend? And well, um, the way yeah. I, I interpret it is that like the hmm. the friend part is. Wait, less... can you all hear fine? Can you hear this fine? Is the audio level okay, or should I boost it more? Should I boost it more? Or is it fine? Okay. All right. Um, isn't, isn't the part being used? It's the person that is a friend. So like mm. using as a friend, I interpret it as using someone in their capacity as a friend. The mm. same way that like, um, using someone as a factory worker, mm -hmm. right? Like it's not really the factory worker part. It's more using their capabilities that come with being a factory worker that yeah. are being used. Yeah, I just, to me, it feels like the way the meme was written that, uh, I mean, and maybe you can agree, maybe you can see some um, understanding in this, like where I'm coming from is like when, when I saw that, it, it seems to play kind of into the stereotype of like, oh, well, using someone as a friend is like, oh, well, like I'm being used by being a woman's friend and not by being a woman's sexual partner. You see what I mean? Because that is something um, that a lot of people could. Like, yeah. I mean, the thing you is, like, that's something that I've, like, I've experienced and, and encountered a lot. Like, that's a, that's a common thing, unfortunately, is this idea of objectification, the idea that like, um, you're not actually capable of having, like, men aren't actually capable of having friendships with women um, because se secretly, deep down, at the end of the day, it's all about fucking. And that's, like, a big thing that's, like, very commonly used by, like, red pillars and MRAs and stuff as this, like, sort of underpinning assumption. And I think there are actually a lot of men who, who do look at women kind of like that, but I'm glad to hear that that doesn't um, really sound like the way that you are interpreting the meme. Yeah, but I would, I would say that, like, these situations aren't, like, 
become not impossible. I think mean, that's right what I'm looking for. But like, there are situations that like, in which women like do hold sex over a lonely guy's head in order to get something out of them. Like these situations do happen. They're overblown as fuck. Yeah, um, yeah for like, sure. The, the insult type crowd. But I think that like, um, whenever people like outright dismiss these things as problems, I think that's what like creates incels basically. Because like yeah. when you when you outright um, dismiss these kinds of um. Sorry, I lagged out a bit when you said that telling narratives can be highly propagandistic. I agree. So instead of telling the narrative yourself, you have to let people you are debated talk themselves into a corner. Destiny started out talking himself into a corner and saying some pretty unjustifiable things. I think it's good you called him out on it. And he continued to talk to walk back the whole conversation. I think that was an important point to hammer down on instead of comparing him to Sargon. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, I think that's fair. Okay. That's a fair critique. Yep. I think that's fair. Yep. Like emotional or psychological, whatever you want to call it, these yeah. kinds of wounds. Um... I think that's that's like what creates incels. I wouldn't go quite that far, but I would say that uh, I would say that like um, you know blanket dismissing someone's potential pain. The problem I think though is that a lot of um, people in incel spaces don't have a very realistic um, like a very realistic output like outlook on what actually happened in X scenario, and are often um, at least in my experience very likely to conclude that they were being quote unquote used by a woman when that woman was really just interested in being friends with them. And so I think that's more of, and then this of course becomes reinforced when you then enter a space where everybody confirms your worst fears, which is one of the biggest things about incel spaces, incel and red pilling and pickup artist spaces is that um, one of the like most characteristic elements of these spaces is that they um, they play into the worst fears of the people who are involved in them. And they, it's the lay down and die, L-Y-A-D -L -L I think is what it's called in incel spaces, but the lay down and die or lay down. I don't know, I, L D A D or whatever. I can't remember what it's how it's spelled. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, what the acronym are, they yeah. use. But yeah, this, it's this idea that, actually like, lay down and rot. I I fucked it up. But the meme that started this, somebody can find it. Uh, somebody can post it in chat. They're encouraged, and the space mutually or lay down and rot. Yeah, L D A R. Yeah, Eldar. There we go. That's the one. Um, and uh, yeah, it's like this this kind of concept. I think is um like really common in these spaces, and it and it and it plays into pre existing societal biases. Um. Yeah, so that was that was I guess the thing that like a lot of us looking at the meme were like, what really? Like you're gonna you're gonna go down on this one, this the hill, like. But but yeah, I mean, fair enough. Yeah, if you if you think it's like if it's a matter of very specifically like talking about like deeply deeply misleading people or like explicitly playing like um like playing with someone's All right, heart. Or there's something a like there's that. an error. Okay, I think this is a minor error, but an error nonetheless. So. That was me, me, me mentioning at all, even though I was using it in a very light and joking manner. Me mentioning dying on a hill at all was a mistake. Yep, yeah, and and the reason why is because. Even though I I don't think that it's fair to hold me to like a really hard standard there, people who are being uncharitable can use that against me, and I should predict that and work against it, like that, and um, leading them on like really hardcore. I just think there's yeah, a I think this is super calm. We're eight minutes in, and it has it has been nothing but a friendly conversation so far. But let's keep watching. Problem of that like for a lot of women, a lot of women, um, anything that they do is considered le leading them on. You know. Like nothing, like anything that they do will be considered leading someone on, and so you can't actually. There comes a point where like women can't have. I agree, J. Torrance. I think claims like that were ridiculous, but we'll talk about that at the end. It's with men, because if they're a friend, if they're too friendly, then they're leading them on, and then all of a sudden they're blamed for all of this harm that is functionally just happened in the dude's head. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that but that harm is still valid, right? Like even if even mm. if he's putting the blame um in the wrong place, I don't think that that makes it less psychologically harmful. Like it still hurts just as bad. Well, true. But, well, gay fesh. The line was that the first five minutes were fine, and then it became nothing. So yeah, there's just been no actual reality used. But we're gonna get into it, so don't worry. It only gets bad near the end. Nah, it just gets spicy a little bit, a little spicy. Let's Wait, keep whether watching. it's intentional or not. In that same, but in, in that same like mindset though, like would that not also would that same argument not like justify like a like a racist person who interprets being hated by like ex people even if it, even if that's not based in reality. Like there comes a point where like um, the hurt, the well, hurt, so, but like the feelings could be real and like you know, but it might be based off of false premises, you know. So I think these are a bit, these are a bit different, okay. um, because I would argue that like a racist who feels um, 
like threatened by people that don't look like them i would argue that like the, the feeling of being threatened mm-hmm. like um the the cause is not a valid one like you should you should not have that emotional response to people that don't look like you okay. the difference is that like uh, having unrequited feelings for someone i think that's a that's a valid emotional response is to be like emotionally hurt by that to put that hurt into like hating women is obviously not an, an appropriate mm-hmm. um action to take with that emotional okay. response but i i think the feeling of being hurt is a perfectly valid response well, to being put in that situation you know maybe i think another example that could be perhaps a little more specific is like um americans who ended up becoming really islamophobic right like i mean some of them were really terrified by 9 11 and they come to the conclusion that they should be scared of muslim people and immigrants and whatever and that is a like they're they're scared of something bad that did happen but the premises of their fear is um is bad and, it, uh, and again it but like that's something. a bit different okay do you feel that i did a bad job explaining this like chat i'm gonna reach out to chat right now like honestly do you feel like i did a bad job because i think that that was like basically perfectly clear what i was saying dirtbag left says yes Okay, why, dirtbag left? Because, like, I was explaining the difference between something being, uh, being, being something that's real, aka you might feel something, but it might not be fair. It might not be valid. It might not be, like, like, we shouldn't accept it, right? Like, it might be real, and we can be sensitive to that, but we shouldn't necessarily accept it as correct. Okay, so so I don't know how to improve it. You think he got tangled? Okay. Which he clarified. Okay, hold on a second. So not quite, but only because he clarified turning to hating women isn't the move. And you're saying they're turning to hating Muslims. Hmm. Right, but then he said, though, he said, though, that getting mad, his argument, though, in his response, he said that getting mad and feeling bad about unrequited love is okay. So that's where I was confused. Like, that was confused to me. Well, right, but... Wait, he said having their feelings hurt. Right, but... Because it doesn't address my question. What if the partner knows of your feelings yet still tries to hook you on for their own benefit? Um, I don't know. That's complicated. I mean, I think that can happen, but. All right, let's play it again. Let's listen again. Let's listen in again and see. Here we go. Look like you. Okay. The difference is that, like, uh, having unrequited feelings for someone, I think that's a that's a valid emotional response is to be like emotionally hurt by that to put that hurt into like hating women is obviously not an appropriate mm-hmm. um action to take with that emotional okay. response but i i think the feeling of being hurt is a perfectly valid response well, to being put in that situation you know maybe i think another example that could be perhaps so feeling hurt not just like not just fee- like that 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 felt strong to me and that's why i ask a clarifying question here yeah this is why i'm asking this is why i was unclear right and that's why i ask a clarifying question so let's see if i clarify properly here but to me it was like wait a minute so you're i i the the problem that i was having from my end so that we can get into my mind is that i don't know what he was actually trying to get at like saying that you think it's valid for someone to feel very hurt when somebody declines being in a relationship with you can mean a lot of things right that can mean a lot of things and so i was trying to clear well, let's see. Let's see. Let's find out. Perhaps a little more specific is like um, Americans who ended up becoming really Islamophobic, right? Like, I mean, some of them were really terrified by 9-11 and they come to the conclusion that they should be scared of Muslim people and immigrants and whatever. And that is a, like they're they're scared of something bad that did happen. But the premises of their fear is um is bad. And, it, uh, and again, it but like that's something. a bit different because, well, I'm not trying to, to, to address a hidden intention. I'm just trying to understand what he's saying. Right. Like that's a down that's a that's a problem of language right Ododong, right like i'm not saying that i'm trying to just to glean an intention i'm simply trying to understand what he's actually trying to say 
Is it? Muslims didn't do 9-11, terrorists did. So, like, even then, I would say, like, being afraid of Muslims is not valid. Being afraid of terrorists... Okay, see? Was... See? This is what I'm saying. This is a different argument. He's making a different argument than what he said before. This is why I was confused. Anyway, so then, well, I mean, would it not, would then that, like, not follow that the meme would be, like, like, the meme is kind of implying that, like, uh, their feelings of, of being, like, burnt out towards women or even towards that woman, even if it was based on false premises, would be okay? Like, I don't think it would be. Like, um, what happens if, like, what happens if, well, like... Well, yeah, because I, th I think regardless of whether the woman in this scenario... And by the way, this whole argument, you could reverse the gender something, the exact same thing. The sure, sure. Well, um, I mean, I do actually think it is a little relevant because of historical... Like, like historical and societal... Well, yeah, like, in the real world, this is, yeah. like, the most most often scenario. But yeah, I, yeah. I would argue that being put in this situation, like having unrequited feelings, um, I think regardless of whether or not in the scenario the woman is purposefully leading you on or not, mm -hmm. I think regardless of that, feeling hurt is a valid emotional response to have. Um, like, period. Okay, so what about something like this? Let's say, um, so see, we'll some, see like... I'm still trying to figure out what he means by feeling hurt here. This is where we're at right now. Yeah, but he, but, but he didn't clarify it though. We're back again. Because remember, he's mixed. He's got two arguments. He's saying one argument. Wait, what? No, I'm I'm trying to figure out what he's trying to say, Odadong. Yes and no, because okay, look. Let me rewind one more time, real quick. Hold on. Let me rewind one more time. Listen, listen here unrequited feelings um i think regardless of whether or not uh, historical like like uh, would it not would then that like not follow that the meme would be like like the meme is kind of implying that like uh their feelings of, of being like burnt out towards women or even towards that woman even if it was based on false premises would be okay like i don't think it would be like um, what happens if like what happens if well, like because yeah, I, th I think regardless of whether the woman in this scenario and by the way this whole argument you could reverse the gender or something the exact same thing. wait hold on i think i missed the spot something bad, right? that could be perhaps a little more specific is like um americans who ended up becoming really islamophobic right like i mean some of them okay um when people say things words can have multiple meanings right so when you follow up uh, when you follow up a question by saying uh it wasn't muslims who did 9 11 it was terrorists who did 9 11 then the imp like the argument there that's being played forward is that the argument that's being set there is that americans are justified in hating terrorists so then he says after that that women um that that men who are rejected by women are justified in feeling hurt so that was very confusing to me right yes they aren't justified in hating them but they are justified in what then because if he's saying that do you see that he made two different arguments Okay, let's let's continue. Let's continue because obviously there's some confusion here. But let's see if it clears out. Okay, and we're really terrified by 9/11, and they come to the conclusion that they should be scared of Muslim people and immigrants and whatever. And that is a like they're they're scared of something bad that did happen. But the premises of their fear is um is bad. And, it, uh, and again, it but that's a bit different because Muslims didn't do 9/11. Terrorists did. So like even mm -hmm. then, I would say like being afraid of Muslims is not valid. Being afraid of terrorists would be. So then. Well, so see, that's what I'm talking about. Being afraid of terrorists would be valid. And then what's the analogy with the woman? If he made that, he chose to make that analogy. So I'm, that's where I got confused. I mean, would it not, would then that like not follow that the meme would be like, anyway, we'll continue. Like the meme is kind of implying that like, uh, their feelings of, of being like burnt out towards women or even towards that woman, even if it was based on false premises would be okay. Like, I don't think it would be like, um, what happens if like, what happens if well, like, yeah, cause I, th I think regardless of whether the woman in this scenario, and by the way, this whole argument, you could reverse the gender or something, the exact same thing. The sure, sure. Here. Well, um, I mean, I do actually think it is a little relevant because of historical, like, like historical and society. Well, yeah, like in the real world, this is yeah. like the most, most often scenario, but yeah, I, yeah. I would argue that being put in this situation, like having unrequited feelings, um, I think regardless of whether or not uh, in the scenario the woman is purposefully leading you on or not, mm -hmm. I think regardless of that, feeling hurt is a valid emotional response to mm -hmm. have, like, period. Okay, so what about something like this? Let's say um, we'll build some, like, sort of uh, of, of, of pre preconditions here. So 
I think we can both agree that um, there is, uh, in our society, one way or another, there is a, a, a sort of cultural tendency towards objectifying women, right? Like, I think we can both yeah. agree on that. Okay, so that exists. Yeah. So, um, also, there is a, I think we can argue that there is at least some degree, um, and I would say a pretty significant degree, of women, of, of an expectation of attention being put on women, a, an entitlement to attention. Hence why, do, like, um, what's the term? Uh, wolf whistling and catcalling and, and hitting on women all the time, like, like really aggressively, is, like, encouraged in a lot of our culture, even still to this day, right? We can agree on that, correct? Um, sure, but on the yeah. flip side, I would say that there is an equally large cultural push towards um, not really giving shit a shit about men's emotional needs at all. Yeah, I mean, yeah, to a certain degree, yes. I would argue that, yeah, that's true. Like, the, the sort of, like, idea of, like, the toxic form of masculinity, like, what people refer to as, like, toxic masculinity, like, men aren't allowed to cry and, and that sort of thing, um, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. but not just, not just, like, not allowed to cry, but, like, not allowed to be, like, love sick and stuff like expect like whenever whenever there's like a breakup you know and we'll use a heterosexual couple so we mm. get both both of them in there like whenever there's a breakup like it's expected that like the girl's probably gonna have like a big group of friends to fall back on like it's like socially acceptable for her to be like down to the dumps for a while you have the classic meme of like stress eating like ice cream or whatever yeah and, like that's all like perfectly acceptable but like if a guy is broken up about his girlfriend for more than like two weeks like he needs to like suck it up find a rebound chick and like move on with his life like there's there's none of this um like recovery period allowed for men hmm. like, generally yeah i mean maybe I, I find that one a little bit tougher because um on so, in some regards like wouldn't that be i mean presuming we're talking about like heterosexual relationships wouldn't that be mostly like the men aren't allowed like aren't giving their male friend the room to do that and they're just kind of like telling him to get back out the door well, and i mean move on, right? i mean it's everyone though yeah. like it's, it's, men generally have more male friends sure but it's not like their female friends are going to be any more helpful like yeah. Well, maybe. I mean, I, I feel like that part's a little bit more difficult to dest determine. But regardless, like, um, so w when I'm when I'm thinking of, of like, uh, like how these how like, like whether something is like a like a valid claim or a valid like I think all feelings are to some degree valid. You know what I mean? I think they need and by valid, I mean, I think they need to be taken seriously. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're right or that they shouldn't be challenged. I think it's really important to challenge feelings that are really like disconnected from reality. I think it's necessary for people to um, challenge those things and also like like in general, just across the board. Like we should be willing to challenge our feelings that are out of step with reality. That doesn't mean they're not like I don't know. I guess it depends on how you use the word valid, but that's the way I look at it. You see what I mean? Like I think that people um, are totally yeah, I, like the way that the way that I handle it is I try and separate the emotional feeling from the emotional response. Mm -hmm. So like feeling or go back to the racist example like. Feeling scared that a black guy is walking by, the actual emotion of fear is a valid one and should not be dismiss dismissed. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you are having that emotion as a reaction of just seeing a black guy is the invalid part. Okay. That's the part that needs to be like questioned or dismantled. So by that logic, then, um, like uh, a guy who, like, say, interprets a woman as leading him on, even if that's not actually happening, um, you know, by that same logic, then, you know, maybe he feels hurt when it doesn't work out or when he doesn't get to fuck her or whatever. Um, but it might not be like like his reaction to that might not actually be justified or anything right like him feeling negatively towards that person might not even be justified even if he feels bad because we can understand like see would... this is where i made that distinction i made this distinction right here like i i tried to make the distinction that we can justify him feeling sad by getting rejected and whatever but that we shouldn't justify we shouldn't be able to uh like we shouldn't try and justify negative like negative feelings towards women or towards the woman who rejected right that's what i was trying to distinguish here be you know it's bad to to uh, it's bad to be rejected or whatever it feels bad to be rejected but if he misinterpreted everything and it's like you know it's you know she wasn't leading him on like then we can all we can also acknowledge that while it, like it makes sense he would feel bad he's his feelings are out of step with reality right um no i think mm. um feeling like um like if you get like feelings of like anger or spite i think that reaction would be unjustified but just like feeling hurt even if even if the um it was unintentional on the girl's part yeah. i think those those feelings of being hurt are still a valid response regardless of the intentionality of um of the situation like even even if the guy completely messed up he completely read signs wrong he was being a real dumb fuck mm -hmm. um i i think being hurt like is still a, okay. still a, but don't you think that kind of plays in like 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 confirming that or or saying that like someone um like mourning something like an imagined like a functionally an imagined relationship don't you think that's like kind of more damaging in the long run in that it, like it plays into the exact types of toxic like masculinity that we're we're trying to like resist because i think in the meme now of course obviously we're doing meme science here so like i i, I so i acknowledge here i acknowledge here that we're doing meme science 
Like, I, I'm pretty, you know, I feel like this right here is the biggest olive branch I've given so far. Like, you know, we're doing meme science. I was trying to be super, super chill here. Uh, you know, I'm more interested in getting to your actual ideas than just the memes. But in the meme, it was like, the idea was like, um, you know, that, that it causes as much psychological damage for someone to be- Yeah, I recognize that, Od Ododong. We'll get there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that hat's in the background now. I got a new hat coming soon quote-unquote used as a friend which we have acknowledged in this conversation is you know um a lot of men will interpret being used as a friend given the societal context as like a little bit you know broader like than it should be um and you know would it not also would you know what, what i'm saying is that would it not stand that like um that like saying that that's like as psychologically damaging like that's not just saying like oh i'm really sorry you feel bad but like remember like you know, it's okay to feel sad that this didn't work out, but you have to remember, like, not to take this out on this person. It wouldn't be, like, implying that as psychological damage or extreme psych psychological damage. Give credence to the idea that there's some sense of entitlement there, given the context that we've talked about here? Um, this was the in contentious one. I know. It's so... I know. We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh! <gasps> That's cool! Yeah! Sh shoot me a DM about it. If you can DM me that on Discord, I'd love that. That sounds awesome. Bum, 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 bum. Bada boom. All right, let's continue. Well, oh, it gets a lot if worse. It was, if it was um, absent in a vacuum, I might be able to hear your argument. Mm. Um, but seeing as how it's being compared to being used for sex, I think it's a pretty valid comparison. Yep. Because it never these are becomes very, a blood very bath. comparable situations where in both, it is somebody expecting more out of a relationship than they are getting from the other person. In one, you have somebody who is friends with somebody and they want more than friends, whether it be romantic or sexual. The other person does not reciprocate that, whether intentionally or unintentionally. And in the other, you have people who have a sexual relationship of some kind and the other person wants romantic, but they're not going to get it from the other person. I think these are well, like in almost... Our one-to-one -one comparable situations oh, interesting yeah see I, I don't agree with that with that analysis either i think like in our society especially here in america sex is um sex is like highly stigmatized and um the like idea that somebody fucking you and getting to that level of physical intimacy is often seen as like something significant like a, a significant level of um of like personal vulnerability especially for women who you know like not all women obviously but me but the vast majority of women could be could become pregnant as a result of having sex or something along those lines so like while i will say that like i don't think this is universally the case i think that it's fair to say that our society puts um uh, a stronger emotional impetus on women having sex with someone um than they do with like men having sex with someone yeah, right yeah. Well, yeah but that's not a that's not a valid one you can't have it like like both ways here like society what? um society says that like men deserve women's attention but that's obviously mm -hmm. dumb um and then society puts a very heavy weight on on having sex especially for women and i think that's dumb too yeah and we can like well, but both of those seem to be played into by this idea of equating, like, a woman saying, like, uh, of a woman, uh, by, by by equating those two things, where it is, um, you know, there's there's huge, there's potentially, and in many cases, um, like, really big social repercussions um, for a woman being used for sex, but the social repercussions for a man, like, being a friend and having a friend, and then that friend not wanting to have sex, and then him getting hurt or mad well, about yeah, we're not very about different, social right? repercussions. We're talking about just like how the person feels afterwards. Well, but I mean, social talking. repercussions are a big part of that. Like, I mean, for example, I mean, women are regularly um, like women are regularly frowned upon for you know premarital sex for having sex with more than one person. So it seems to me like that's like a common occurrence still in our society. It hasn't gone anywhere. Like not yet. Um, I think it's definitely decreased in recent years. Oh, for sure. Years. Obviously, yeah, it's, it's decreased. Still there. Huge amount um, is still there. Yeah. But I don't know if you can really go that far out with mm. like the. The, the damage done i guess it feels like you're like you're going one too many like cause and effect layers outwards here oh, okay. of like the damage that the person has done to you okay. is um like having sex with you and then not having a relationship with you like that is yeah. that person's fault right uh -huh. i don't think you can put the emotional damage caused by any like slut shaming you get afterwards i don't know if you can add that into the equation well, maybe. it feels like i mean even if we don't though well. like if uh if a guy is like using a woman for sex the implication there is like that uh that she, that she's been misled into, you know, having this. Uh, well, not necessarily intentionally misled. Just like the um, the friend zoning situation. Good like luck it could be that, that out. It could easily be that the guy had no no intention of having any romantic relationship and never thought he was giving any signs of that. But mm -hmm. the woman just read too much into things. Like these are. Yeah. I think these are almost one to one comparable situations. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think I can see certain aspects of it, like when we're talking about sort of the most extreme um, level of like of manipulation. But when when I'm thinking of like the general application of these ideas, um, you know, it, it seems to me like uh, there's um, significant.
I don't know here. Relationships are inherently transactional, and we tend to only do things to get something back in return, even on an emotional level. So him saying the guy is being used here isn't the full story. I that's that's the thing. You don't understand what the contention was about. Oh, I invited him on to do meme science. Like the the original invitation was to to discuss. Okay, so the context is, the Scrub King posted a meme that was very controversial. A lot of people had a lot of thoughts about it, and I brought him on to discuss it and to communicate what a lot of people brought to the table and what I also thought. I didn't, yeah, here, we'll show the meme. Here, I'll bring the meme up. Let's let's bring the meme up. Let's do it. Why not? Using guys for friends is just as psychologically damaging as using girls for sex. Sounds like a literal fedora with arms wrote this, but okay. And then he retweeted this and said, nuclear take, this is 100% correct. So the reason, why, the reason why I invited him on to do meme science with me was because I asked, wait a minute, when you say using guys for friends, this isn't very clear. When you say this is 100% correct, what do you mean? Do you mean that like, a woman, because to me, and I'm serious, I'm being 100% honest right now. This reads to me like if you're friends with a guy and you don't fuck him, that is psychologically damaging as deceiving a girl into a relationship just to fuck her. And that, I don't agree with that sentiment. S do you see why? So, and I was not, I was not mad, by the way. I was not mad at him at all. I literally invited him on just to talk about it. What is it with pe with you encountering people who preface bad takes with nuclear take and then proceed to get butt mad when you challenge their take? Performative, it's performativity. It's performative, it's just performativity. Yeah, exactly. But see, that's what I that's where I was coming from on this. It's hard to use someone as a friend though. Is it it's hard to use someone as a friend. Friends are friends because they have things in common or or to offer to one another. If it's one-sided, you can leave. Yes, that and I talk about this in just a little bit. We're going to get to that point in just a minute. I bring up that the wording is weird. That was the original debate. Was that the wording was fucking weird. And we'll get to that. Let's get to that. Let's get to the debate because I I do bring this up more to my defense. Um sort of um how do I word this? Uh, in the situation of 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 a of of someone being used as a friend, quote unquote, it seems like there is a lot of leeway given to what being used as a friend is already in our society. So I feel like there's um there is like I don't feel like those things are perfectly equated, you know. Um, but I do um, think I do I mean, think in general we, I will agree with you. Can we say there's a lot of leeway for what being used as sex would be? Um, can we say that like a lot maybe. of people might like have one night stands with somebody and like get ghosted and like. That would count as like being used for sex. Like that happens. Yeah, like, but what, to what degree does the um to what degree is there like an assumption being placed on men to have a relationship with a woman? Like one night stand culture is like pretty well accepted and actually positively like there's a lot of like positive back clapping and stuff like that that goes on when men get se sexual conquest. That's a good thing. Whereas we, if if women, I don't. Uh, I think I think ghosting is generally seen as bad. Really? Like, I don't, like I don't do you think, think that's the case? Like I feel like I don't know. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, like I feel you like you might have gonna... a few like douchebag like frat boys like fist bumping you, but like generally most people are gonna look at you as kind of a douche. A few douche like there are entire movie series based off of this. But okay, you just straight up ghost people. I don't know. Like sexual conquest has been like a huge part of like like toxic toxic what we could call toxic male culture for a long time, and people boast um, about like yeah, men, men has... boast about like I mean you've heard that you probably heard the saying. You know, male, literally... but first of all, like yeah. male culture has changed drastically over the past two decades to the point where like toxic masculinity is general is like found in like subsections rather than being a universal oh, I don't know about culture. That. it's found in specific friend groups I don't, I don't know about that like i mean i think there's been improvement for sure but i don't i mean we're still talking we still live in a country where like you know 75 million people voted for donald trump like or whatever the number is now um like like a lot of people I mean, yeah, but you can, like those, you those can people even... like accept these sort of things i mean these are predominantly christian people who believe their wives should be submissive to them like i don't think that it's changed as much like perhaps in among like i mean really young people, old people there are a lot of there are a lot more men who intentionally use women for sex and there are women looking for men to intentionally use for rides to the airport i would agree but you know well now we don't change any of their oh, no, but it's not like just old young people. men alive today i think the toxic male culture is yeah i agree so much social I agree groups so rather much. than just a universal culture absolutely yeah. i mean I, I certainly think it's lessened i agree with you but i think we can admit that like right 
could the, could the meme be read as if you lead on your friend potentially looking for a relationship and don't give to coochie, then it's just like a guy using a girl potentially looking for a relationship for sex and then ditching her. Yeah, but that's not how the meme was written. And remember, the context of this, I agree that that's the most charitable one, but the entire premise of the conversation was that he said, I agree with this. Nuclear take, I agree with this 100%. Not the... Yeah, like, like, that's the thing. Yeah, this is the thing. Like, I, 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 that's the problem. That's the whole reason why we had the discussion. The, the entire discussion was predicated on us clarifying what was meant by the meme. And that hasn't happened so far. Now, like, in the current state, like, we haven't, we certainly haven't escaped these sort of Sorry patriarchal like, norms. Like... Right, like um, I don't, I don't yeah, think that but I don't, I don't think that they're as universal as you're painting them to be. I think there are still social circles that are toxic, mm -hmm. absolutely. But, but if like, most women, like if most women grow up, that was um, what I was touching on, Lonnie. Also, in most cases, by led on, they mean act completely normally in a relationship with a person of the opposite sex and not wanting to add sex to that relationship. Yeah, I, I know that's what I was trying to indicate. I was going to indicate that we have a huge problem of that already, but I, I don't think that was accepted. But yeah, but on accident, though. You just said yourself, Rick Blood, on accident. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. You know, being taught by their yeah, parents, does. their dad, their mom, that, like, oh, you need to be careful. Like, you need to be super careful not to give men the wrong impression. And it leads to women. And this is something that young women are still taught to this day, that they need to be very careful about the way that they present themselves in order to not unintentionally give men the wrong image. This is, like, a, a discussion that is, like, regularly talked about even to this, of course, to this day among I mean, women is, like, that, that like, it's like it's almost like you know it's it's so widespread that like that that like parents talk to their to their daughters and say like oh you need um, to be sure that you're not yeah gay, but I right I, I doesn't it seem a little bit that, like what's that well n using that as a metric for how universal toxic masculinity is I don't think is that valid because like no, I think that advice true. is going to be given until like sexual assault stops existing which is never going to happen well but the, I mean like the analogy... it, 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 that doesn't change the fact that most sexual assault still happens to to women yeah so but yeah. what the analogy I would draw here is that like the talk that all black men get when they're children it's pro like yeah. police brutality has mm -hmm. gotten better significantly over the past decade a has couple it? decades probably yes absolutely it has um has it but you're still going to get the talk from your parents because you it's still good advice to get um and you, you still need to be taught about it but that doesn't that doesn't mean that the problem is people got better. mad at me for this but i'm pretty sure that we're at like a local high point for police brutality versus black people like the last decade we've been getting worse now it was is it better than it was a hundred years ago? Yeah, but like the last ten years has been a, an uptick, not a downtick. Like it absolutely okay. is. Anyway, whatever. Whatever. yeah, but I mean, those, but those, but what we're talking about is the societal expectations, right, that affect your life, and whether, and in the context of the like greater conversation around the meme, is what uh, is is whether the OP was correct in the assumptions that were made and saying that like oh yeah it's exactly yeah, the same and I thing the, it, it's the same the I mean, to me written, it seems I would like agree with 100%. oh okay yeah see to me see, the way that there I look at it is I... see here we go the wording i would agree agree with 100% so this is where i'm like uh okay what that's the thing i just said like you do you understand how the wording could be but it's not okay. Anyway, let's continue. I see, like a society. That... I don't know. Like, what if I? Okay, I'm fine. I'm actually having a hard time critiquing myself right now because I find this intro very confusing. If anybody has a critique for me, like, don't feel like you have to invent one. But if you have one, okay, that's fair. Nuts. I don't know. Still Let's teaches continue. women that like their resp like I mean to the degree that like schools have significantly stricter um, dress codes on women because women are seen as being the um, like temptresses by default it, by a lot of our system still to this day and that none of that a lot of that hasn't changed so women have to live um, under a. I think that in these situations, you need to leverage the fact that the person you're arguing with is using their own personal experience. It might be the case that this one person has a negative attitude towards frat bros and that they have very few of their friends treat sexual conquest as an achievement. This is heavily biased by the communities that person is in. Yeah, but I just tried to make them aware of that. And it maintains a fact that you can cite that frats are extremely popular still in movies and movies about sexual conquest lose virginity quests, make ass tons of millions of dollars. Yeah, I know, but th but he wouldn't accept that. He wouldn't accept that here, so I don't know how I could have gotten better. Certain type of um, of like, 
assumptions where their their lives have to be catered around men and i don't think that a man who over like a man over reading um like signs from a woman is is and then being frustrated that he didn't get sex is the same thing as a woman getting to the point with a dude yeah, where yeah, she know, has yeah. sex and then he yeah they are yes i thought we got rid of those in 2009 no not really When it comes to relationships, placing 100% blame on someone isn't fair most of the time. When I'm in a disagreement with someone, I don't assume it's all their fault. It's usually a combination. So I ask myself how much I can apologize for how we got here. Yeah. What is the latest one? I don't watch that shit, so I don't Fox know. off. And nor do I think that the... the Let me think. I don't know. I don't fucking watch movies anymore. The social fallout, I don't think, is the same, but I also 2020 don't think that, like, was the latest American Pie movie. Yeah, also, like, um, like TV shows? Aren't there, like, entire TV shows right now, going on right now, like Big Brother and stuff, that are all about that? Come on. Emotional, Come on. like, Come level on. of Let's not be silly. Let's not, expectations are quite the same. Let's not delude there. ourselves. So I just, I just, I found it a little odd, is all. But, um, I do think it's, I do think it's an interesting discussion to have. Um, yeah, I just, I, I feel like there's a, a certain element of, um, Perhaps playing into a pre-existing narrative that is present in this meme. Hey, don't say what? Hey, don't say what? Wait, that was self-referential. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a hard one. All right. You could call him out on being an anecdote Andy, but nicer. Okay. We'll continue. That would make me say, well, I don't know if I agree with this 100%. I, um, I, well, but regardless of the narrative that could be made, it doesn't mm -hmm. change the validity of the thing. What like, do you mean by that? A statement can be true and play into a larger bad narrative, but the statement itself is still true. Like, wait, 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 wait which statement are you saying? Like... Like, I'm saying like, sorry, like this, this meme, for example, in, I'm saying in general, you can say true things mm -hmm. that play into a larger false narrative. Mm. Well, yeah, but like wouldn't we want to, to wouldn't do. you, well, I mean, it would be something that is true by one particular interpretation, but not, might not be true in the larger picture. Like, for example. Um, well, no, I think you can say absolutely objectively true statements that play into a larger. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, like, narrative. like, I mean, there's all kinds of things that are used like that. Like, I mean, like, um. People say like uh, I'm trying to think of some examples of like objectively objectively true quote unquote things like for example um, one one that gets weaponized against trans people all the time is like trans people's uh, rate of of suicide like suicide attempts um, and that's an objectively true number that's being projected that's being uh, presented in a way to, as to be manipulative you know what I mean does that make sense oh well, um, yeah sure. somebody brought but up I, in chat black crime statistics is another one where the the, the statistics yeah, are true example, but the presentation is black crime, yeah. yeah yeah. But I mean, I, I'm just more familiar with the 40% one because I'm trans. So, you know, it comes to that sort of thing comes to me um, pretty frequently. So that's the same type of thing. And I would argue that like this meme is kind of like that. Like it might be true indeed that many men get hurt by feeling led on. But in the bigger picture, it might be, um, and I believe that this is the case, that um, they tend to feel led on not because of anything that women are actually doing, but because our society uh, teaches men basically to interpret everything as uh, everything other than complete demure passivity from women to be sexual like um a license for sexuality you know so see i lay my cards out on the table 100 percent clear here i've stated my opinion and we've finally 30 minutes in we've finally gotten to where i've laid all of my opinions on this on the table and made my argument for it so let's see where it goes from here okay i didn't call anybody an incel anyway let's continue auto mods being very weird you know what I mean? I think oh, a lot of women sure. have that experience where they feel like they can't live their lives because everything they do might, um, I mean, especially women in the public sphere, like um, streamers and stuff like that. I, I would like, I've had conversations with other streamers that they feel like they have to be very careful and that they're damned if they do, damned if they don't, no matter what they do, it's going to be seen as um, an invitation for people to become sexual with them, even if they don't want to. And then yep. when they reject- Now this is, this is a serious topic. So I'm explaining my serious topic. Reject it when they say no, they are treated as though they've done something wrong or that they've hurt somebody when in reality they're just enforcing very basic boundaries i don't the problem is i don't know if there is a way to not pa pa talk past
past each other when it comes to this conversation. Straight men are taught one language, and when it comes to communicating sexual interest, both in how to express it and how it is expressed to them, while the reality of how sexual interest is communicated is radically different. Teaching him that the language he is speaking is different is not something that I think you can do. Um, I don't know that I agree with you. That are afforded to men, but that aren't afforded in our society to women. Does that make sense? Um, sure, but I think if you're going to, I think if you're going to outright not have the conversation about how there are women on the platform that exploit their sexuality to get lonely men to give them money. Okay, 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 okay. See, this is where I was like, "What? What are you talking about?" Like, this is where I. Th you can see that I'm like, "What?" Like refuse to have entertain that conversation i think you do more harm than good well who's refusing to have that conversation though plenty of people ah see now now it's coming out okay now this is now we're getting into the meat of it okay i'm interested in this part because um so this pot i i will accept some critique here okay people looked at this very uncharitably now what i was excited about is that we were finally getting to the meat of the issue if you look at this, and I will defend myself on this one for just a second. If you look at this, 32 minutes in, I was hoping that we were going to have this conversation long before this point. Now, some people jumped on this and said that, oh, Demon Mama was waiting to choke, to, to, to jump on him and trap him. It's like, no, I just was interested. I literally say it right here. Listen again. Let's listen again conversation i think you do more harm than good well who's refusing to have that conversation though plenty of people ah see now now it's coming out okay now this is now we're getting now it's coming out as in we're we're getting to the meat of the issue what i actually wanted to talk about the sentiments that go into these memes now some people took this really badly and i acknowledge that some people that this would be easier this is too easy to misinterpret and i would avoid doing that again but it's 32 minutes into the video. You see? Like, come on. Again, no charitability, but we're not giving myself charitability today. This moment, 32, 30, could very easily or could easily be misinterpreted. And should be avoided in the future. There we go. Bam. There we go. Of it. Okay, I'm interested in this part because um this is this is what I was a little this is this this is why the meme came off as a little a little stinky to me because it smelled like there was some other narrative going on around the meme. Um, see, th and I'm very clear about my intention. I I say here there was something about the meme that smelled a little stinky, and I'm interested to get into that and see what you think about that. I think that's very clear and very obvious. Let's go. But uh but but I'm actually interested in this now because uh I find the conversation around women quote unquote using their sexuality on online to be like ridiculously toxic and also like Oh, it absolutely it's totally overblown based. as fuck and yeah. it's oh, it, but the reason it's overblown as fuck is because um mm. Okay, so see I detected right here what was going on and Anyway, whatever. We're not here. I'm not here to defend myself, but I feel like okay. Let's continue. There's Never a fancy, fancy schmancy university professor. Mm, I, yeah, but that's the that is Odo Dong. That's the most uncharitable interpretation. I agree, but that is the most uncharitable interpretation possible. But let's continue. Praise for it, right? Um, but basically, like if you refuse to have certain conversations, um, the, the idea who... that I was that this entire 32 minute conversation was like a trap. When I literally laid my cards out on the table at the very beginning, that's what I that's where I, I contested. I agree that that came that that can come across poorly, but at the same time. What's that? Huh? What? Okay have the wrong take too much attention we'll just publicly give that wrong take and they'll get really loud and everybody nobody else will really know how to deal with it because we just never had the conversation do you think um, that it's it. possible that that conversation um happens but and and that many people are willing to discuss it but that it's so toxic that whenever the conversation happens it gets immediately bowled over anyway because that's um, my experience. i think it's like a chicken and the egg scenario i don't really? know if you can yeah. see I, I don't know if 
if you can possibly say when the if the conversation was toxic before or after people stopped talking about it. Well, I mean, given the context. So this is my problem here. My problem here is that he is blaming he is blaming the women on the platform, and I still stand by this. Yeah, it was over eager body language, but like okay. Anyway, um Dismissing the abuse that some women engage in through emotional manipulation of their male friends is rhetorically ineffective. Xander Hall's strategy works better here. Make it plain just how grossly abusive these types of friendships can be, but then emphasizing the larger and more important issues is men's priming to view every friendship as a future girlfriend. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Hey. Anyway. So this is where I'm concerned. Let's continue. Next of it, given that again, this is where that that societal context comes comes in, is like I mean the problem is that men are hugely hugely um, by and large aggress sexually aggressive towards women in public spaces and have a huge sense of entitlement for sexual attention regardless of whether that woman um, is sexual or not. I mean fuck, I remember uh, just this is now this is an anecdote, not any re relevant data, but but I think it's it's kind of telling. Um, I remember watching the uh, the release of the new like hollow live vtubers you know what a vtuber is right like the uh, yes. anime girl like yeah and um and and i look was watching the live chat and it was just like spamming boobies show feet how tall are you how how small are your feet like all like true story hundreds everybody. of people commenting that's this. a true to story a fictional woman uh, with a headshot like doesn't show any body and this happens even to fictional women like like and this like it's really fucking weird. There's like a massive problem with this, right? So I would, I would, the way that what, my takeaway from stuff like that, from the preeminence of like people being really sexually aggressive with women online is that, um, not that it's like, oh, well, no one's willing to have the conversation and this is why, but rather that the conversation is so deeply toxic. It's so deeply culturally toxic that talking about it at all is invite, is opening the door to an incredible amount of harassment, which again, in my experience has been the case. Um, if you've ever watched, I don't know if you, if you've ever watched it, but have you ever seen like any of Prime Kai's Amazon Lily, like femme, femme presenting only, um, panel? Uh, I don't, I don't watch it on Twitch. No. Oh, okay. Damn. You're a streamer. You got to watch some streams. It's good for you. I, I do not have time to watch. Any. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, um, just so you know, there, uh, you know, Prime has hosted a femme presenting only panel a couple times. Yeah. I, I've heard about the panel. I've just never actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it. one of the things that comes up a lot is how much harassment people get. And, hey, had, and I was actually on the panel one night where people talked about this, um, the incredible anxiety that nearly every female creator has about how they present themselves on camera. Something that ma male creators have no problem. I mean, fuck, I, I can't even tell you the number of, of male creators I've talked to who are just like, yeah, I just throw on whatever shirt I want, a fucking tee, tank top, whatever. Um, whereas female creators are like, oh my God, if I don't do makeup, am I going to get freaky comments? If I do do makeup, are people going to like say that I'm being a slut streamer? Um, people call people titty streamers all the time. Like I hear this thrown around all the time to people who I wouldn't even categorize as like even close to that. So don't you feel like the, um, like it's kind of weird to like equate those two sides when it's clearly there's like a cultural well, issue. I'm, I'm, I'm not equating them. I'm saying that like, kind of are. um, by not talking about the actual titty streamers for lack of a better term, yeah. um, it does somewhat fuel the, um, the sexist side of things i mean does like, it obviously or maybe is, absolutely maybe, yes. do you think that do you think that maybe it should be okay for some women to be titty streamers um and they should to a certain be, extent like, yeah they should still to, be afforded respect and 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 like basic to a certain extent that, yeah oh to a certain extent well because i mean like here's um, the thing yeah i think there are there are definitely ways you can be exploitative in the way that you um use your sexuality absolutely okay so like, would you argue that somebody just being, like just sexualizing yourself for money go for it all you want if you are playing up parasocial relationships with your fans in order to drain them of money um that's probably not good i mean that sounds probably very specific good. like i wouldn't argue that being i would like... extend the same criticism to non-sexualized streamers that do the same parasocial shit sure but the, um, it, but then isn't the problem then the parasociality and not the titties it's weird that people fix it on um, the titty streamers and yeah, also it's weird sure. that people fixate i mean oh. when i think of parasocial people like one of the most like parasocial um streamers i can think of off the top of my head is destiny and yet now that was a mistake that was a mistake there whoops i agree with my sentiment but saying that was a big mistake and i didn't but part of that is because i didn't realize that the scrub king was a desk was a destiny like that that much i didn't realize that so that was a mistake i'll i'll well i'm not wrong but it was a mistake in this context I, I agree with that still, by the way. I think that's pretty true. But. Yeah. 
But, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is a debate. This is a Destiny fan. But that's okay. Yeah, this was, this was, that was, that was bad. Not, not because of a, not because of the debate, just in general. Yeah, everyone disliked that. Yeah, that's fair. Let's continue. Nobody would dare call Destiny a titty streamer, but Destiny is very like Destiny lives his entire Wait, life. Wait, how is Destiny? Par oh, I'm about to explain. Here on we go. Stream. He eats food. He talks to his partner. Like he lives um, his entire life on stream. I and don't... people, people genuinely. I mean, I've gotten as, as somebody who's gotten a fuckload of comments from the Destiny community recently after my debate with Destiny. Um, I can tell you a lot of people. They seem to think that Destiny is their like personal friend. Like he seems. Although to... this is going to be true of every streamer. Well, not like, every streamer. We're always going to have parasocial people. What I'm saying. Well, are yeah, that but I mean actively actively like play into it by like specifically like developing personal relationships with their viewers and oh. well not even not even really personal ones but oh. acting as i mean it just do. seems to me like there's a pretty obvious double standard here being put towards women oh, there, in there, ab there absolutely is so then how is it fair to put but that doesn't that doesn't change the fact that refusing to talk about well, who's refusing to talk about streamers, it that's the thing who's refusing to talk about well it? i mean you, you you even yourself said people don't want to talk about it because they'll get harassed for it well yeah but that's because of the people who are harassing them that's not their fault yeah but right I'm saying that by not talking about it, regardless of the reason why, the fact that it seems to be a conversation that people generally don't want to have, that helps play into the sexist narrative. Mm, interesting. See, Everyone me, in chat like should be that... raising their hands because the fact of the matter is some level of parasociality is always present in streaming. It is just a reality. It's about managing that carefully and being healthy with it, okay? It's just impossible. It's actually true. Every person that you view on a screen, you develop some form of parasocial relationship with. And it's up to everyone to manage that, just so we know. Just so we're clear on that subject. Let's continue. And to do so responsibly. To me, that's It literally, of... remember, the term parasocial was invented to describe people's relationship to celebrities on the TV. Okay? The TV. Yeah. That was when that term was invented. So, yeah. approach to it sounds very like, um, like victim blamey, in my opinion. Like it sounds like it sounds like you're basically saying, oh well, like they get a double ding, like they get dinged by the people who are convinced that they're like titty streamer, parasocial, whatever, even though they're not doing anything other than any other streamer. They're just a woman who happens to have boobs and maybe likes to look nice, and that, um, and that justifies them not only receiving like the like. The harassment but also if they don't also talk about it if they don't also make themselves available further available to constantly explain themselves and defend themselves to the public yes that's that true also true getting for that do you yes. see how that's like it's like doubling down on the people well, who are I, receiving at the no harassment. point did i say that they like need to expose themselves to harassment i'm just saying like well if they, if they try to like push back the world, on it and they get the harassed. fact that they're the fact that this conversation is not happening does help play into the sexist narrative it's not the only reason sexism is obviously going sexism on twitch is going to be absolutely fucking cancerous regardless but i'm saying a input into it is going to be the fact that people generally don't. Um, well, just say it when you get back. Good faith. The only people, like I'll put it like this, the only There's people your problem, playing leagues are going to be sexist people generally. Mm, which I don't know if that's true, but I mean also it's like, but what, what's to be what's to be criticized? Like for example, okay, um, when I when I say titty streamers, I mean like the exploitative kind. Just looking hot and streaming is not bad. Okay, well, because I mean that's what most people use when most people say titty streamers. That's what yeah, they and the the, yeah. the the discussion is poisoned by that because if the only people criticizing the exploitative streamers are sexist, they're gonna treat all hot women the same. Well, but I mean, them. maybe do you think that it could also be that like that like the public treats all like hot women the same like that could actually be the problem yeah, maybe the I right would to claim say that sexism is probably going to be like the default generally some yeah, form of sexism is probably going to be the default because the world isn't perfect seems to me like the thing you'd want to push back on then is not the people who say like hey like i have the right to um to wear what i want to on stream within the tos and like it would be it would seem to me then the, the correct action would be to defend those people and their right to do it and not to give in like implicitly to the demands of a group that is in that is well, inherently sexist them. You can simultaneously say looking hot on stream is all right as long as you're not exploiting lonely people. Well, it's really funny people. because like it's funny you say yes. that though because like I talk about parasociality all the time and how um and I'm like I mean literally both in the context of my own stream I'm reminding people like hey there is the potential for parasociality let's try to build actual social relationships and connect with one another and then also in a larger scale I talk about parasociality and the manipulativeness of certain structures on these uh, in streaming and other forms of entertainment. I think people talk about parasociality actually quite a lot in streaming. Um, even though it's actually very present in a lot of other industries as well. Um, My girlfriend broke up with me last weekend because I brought a salad to a barbecue. Was I in the wrong? What? 
What? Exploiting lonely people. So it's the streamer's fault their viewers are lonely or make connections to them that are inappropriate. Yeah, I know, Soma, but I know. This is that that was my feeling at the time too. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, and we should talk about that. Yeah, I, um, I, I know. Celebrity I culture agree. is all about parasociality, right? And it, I mean, that's what the term was originally invented to describe. It was originally the term parasociality or and parasocial relationships was invented in the 50s to describe people having um, imagined relationships with celebrities who are now on the TV in their house. Yeah, it's been a thing ever since celebrities existed. Yeah, just it has been. That makes it way easier. Yeah. yeah, so I talk about that all the time. But uh, interestingly, like you would probably never read that as me criticizing like you said, criticizing this, like the titty stream. That's like really you good. Said, well, nobody criticized this. Alien kid. Well. By the way, I'm the same way too. I have had lots of special interests. I'm not autistic, but I'm ADHD. We also fixate on things, and yeah, it's just good to maintain your boundaries. Yeah, it's really good, and it makes you happier, and you get to enjoy your things better. So yeah. That's because the problem is not titty streamers. The problem is parasociality, and I do criticize parasociality. Um, but I, but think, I, I think there, it's are, there is a horde of people who would criticize titty streamers, not because of parasociality, but because they're a woman who dares exist in public. But I think there's value in talking about specific forms of parasociality, and one of those forms is going to be exploiting your sexuality to get lonely or horny people to give you money. I mean, um, is that exploitative by default? Um, yeah, I think that people that are lonely or horny are probably not in a sober state of mind, and I think you absolutely can Ooh, exploit that. Damn. Okay, now, warning. This is where the conversation starts to get really weird, okay? This is, right here, is where the conversation starts to get very weird, because we've moved from one type of conversation to another type of conversation, okay? Okay, so would you also feel in the, the same, same way you can exploit somebody who's drunk or high? Oh, wow. That's like, I mean, that to me, that feels like a massive, like a massive false equivalency, like drunk or high, I mean, depending how? on the drug. It's, right? the horm Wait. it's hormones in the brain. It's the exact same thing as alcohol or any other drug. Okay. Can we realize why I, why am I making this face right here? Yeah. But Ododong, it gets doubled down on, unfortunately. Um... I don't know what uh maybe we have very different experiences of being horny um but uh well, i mean i mean it's literally wait, wait. a chemical in your brain that's gonna affect so is everything process. so is everything so is feeling joyful so is feeling excited right, yeah so and we can draw certain lines in certain places but i think right, but i think you'd be you're saying that pretty lonely out of place to say that wait. nobody has ever done anything that they wouldn't do otherwise because they were horny can you explain to me like can you explain to me how this is different than um than saying that it's women's fault for wearing a short skirt because men can't can't control them they're not in there they're not thinking straight well okay how is that it, how is this different i want to know how this is a different argument because it sounds exactly the same um, because the okay hold on so when you are sexually assaulting someone okay okay you are you're going the, you were going out of your way to do that okay okay yeah if you are talking to somebody and you're super horny uh -huh. and they get you to i don't fucking know go drive to a convenience store and buy them food uh -huh. right yeah. like these are not comparable situations here I mean, like, I mean, you, you cannot you, you use literally, the wait, I was you, horny to, to sexually assault someone because wait, that's so if you're horny and you sexually harass someone who you have per, who you perceive is leading you on, that would be a bad thing, right? And yeah. that would would that also be would you sexual consider harassment is generally bad, right? Yeah. Right. So then, but what you're saying is is that the state of being horny means that people can't that men presumably mostly in this case I think um, can't control themselves and can't make any action would to, that a, be, certain to a certain extent. extent? Okay, control but then themselves. so what you're saying then is that. Men who I choose know, to log onto the internet and watch streams are the responsibility of the woman who's streaming to her audience for whatever reason. Even if she decides to like show big booby, like that is not. It, you would yeah, agree. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. You would agree that showing big booby is not um is not inherently an invitation um for sexual attention, right? For sexual harassment. Well, for sexual not. attention in general, like even if you have oh, like. Like even like um, like for example like right now like I have like I have a relatively low cut shirt because I think I look really good in this. I don't want any sexual attention. I have all the sexual attention. Okay, well, okay. I want. how are we defining sexual attention? Here? Well, yeah, I mean it depends, I mean, right? There's a lot of different ways, but the argument you're making implies. If you mean, so, you know, the like, argument sexual harassment. I would say absolutely not. Okay, but uh, attention. True, so Because to me, unironically, like... look, I got G cups. If I start streaming and I'm seen as a titty streaming, that ain't my fault. That's true. It will never be your fault. That is your body, and that will always be the case. This is when I remember tuning in, and you were calmer than I think I could be uh, at being horny makes men incapable of controlling themselves. Yes. Like, this is the thing. We're at 47 minutes in, and I'm still chill as fuck. And people represented me as being aggressive and horrible in this, okay? Thank you, Exia Ross. I love that one. 
Did I say tutties? Big tutties. I tend Big to tutties. literally like anybody finding that arousing, which seems sure. like a crazy standard. But the hold. way that the way that you the way that you framed this originally was that women, booby streamers, that there's a little bit of vagueness on what we're actually talking about, but well, I hope you don't think poorly of me, but there's a clear difference between a streamer who happens to have big tits and another with very low wear and the camera is placed specifically and you know when it isn't. Yeah, but come on, there's limits to that. I'm going to wear my nice shirt that happens to show a little boob because I like that shirt and any shirt that I show will wear bo will show boob anyway. Yeah, people are weird about this shit. Yeah, of course, but people are weird about this shit. They're really weird about it. Women um, are exploiting horny and lonely men um, some women are exploiting some lonely and horny well, men. Then those lines become pretty important, and that's what we're trying to figure out here, right? Like, um, because I would these argue it's going to be impossible to literally, like, be able to draw some up yeah, sort of I mean, TOS to determine when somebody yeah. is lonely. Okay? I don't think we need it to be that severe, but you equated. I mean, this is your own words. I'm just I'm approaching your argument here, which is that you argued that horniness and loneliness was equivalent, in, and you said equivalent in your mind to being drunk or high. No, no, no not equivalent to being drunk or on okay. drugs. So you're but taking can be that. exploited in the same way really in so, similar ways so yeah. you think well see that that seems absurd like, obviously you're on like fucking like meth obviously it's gonna make you well but i mean alcohol is an incredible than just being buzzed well, yeah but being but like alcohol is incredibly is an incredibly debilitating drug like i know that it's like yeah. destigmatized in our society but but alcohol is an incredibly debilitating drug yeah alcohol I don't, is a pretty at pretty least for myself drug. and i don't know maybe maybe there is a um a different a different issue for people horny but i don't know most people i think are pretty have a, a decent amount of clarity when they're horny um, and even when they're lonely, like I've been lonely many times in my life. I'm lonely all the time. I don't know if I would put Lauren lonely in the same category because I don't know if there's like a. Okay, but you just like, did twice. Like a physiological state of loneliness. Well, it definitely is. I mean, after all, I mean, we don't. This is a little bit of a side. Well, I guess like, angle, like but, depression like, and stuff. Yeah, but like, I mean, people take opioids often to alleviate loneliness because lone, uh, opioids contain a drug that um, that satisfies the same chemical centers that uh, that. Um, What's yeah, called, like oxytocin um, is, is is it fills that, and oxytocin is what we get from being near other humans and being intimate with other humans. A lot of the opioid epidemic is driven by loneliness. That people take those drugs because it actually fills those same chemical receptors. So like like it does, it is actually a strong chemical. But I would just argue there's significantly different degrees, right? Like um, like I don't know. And, and again, this just all of this seems very odd to me to ultimately put the responsibility on a on women who are by and large just trying to make a living and have fun doing it uh, their well, profession. Well, in the same way that you would put responsibility on um, a frat guy at a party to to not bring a drunk girl home with him. Like do you think wait, wait, what? I'm sorry, can you clarify that? In the same level of responsibility of like if you know that somebody is impaired in some way, you probably shouldn't be like encouraging them to make decisions that you don't think they would make otherwise. Okay. But if you're a streamer and and you're just sitting there and talking about stuff and whatever you're doing and you got your in maybe you're a titty streamer maybe you've got like a low cut shirt or whatever and there are people giving you money um how do you know that on its own with the situation you just yeah. described just looking hot i don't think that's exploited okay so then what is the, what where, where do you draw the line i think that's where we can get i to think the if you're this. like i feel like this would be a good point to sort of wrangle the conversation and highlight the difference between someone being manipulative for money versus a pretty person being pretty and getting cash for it maybe outflanking him on concern for men while showing how men facilitate the environment that hurts them the most i try that i try that Yeah, I think it does, anti-corporatist. I'm still being real nice, in my opinion. You're giving him the chance to clarify instead of running with what he said? Yeah. You got me sushi? Would you like it now or after this segment? <gasps> I would love it now. Okay, hold on. I need to go to the bathroom, so I'm going to go get the sushi, and we'll continue this while I have some sushi. Yes, that's right. I'm going to be doing the parasocial thing of eating on stream, because that's one of the parasocial things I have to do because of how long my streams run. So I'll be right back. Give me a second. Bathroom and sushi time. Talk to each other in chat and don't go anywhere because this stream still got a lot more content coming. We ain't even halfway done. This is the, the I'm gifting you all with the gift of content this week. Stay comfy. Little pink chopsticks. Look, they're little pink and gold. All right, let's continue watching the debate, everybody. It isn't actively like talking no or flirting with going specific on here people in chat. Um, and like, I, I don't know how to give a specific example, but I think if you're engaging with specific people, I think that's where you can start to enter into exploitative territory. Okay. Like sitting there looking hot is not exploitative, okay. but if you're like literally talking to people. But we can acknowledge that a lot of them, that there's a fuckload of women who are just sitting there and God looking hot it. who get treated as though they're 
Yeah, and that's wrong. But right, that but that's really that wrong, though, right? Like, and that's a lot of there. right. But but would, do you think that a majority of women online are like purposely not even targeting close to a majority? Yeah, no, okay. obviously. So not. then I would argue then that much like we've been talking about this entire time, the, the pre existing societal problem would be with a society which with a society that normalizes um, mm. that assumption being placed on women to that degree, which they do. Basically, I mean, I um, I, can, I can't I even tell you the number of conversations that, that people I've amazing. had being angry as fuck about. X I would titty love that streamers. Slice of onion. I mean, they put all kinds of people like as, as titty streamers. I've heard all kinds of fucking people called titty streamers. I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah, and I'm like, hundred percent. But, but, but you know what? I never see. I never see anybody. Yeah. I never see anybody it's, say the same thing about is, men who who have really parasocial relationships with their audience. Yes. So sexism is always is always going to be a much larger problem than the exploitation of talking about. But it still does exist. Like there are plenty of streamers yeah. out there who mm -hmm. are hot and. Who, con who flirt with their moderation team and imply that there's a possibility that people on their moderation team could have a relationship with them. Meantime, they were married the whole time. <laughs> like uh, this sounds that like kind a of thing is, example or something. Um, yeah, I think it, I I might hmm. be wrong with the name, but I'm pretty sure this was Amaranth. I think I could be entirely yeah. wrong here, but I remember there was big drama where um, it was revealed that um, the the streamer had a husband and like people were upset. And at first, um, I was like, oh, this is pretty dumb. Like people mm -hmm. were just people are just being dumb horny idiots but when you actually looked into it like there were a few people not like all of lsf or whatever but there were a few people that had legitimate grievances because she had like kind of led them on in dms okay. and stuff and like like called people like cute and being pretty flirty with people um despite See, i just think that i think that the, right. um, so, so the like it's, it's the standards standard. that are held between it's women and fun. men online are like ridiculous like obviously completely slanted like if somebody will like send a picture of themselves to a woman and she's like oh you look cute haha -ha, bye then they'll be like oh she was leading me on like all right this is where it gets really spicy like, she was wanting me like she was like you know and this keeps happening too like um i don't know like i've seen so well, many i don't know if like, that's I, I mean right like i don't know i feel I mean, like this is like it's so predominant i mean what's that I mean, wait, wait, wait. do you think that like wait do you think that if somebody like it, like hold on this is an interesting question because like i don't i don't know where you're coming from yeah, on this yeah. entirely I mean, that but... could easily be seen as pretty flirty wait know? just saying someone is cute okay literally if that's the only thing that they've ever said to you um then probably not okay. but like in a greater context absolutely that could be flirty mm. see because i feel like a or lot of i feel like such. i i'll be completely honest with you i feel like there's a lot of guys who will take any positive thing that's said towards them by a woman as an a, again as an invitation um, well for the reason action. they do that is because men don't get compliments ever so the only time uh, people are going to be complimenting men is probably if they find them okay but now this sounds like you're this, this sounds is like absolutely this is wait, wait, this sounds true. yeah but this sounds like wait a second this sounds again like you're you're circling the world world into ultimately pinning this all on the victims of their of their assumptions and that's what my concern was with the original sound. meme that's what my concern well, was I mean, here the, the and, and it seems like at each point though compliments right like that's oh, wait, the, wait, that's the cause wait, of that is phenomenon. not wait that's not the that's not the only problem here like that is a part of it for sure. the cause so the, the problem we're looking at is men reading in too much to compliments yeah by like not so done here I state it. Listen to me again here. I just want this to go down on the record. Sorry, but listen to me here, okay? So that is not. Wait, that's not the. That's not the only problem here. Like that is, is a part of it for sure. The cause. So the the problem we're looking at is men reading in too much to compliments. Yeah, by like not just that. Like yeah, but yes, men men reading too much into everything with women. Like to the degree that. Hold on, let me go my back. Concern to was bit. with the original meme pinning this. Here we go. Sounds like you're, listen to me. Like absolutely, this is wait, one thousand this sounds, percent true. Yeah, but this sounds like. Wait a second. This sounds. Again, like you're you're circling the world world into ultimately pinning this all on the victims of their of their assumptions, and that's what my concern was with the original meme. That's what See? my concern well, was I mean, here. The, the and and it seems like at each men point, don't though, get compliments, right? Like that's oh, wait, the, wait, that's the cause wait, of that this is phenomenon. not wait, that's not the that's not the only problem here. Like that is a part of it for sure. The cause. So the the problem we're looking at is men reading in too much to compliments. Yeah, by like not just that. Like yeah, but yes, men men reading too much into everything with women. Like to the degree that like women have to women yeah, feel it, like they're in prison in their positive own society. interaction, right? Yeah. Um I would say the cause of that is going to be the fact that men don't get positive interaction in general. So anything that they get, they're going to overreact to. I think that's the, but in our that's society, the cause of the problem. I don't think it's fair to lay the blame on men when Oh, I mean the but cause of I it. don't think it's just men. I mean, I do have a huge criticism. Fifty-five minutes in, I am not baiting him. We're just having a conversation, and he drops the take that it is women's fault for not giving men positive attention. That all of this is the root of all of it, right? Can we be can we be clear, like for the record, once and for all, on this? Fifty-five minutes with zero spice, zero spice. 
so far. Look, I just want to be, I just want everybody to see for the record. 55 minutes, zero spice so far. And now here's where we are. All I've been trying to do is figuring, is figure out what the fuck the meme was saying. Okay. Let's continue. Critique. I mean, I'm a feminist. I have a very strong critique of the way that patriarchy um, operates in our society. And I think patriarchy is incredibly harmful to men. And I do think it's largely perpetuated by men who mostly powerful men. And it's perpetuated by everybody. I mean, it is, That's but I think that though. it's, but I mean, like much like systemic racism. Women aren't giving men compliments either. Like, well, be honest. but no, they're not. Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second before you, I mean, like before you get too worked up about that, um, like there is like we've just acknowledged that if women give a compliment to men, they could be the victim of stop being stopped. This is normal occurrence. Like again, we, uh, well, hold yeah, on, hold on. And let, let obviously the man is at fault there. Well, yeah, but, but you do, wait, 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 but you realize though that that has a freezing effect on all women. If women know that there's a very good chance that if they pay any attention to a man, that man will take it as license to pursue them sexually. That has a freezing effect on um, all women. Sure. And that ha that's a problem that needs to be fixed by men. That's not a problem that can be fixed uh, by this women. Is a, this is a, another chicken and the egg thing. It's not chicken like, and egg though, because if this, no, this it is, is. A, no, no, it is not. This is a culture that is perpetuated by the people who currently yeah, hold but the system original power. cause is that men don't get compliments the, the, if they see yeah, anything. That's not the original no, cause. No. That's see, not the original cause. No, wait, do you Odong, Odong, I appreciate I really appreciate your feedback here, but he just said the original cause is that men aren't getting compliments. So I didn't twist it. I I I, I, I honestly I appreciate you pushing back on me. I really really do. But come on. That's he just said the original cause just here. We just heard it. I just want to be clear, okay? That's all. Do you think that? Though? Do you think that? Wait, do you think that for all of history, women have never given any attention to men? Because that's simply not true. Okay, for all of history, no. Yeah. But like, so generally, men are not complimented. No, that's yeah. But that's in our for... society. We have a hyper patriarchal, hyper toxic masculine society that give that, yes, that puts but women on. The patriarchy on... is reinforced by everyone. Not the just patriarchy men. isn't. But mm -hmm. okay, but the patriarchy isn't reinforced by everybody. That's like saying that racism is reinforced by black people. It isn't. That's not the same. That's not how well, it works. I mean. It can be though. Well, yeah, but it's ways, not. Yeah. But it's not. It's not equivalent though. We know that powerful white people in positions of power. It's not equivalent, but that doesn't mean that it's not a part of it. And also, I don't know if you okay. can compare patriarchy to Fair. systemic racism. Oh, or oh I think you absolutely can. And I would argue. Wait. Oh, absolutely. Like this is one area where I absolutely think you can. Um. Uh. Like women have been like like when we're talking about patriarchy, patriarchy outlives nearly every other institution of of, of oppression in our entire in our entire planet. Do you know how many societies for how long they've sure, had women somebody. in subjugated roles? Like this is, I mean, we're talking um, like functional slaves, like women, like it's really bad. Yeah, but we're not yeah. talking about, we're not talking about like material patriarchy. We're talking about social stuff. No, which but, is but, but so wait, separate. but social, they're not separate. Social patriarchy absolutely empowers. Wait, wait, what do you, what, what, what do you think keeps women out of STEM? Do you think it's just like women don't like science or do you think it's the fact that they're not even given the opportunity to ever study science, that they're, that when they go into the field, they're treated horribly, that there's so few of them that when they go in there, they, they have like like 80 percent reporting of severe feelings of imposter syndrome like imposter syndrome is literally a massive problem among women in stem because they're mistreated and talked down to and they're not okay. mistreated um, as norm. but for, for everything you're gonna give me i'm gonna give you like a thing about like men like why don't men go to college period why are men underperforming wait. um in like math and science subjects in elementary and middle and high school um like wait that's not you can you can draw these stories about literally but everything we're, but we're talking about what 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 starts the problem and where and how it's and how it's perpetuated and when we're looking at how these things are perpetuated patriarchy is largely perpetuated by those who hold power in patriarchy okay AKA cool. Ziggy, um men. i don't know about these specific men. examples i'm wait, wait, wait. pretty sure how? that men men not being complimented is going to be i mean if not if not more perpetuated by women not complimenting men at least in equal parts now i like, will say my chat right now My chat right now is very, very, very much on the insult train. And I, excuse me, I was not. I did not. The chat was super, super, super mad. I love you all very much, but you all were calling him an incel here. Everybody. But not me. I didn't. Men not getting complimented on their physical appearance ever is definitely not going to be to blame something that's that, perpetuated though. by powerful men. Wait, you really don't? You really don't think that's the case? You don't think that people like? Uh, wait, 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 hold on. Let me give you, wait, wait, let me, wait, let me give you an example of this. I can, I can give you an example that proves you wrong right away. The best example of this is Harvey Weinstein. 
Harvey Weinstein is a very, very powerful man, a very rich and powerful man, a par very powerful, rich white man who regularly used his power oh, and yeah, strength whoops. to do exactly that, to pursue women against their wishes to literally, I mean, he literally sexually abused multiple people. He is literally the cause of this. He is one of the people who uses that power. What does this have to do with men not getting confidence? What do you mean? Wait, it absolutely does. Because if, if men in power are normalizing using power to make women unsafe, to pursue women at so, so much as the little drop of a hat, if that's the norm for women, women will learn that they can't say things to men without be putting themselves in danger of severe harm. Harm much worse than not getting a compliment. You, but not all men are in positions not of power. All, yeah, but not all men are like that. But we do recognize, you do recognize that there are, like, for example, women who get a lot of attention are, like, nearly every woman that I know has been either stalked or sexually, um, or, like, severely sexually harassed at some point in their life by a man that they did not feel that they were leading on at all, that they didn't even do anything. Sometimes it's completely unprovoked. But usually you have one. I've experienced this, and I'm gay as fuck. I've experienced, I've told you all the story. In fact, I think I talk about it here. In conversation, that person keeps pushing and keeps pushing, and you can't tell them no because they get angry. That's anyway, like a, a we'll universal. Okay. Like, well, and if, then maybe don't so, compliment strangers. Maybe compliment your friends. Well, maybe. but what if it's your friends that do that? Because that's what happens to a lot of people. That well, is what, I mean, and there we go. We're back to the meme, right? Which is the whole thing about like, oh, well, look at how complicated friendship has to be for women. Okay. No, that's a fair nitpick. Here, I'll put that in my notes. I'll add that on there. I'm going to put that in my notes, Elac. That's fair. That's a fair nitpick. That's a fair nitpick. Because they might get stalked or harassed. Now, not every woman's going to have this happen, but, well, actually, most women in our society have had some experience of this at some point or another. So it is really, really bad. It's really, it's, it's actually, really, like, like, and it's, it's an epidemic. Like, it's all over the place. And that's why this whole conversation that we've had has centered well, around Well, yeah, but it's an epidemic in both ways. Like, if you've ever seen any fucking Twitter thread about, like, well, when, if you, like, hey, men, when was the last time you were complimented? And it's mm -hmm. just a fucking flood. It's a deluge. It's a fucking well, yeah, monsoon well, what's... of people saying, well, one time in the sixth grade, a girl said my shirt looked cool. Yeah. True, Do you think that if we were looking to, if we were trying to take an approach that wasn't just about, like, you know, blame the wands or whatever, wouldn't we want to look at what actually causes that? And what actually causes that? Is yeah, and that... I think what... Well... What I think, what do you causes, think causes the behavior of men looking into compliments too much is the fact that they don't get any. I think that's the uh, cause. So it's women's fault is what you're saying. And it has nothing to do with the fact that our society has been... Single wo wait, individual wait. single woman's fault? No, do I think it is um, probably more attributable to women as a class overall? Probably. Because so, that's compliments interesting. are generally going to be intergender rather than intragender. Hmm. It's interesting you should say that because, um, like I said, at least especially here in America... One hour and two minutes in, I still am very patient with him. I can't speak for the entire world, but here in America, um, women haven't had rights for very long. Like, women have literally not had the ability to do anything. And in fact, like, I mean, hell, it's 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 actually ridiculous how, how, how out of whack it is. And women have barely even just started to attain equality. We still don't even have, like, there's still a pay gap. There's still a huge representation gap. So this is these are huge parts of our society, and yet it's still... Yeah, wait, and yet, wait hold on a second. We're getting there. And yet it's still somehow supposed to be... It's some... Tyler... how women's fault that women as a whole need to compliment men more and not that men the ones who statistically predominantly like by a large margin hold the most power in our society both societally economically and in many cases physically they hold that much power that it's the men who then need to address that culture that men need to go oh shit this culture the way that we make women live yes the way that we and that's another thing too longo schlongo uh, I, I was nicer to him because I assumed he was a leftist. If I was having this conversation with a right winger, I would have fucking blown up and everybody would have loved it. Everybody would have loved it. If this was a, if this was a clearly defined right winger and I blew up on him here, everybody would have loved it. Let's be real. But I agree here. We're trying to learn how to improve. So I'm going to try and figure it out make women means that none okay. of us get compliments because all the women are too afraid that we might fucking stalk them and sure it's not fair for me as a man uh, to inherit that any more fair than it is for a woman to inherit it but nonetheless I'll it is my men right now. who have the ability to end this particular cycle right well if they're the ones who've the been for too. all for all of mem for all of uh you know history within generations um like for for generations men have held all types of power in society everything from religious to societal to economic all types of power have been have been given to men, so they can they can use that power. That's what I'm saying. There's actually very big stakes for women. Oh, it looks like uh, the site I, I might think be back you up. Can, like, use... All right, 
let's get back into the content, everybody. Shall we? Shall we? Let's get back into the content. This makes me so happy. Here we go. Power plays a significant also, why the role fuck don't men why don't, why don't men compliment men? Why the fuck don't men compliment men? Isn't that another big problem, too? Don't you think that maybe if men paid each other more, a little bit more compliments, if they were a little bit more kind to one another, I then tried, maybe they really, would I tried. No, it wouldn't solve I tried, and White would not accept it. I did try. Let's I literally go. tried. I, I literally tried. Problem of men reading into women too much, because if Damn. women still aren't giving out compliments, it wouldn't help that problem. Though. See, this was my concern with this meme, is that I felt like it was betraying a... Wait, do you disagree with that? With what? Sorry? Do you disagree? If if men gave each other compliments, that's great. Oh, but I it think it would solve the problem of men reading into women's compliments. Oh no no no! I think it would be huge. I think it would actually have a huge effect. And the reason why I believe this, and now of I course, think these are completely separate. I think I even don't if think every so. every man was to give all of his male friends one compliment a day, literally every day yeah. of every week of every so month. So wait a minute. Okay? So that wait a minute. That would not shape. That would Sorry, not I'm still like basking in this. Having sight is so much easier. My setup is so much easier to manage when I have sight chat readable here. I can shrink my own camera down as small as I want, and I can look at Twitch and YouTube while not having to fuck around with Discord. I, I love, look, I, there's a lot of things I like about Discord, but it's very difficult. It's very difficult to, uh, to bring Discord into OBS, and this is so fucking nice. It's so fucking nice. Yeah, we're down to only 500. Uh, I think it's this. I don't know if the bot. I think the bot is having issues right now, but don't worry. The bot, I Fix think, is having issues. So it's not too much into women's compliments. Wait, we revealed something here, Discrep King, which is that it has nothing to do with the compliments. It has to do with attention from women. And my point is that your well, argument compliments assumes... and positive attention from women are synonyms. No, wait a second. That's not the same thing. Yes. What, no, no. What you're saying now, Thank you, your Rex. argument that you're making right now is that it has nothing. We to need do with only training. one Please. like on YouTube to have 420 likes. Please. Please deliver the 420th like. It has nothing to do with compliments. Thank you, Bricks. It has nothing to do with with um, men's uh, men having a, a you know ego problems or anything. It's that women so aren't pog. giving men enough attention. That is what this boils down okay. to. And that was my I concern. Right positive now. attention yeah. or literally. It'll, okay, it'll be back. What? What do you think a compliment is? What? We, we, I'm sorry, but what, what is your point with this? They're not like a compliment is is when you when you. This is when you're cutting off my this own in chat like a, in like a weird way where you're trying to no. say that, you're trying to paint me as saying that women owe men attention. Well, you are saying when, that's like, what you're arguing. Yeah, it's fucking awesome, isn't it, Squidader? 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 We have an awesome community. Just saying, I'm trying to point that out to you. That that's what you're arguing. Your argument says because I asked, I I said I think that it would make a big difference if if men aren't receiving compliments ever. Mm, maybe. Then it would actually make Why? a big difference if men who. You know what? I'll add ye. Just for you. I'll add ye just for you. That is my gift to white. I'm adding ye. Only you could possibly get that. But I'm putting it on my to-do list. I'm putting it on my to-do list to add ye to chat, okay? That's only you could get this, okay? Literally, nobody else would ever be able to request this but you. If somebody makes a demonic ye, then we'll definitely put it in sight chat. Like a hundred percent. We'll put it in sight chat twice. But we'd need we'd need somebody to do that. I can't do that. I'm not artistically inclined at all. Again, Holy if we demonic. get a de demonic ye, then we will. Other than that, let's continue the content. I agree. Let's do it. Like societal, religious power in our society. If men took it on themselves to compliment one another, to build one another up, they would be less desperate for compliments from women and but then you return by it has nothing to do with that it's from women it has to come from women and that means ultimately if we're following your logic here that it is the problem in your I mind like ye. is that women but I, um aren't because i don't like ye in fact i'd go so far as to say i hate ye but if white nervosa likes ye then i'm bringing ye in that's just how it works giving enough to men do you see what you're saying? If that's, that's how you want to phrase it, then sure. No, no, wait, that's the how you're phrasing it. women are not giving enough positive attention to men in their lives. Not any random man, not no man is entitled to the attention of a random woman. But, no, but that's what it, do not how it works out when that's attention your... from the women in their lives. Yes. Mm, interesting. So, I mean, it's interesting. What what has happened in this conversation has basically been me Thank you several like, cows. To you Thank you how, so much all, for the incredibly generous gifted five tier 1 subs in Twitch chat. Thank you so very much several cows. Really appreciate that. Thank you a lot.
all the meme plays into these like societal stereotypes and doesn't really say what I think it was gonna say. But then from there on, it's been to reveal that in, at every turn, you take the uh, responsibility off of men and put it on women at every turn, even when it's objectively true. If you true. think that I do this at every turn- Well, that's what you've I done. Have... No, wait, wait, I'm just okay. saying, that's what you've done in this conversation. I'm not like mad at you or anything. I just, I'm saying that in the course of this conversation, well, because... uh, so, Elac Caval, the best, wait, is Purple E Beach on here? Is Purple E Beach on here? Yeah. Purple E Beach on, what size do you use? Because your emotes look really nice on the website. So, whatever size you use, can you tell Elac Caval? Because Elac Caval wants to make Impo Yi. So, whatever size you do, that would be great. Is Site Chat always this hype? Yep, always. Always. Ooh, emotes are fun. Oh, Soma, you can come hang out on the website too if you want to. Feel free to stay on Twitch. I'll keep an eye on Twitch as well. But the website's finally up. The website's up and it's super cozy. The site is finally up. Oh, it's so good. Site chat is always the best. That's Everything is falling back on women's men. fault. Oh. That's a like that's the thing. Some parts of patriarchy are perpetrated wait, wait, majority some... by women. Wait, and like what? Those, wait, like what? I like think what? it's safe to say that the fact that men don't get complimented by women ever, I think that is safe to put in the lap of women. Hell yeah, alien probably kid. the largest contributing cause to that. So so what you're saying is that patriarchy. Good night, Sparrow Gal. Thanks is, for coming by. You know, the rule of men, men being the predominant members of society, seen as the most important, the ones who need to be attention to, need to be given more you attention. You are conflating a lot I'm of not things. conflating when it. I this say is very simple. attention from women in their lives, I do not mean any random Thank man you for the tier one sub, not a any random woman. What I mean is men do not get enough positive attention, mm -hmm. or as I would put it, compliments. They do not get those from the women oh, yeah, in their the lives. Cringe. I'm Key glad that. phrase here is in their yes, lives, please, meaning so. the please, friends Lena, that they do. already have, yeah. or their girlfriends, or their mm. mothers, or it their sounds, sisters, it or sounds whoever to me, the fuck. It sounds to me like the, the problem is that the, the stakes at the table are uh, women, if they, don't give, if they don't give a compliment to a man, then at worst, that man doesn't get a compliment. But if they do, it could be, it's it's very, in fact, it's quite likely, it's a very reasonable thing Purple for a woman to assume that if she, I mean, you literally said it yourself here that you thought that cute, saying somebody looks cute is flirty. Like that's like- that Yeah, was, because to the average man it is. That's how yeah, starved but do you for not attention see, most men are. Do you not see where this problem is though? That this is a problem with men. This is a problem with men. They're, men are the ones who are putting women in a dangerous position, which leads to them. It's like, it's like saying like, um, like, like I'm trying to complimenting come up with... your friends, complimenting your male friends should not put you in any danger. But guess what? But wait, friends. but see, here's the thing. Well, it's funny you say that, but it's it's really funny that you're that callous to that approach. But the fact of the matter is that most women can't do that because of the way our can't society have is. Male friends. Yes, that's what we were talking about with all of this. And that's wait, 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 wait. wait. Fault? Yes, it is. It absolutely. Really? Now, now I don't mean I don't mean that like it's all men's fault, but in patriarchy, where men are are in control by by and large, they are oh, in control weird, of most of society, most of the economy, most she of religion. Her. It is up this to is them. This is not how we analyze oh. systemic problems. Oh, it absolutely and is. Oh, it absolutely. What do you mean? No, what are you talking about? Not. If we were to transfer this to racism, you, you're saying that every white person is responsible in some is like. You should feel personally at nope. fault. No, nope. that's brutality, not what I said at all. Which actually, is a ludicrous that's not what I've said. No, if we were to transfer this directly to race, it would be that. Um, can you imagine if there was somebody who came on my show and argued that black people need to be doing more um, instead of white people? The white people who are doing the racism. That's what you're, well, you're I mean, taking yeah, that position. Are, you're essentially arguing. People need to work on. Yeah, but you're essentially arguing racism, that, that black people need to do more. They should just do more things to make white people happy. That's the argument you're making here. That's the equivalent argument because you're saying that women um, need to do more things no, to appease the patriarchy. I'll change that, Benjamin. Just DM me what you want. Yeah, but no, these aren't disanalogous. You made that analogy. You just did that. Like I didn't bring up the racism thing just now. You did. You said that you drew that parallel and the parallel would be very I similar. I drew it to illustrate how dumb it is to analyze individual relationships through the view well, of then you were impugning problems. your own argument. Systemic patriarchy existing should not preclude you from having male friends. That's oh, insane. of course not. But it does. But guess what? It doesn't. What instead it does, it doesn't preclude most women don't re withdraw from being friends with men. What they ignore, what they end up happening is they end up doing exactly the same thing and suffering as a result. So, for example, like I said, um, and I mean, you can look up the stats on this. The stats are very available on the on the on the um, how common stalking, sexual harassment, the sexual stats are assault. also there on how often men blow their brains out because they're depressed. Yes. And guess what? But you but guess what? I think that, you know, for a fact that. Um, the suicide rates among men is not even close to only caused because women don't pay them compliments enough. It's a big part of it? No, I don't.
Are you are you are you memeing at this point? Yeah. Scrub King. Okay, you are memeing. Okay, that was a meme. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, self esteem issues that stem from never getting any positive attention are probably going to be a big contributing factor to people. Don't killing you think themselves. there could be like a whole lot else that is involved with that? Like, for example, um. Yeah, that's like, why I never like said it was fathers. The only reason. Fathers that's why who I said it was a reason. Like, like for example, like fathers who abuse their their male sons for being sensitive and thus thus using their position in patriarchy as a power. Purple Eb Chan, if you don't mind, would you mind? Would you send to Elac Caval on the Discord server? will you discord dm um the the size of the emotes that you make because that would be amazing we can add that to the site uh elac caval elac caval purpley beach on if you can connect that'd be amazing you should have pointed that more women attempt suicide so it seems unlikely it's due to the lack of female att att attention yeah that would be correct there seems to be an issue with firefox if, you, if you're in firefox you need to re you need to clear your cookies for the site yeah, you got to clear your cookies for the site. I agree, Exia Ross. Like, that's what I'm talking about. But, you know, we're doing this to the best of my ability once and for all. Full male social figure. That is not a... That's not... It's a huge... Wait, <laughs> what? wait. An abusive father being abusive to their child is not an example of patriarchy. Yes, it literally is. Power. Wait a second. It absolutely. No, wait. Yes. It, wait. Hold on a second. The power wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Before you, child before you, before you go power. off on this, it absolutely one hundred percent is. If when, it's an hold on. Let me let me explain. Wait. Let me explain. Let me explain. Hold on. Hold on. Let me explain. When you have a society that is patriarchal in nature, that says the dad is the is the head of the house and he gets the money and he makes the decisions and that he gets to make the calls of the household quick. which is the, the household that damn near every well okay all right all right then that was really incredible um all right holy shit just zach that was like lightning Oh, that should resolve itself. Uh, Rhodes, you should just have to sign out and sign back in. All right, I'm going to put this in the notes, and we'll get this on the website. Wow, thank you. Here we go. Here. Look at that. Look at that. It'll be called Demon. Or maybe we'll just do Ye. Holy shit. All right, we're so distracted. Can we focus now? Thank you so much. That was fucking awesome. That was so fast, Just Zach. Holy shit, that was incredible. Wow. Well, we're definitely going to get that on there. So, all right, everybody. Let's focus. Don't worry. Don't worry, Neo Phil. Don't worry. We'll get there. Okay, everybody, let's focus now, okay? Let's focus. Yes, it did. Your name change did ch did did work. Let's chill. All right. Can you timestamp it? Yes. The timestamp is 055438 right now, and you'll be able to move around. Okay. We have to keep. I have to keep kicking my own ass. Don't worry, Neo is for Phil. I'll read it. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Focusing time. Let's focus. I agree. I agree. I know, Catherine. We're going to talk about that afterwards. We have to. It has to happen. That was incredible, Just Zach. Everyone that, uh, that you can meet in America would grow up under. That they would absolutely uh, grow up under that sort of structure. I did. When Do you I think abusive mothers don't exist? Oh, no, 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 no. I think, oh, wait, I know abusive mothers exist. Promise me, I know. Okay, so but maybe what the problem is, with abusive parents isn't the patriarchy part, but just the fact that they're older and, or, you know, hold all of the financial power in the household. Or maybe, maybe because we're talking about systems, we can acknowledge that a, that a patriarchal system is on a broad level going to contribute to these partic particular things. Like, for example, if you have a society that by and large teaches women that they are to be submissive to their husband, and then their husband is also simultaneously taught that uh, he should be austere and never show his emotions because he's the leader of the house, and then he reinforces that on his children True, because he's given the most power in that society. Yeah, you're going to start to see these things. And much like with the racism discussion, it is it is, it is is absolutely legitimate to say, hey, those of you who hold dirtbag left, that is a very silly take. 
hold power stop doing the thing so like for example you might say hey white people white people who have a fuckload of power and are really rich and maybe have fa like inherited money that they um that from their grandparents who owned slaves maybe you should consider not contributing to to systemic racism maybe we should try to fix these problems but you can't you can't but just... individuals don't fix those problems well of course not but we're not just talking about behaviors individuals. will never ever 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 oh, ever then change wait then you're, you're arguing against your own point because your point is huh? that women should compliment men more as a as a class as a group yeah. individual women. well men as a class sh would 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 get more compliments the but fastest men way as wait, a, the fastest men way as a class do not stalk and harass women individual men oh do. wait a minute but they do that's the thing men as a class no. do wait a second you can't have it wait you can't have it both ways you can't say that women as a class should do x thing but men as a class don't get to be reflective of their of their of the negatives as a class men are prime the primary um uh the the by a long shot the primary um what's the word I, I'm, I'm blanking on the word uh not the victim but the perpetrators they are the primary perpetrators of stalking yeah, and, harassment and black men are the primary perpetrators of rape and murder does that mean it's cool to just discriminate against black people no that's okay, not even so close maybe to we the shouldn't same thing. be maybe we shouldn't be that's mixing not up even classes and individuals like this wait you're the one who's mixing up classes and individuals i'm no, saying no no, no, no. Yes. i have never once yes, ever have. said that women individually should feel personally responsible for men not getting compliments. What? I'm sorry, what? I have never once said that women should feel personally responsible for men not getting compliments. What I'm saying is the solution is going to require that women compliment men in their lives more. And is also going to require what else? I think that will solve the other problem. You really can't do it. You literally, you, wait, okay. Can you just be honest with me, Describe King? Do you think that like, do you actually believe- Do you think it's more likely- Wait, no, 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 hold on. Get... Wait, no, it's no, my turn on. to ask a question. Ask no, 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 wait, I was asking a question first. So wait, here, at one hour and 17 minutes, the, the actual spice begins. One hour and 17 minutes in. Turn, sure. okay. listen, we're, we're a, a egalitarian stream here, all right? Um, mm -hmm. So listen, let me ask you something real quick. Do you think- um, do, do you actually believe that that patriarchy exists, oh, or do Jesus you not think, or, or like, do you think that that? No, I I definitely think patriarchy exists. Okay, so um, if that's the case, you thank acknowledge you, comic fan. that there is an and deeply appreciate as a class, that. as a class, men hold a significant more societal power and ability to in engage. Areas. You you either believe in it or you don't. Yes, obviously no, 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 there's certain areas. I'm not saying. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm not saying that like every single there are areas man is, in which women hold more power. Like what? Just out of curiosity. Um, Ooh, um, okay, there's a big meme. Like, Damn, you can't even think of it. Me. You can't. Come on, dude. I'm literally saying it right now. Go Can ahead, you give me it. like yeah, 15 it. seconds? Sure, okay. Uh -huh. The easy go-to meme is either family courts or women and children first in disasters or the draft or any of these other examples. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In which women hold more power over men societally. Do you think they hold? Because patriarchy isn't universal. Do you think they hold more power, or do you think that when the twin like towers are falling and women get to stand at the front of the line? Yeah. I don't know if that actually happened, but yeah, I don't, I don't think that actually happened. Okay. Um, um, I don't right. know anything about the, tw I don't think anything happened with the Twin Towers, but all right. What I'm saying is, is that like, um, when there's a phone call for domestic abuse and the police show up and arrest the man, no matter what, that's an example. Oh yeah. That's definitely wrong. I mean, um, but, but you don't think that's an wait, example wait, of wait. systemic power in favor of women? No, no, not systemic power. No, not at all. How is it wait, not? wait, not it's at all. Literally... No, wait, hold on, what? hold on. Let me explain. Let me ex explain this very easily to you. It's actually super, super easy. Do you know where, do you know why that's the case? Now it is a bad thing. It is a bad Barely outcome. Men are going to be the abuser, but is that an excuse? Wait a second. Hold on a second, my dude. You have to actually understand why why this is the case. It is Demon because it is assumed mama. that mama women self cannot defend themselves at all. They are literally dehumanized, even in that. No, I yes. think the reason they rest no, no, no. I'm sorry, you're dead wrong on this. You aggressors. are you are absolutely dead wrong on this. It's because for all of society, women were taught. W women have been presented as completely powerless and needing to be saved at all times. And Interestingly, this is Do you an aspect. Hold, hold on. To get saved? Hold on. I'm sorry. What? Do you not think that women generally in like is this the mask off moment where you just like? Do you, you think men are stronger than women? Okay, this right here is another moment that everybody fixated on because I said, "Is this the mask off moment?" As a general term, like as in, is this where you fucking reveal your actual beliefs? And everybody said that this was what I was doing. Apparently, I was baiting him for an hour and 20 minutes. Now, in retrospect, since this is my critique day, do not say mask off moment 
to overly sensitive DGGers. There we go. There we go. There you go. Unironically, there's my critique for this moment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. It's very hard for me. Come on. Come on. Odadong, I understand. I know you're trying to like, you're trying to, to push back, but like, come on. I know. Well, I know. I appreciate what you're doing, but like, what, 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 come on, right? That's so unfair. Like, did I do something wrong there? Did I really, like, honestly, did I really do something wrong there by going, what is it, your mask off moment? And that was a huge fixation of the critique against me. That was a massive po focus of the critique against me on this. Do I think that I did anything wrong there? It's really hard for me to come to the conclusion that I did anything wrong there. Come on, like, is that really so out of line? needs to be handled delicately but i feel like at an hour and 20 minutes in i've been very delicate right maybe i was too delicate maybe i took this too too at an hour and 20 minutes it would come off as too judgy or presumptuous okay okay Yeah, this is another streamer. Okay. All right, let's continue. By the way, one of my main critiques on this, I already said on on when I went on to Dylan's show. That's another thing that we're going to talk about, but... Obviously insulting, sure. Okay. All right, I agree. It was not helpful. All right, I'll revise it. Do not say mask off moment if you do not want the situation to get spicier all right let's continue i mean like it, it feels a lot like she's telling men to pull themselves up by their bootstraps to fix the problem all right listen dirtbag left dirtbag left you want to come in and talk about it because, like, I, I, you've had a lot of critiques for me on this, and we're clearly, like, missing. I would like to hear your critiques over voice, if you really think that's the case. No blood. No blood. This is critique day. But I just don't agree with that characterization. By the way... Ododong, Odod, Od, Ododong, Ododong, Ododong. I always say that wrong, but I don't. Don't you know? Don't you? Don't you think I didn't notice your uh, your awesome name? I do like your name. It's fucking Pog, and I know exactly where it's from. All right, set up Discord and we'll talk. Cause I want to hear what you have to say on this because we have very different perspectives. Okay. Yeah, to a certain degree. Okay, so do you yeah. think in like, like, any like, sort but, of, like but, threatening situation, like it might make some kind of sense you are now doing wait hold on wow this is really fascinating you are actually proving my point live you are proving no, my point I'm, that I'm you really believe... not if you think i am you yes are no hold on a second mistaken. wait hold on let me explain this to you you're literally proving my my point immediately right really now. how yes, I'm because curious. you're saying you that proof? women need i'm not saying it's only men's fault i'm saying that there has to it, by because of the nature of who is most victimized men have to take control like men need to be the first start It, it's wrong to say it's men's responsibility to fix these social issues when you know they can't. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Men can do work. So can women. And remember that all of this started because Descrub King asserted 
asserted that it was women who need to start complimenting more. All right, let's continue. To be women are fragile and, and must always be protected to the degree that it is okay. You literally just said it. Not it is, always. wait, hold on. Wait, let always. me finish. Yes, you just said it is rational for them to assume that men will be the aggressor. You literally just did a toxic masculinity well, line. That's on you, no. Doomer. Yes, you did. More, of a more like Tyler what? the Doomer. But that's the same thing. You know that's exactly the same thing, right? No, oh, come being on. More of a threat that is, is the same not the thing. same as being an aggressor. Absolutely wait, wait, more of a not. threat is absolutely the same. Like, if you're saying that as it's being rational... The aggressor? Wait, wait, no, wait. No, if shot. You're, what are you talking if, about? If, you're saying... if I'm holding a fully automatic rifle and somebody's coming at me with a knife, who's the aggressor? What? That doesn't have... If what does I'm that holding a gun and someone's charging me with a knife, who's the aggressor? What does that have to do with anything? Answer the question. If I'm holding a gun and someone's charging me with a knife, who is the aggressor? Well, I don't know. Did you shoot first? If I am holding a gun and yeah. someone's did you charging shoot me at with him a first? knife, who's did the you aggressor? Shoot I'm trying to get more information. No, did I, did, I haven't fired a okay. single bullet. Well, the then gun's obviously actually... the guy rushing at you with a knife is the aggressor, of course. Okay, but who's the bigger threat? The guy with the knife who's charging at you? Really? Not the guy holding a gun? Yeah. Like, I mean, it depends what? on the context, right? Like, it de totally depends <laughs> Wait. on... Wait. Yeah, like to who, right? If you're holding a gun and somebody's charging at you with a knife and you shoot at the guy... And then the police come back and you have lowered the gun because you shot at the guy with the knife and you go, hey, hey, you're not a threat at all. I don't know what you're talking this about. Is this feels like I don't know how oh, you wait, could with wait. a straight face say that aggressor and bigger threat are the same thing. That's I mean, actually I'm crazy just very, to me. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm really confused as to what argument you're making. Okay. We were I'm talking, saying that somebody I don't know being what the you're aggressor like. Aggressor is irrelevant of how much of a threat that they pose. Wait, wait, but it absolutely wait. Hold on a second. Okay. Not at all. They're literally okay, unrelated wait, wait, wait. to I, I just want to get to the bottom. I want to get to the bottom of what you're saying. Somebody being a bigger threat. What does that functionally mean? Like in the context, do you think that in being the case being a bigger threat, having more capacity to cause harm? Okay. So do you think then, given in your little in your little um may, you know hypothetical that you've drawn up here, Logic do you think then that well, if no. if the person with the knife was charging at you and you shoot at them? Maybe you don't kill them. Maybe you shoot at them, and they back off, and the police come in, and they shoot you because you're holding a gun. Do you think that's justified? Because under your argument, wait. you're saying that because— Wait, 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 wait listen. Whoa, whoa, we are so far removed. No, 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 no. Okay, that. so this area, he was just wrong. He just fucked up. Yeah, he just fucked up. He just fucked up big time. Yeah, he's just wrong here. Like, there's nothing back and forth. He's just wrong here. You're aggressor about... versus bigger threat. No, no, no. You That's were talking. I'm talking about these definitions. Yeah, because because you no, no, no. Thank because you, you intended. Thank you, Crave. Thank you so much. I the amazing Crave. Thank you. The the biggest imp around. Thank you so much, Crave. You're amazing. Thank you so much. You've asked your, you're you've so like, you've generous like, to me, in, in, and it uh, means the you've, world to you've me. You demanded to be super, super hair splitty about these words. When my point, it's not very hair splitty. Wait, it absolutely is. I don't know what you're saying. You literally brought up this this hypothetical. What is your point here? My point is that it's reasonable to see the man as the bigger threat in a domestic abuse. Damn, scenario. nice but toxic no, 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 masculinity. No, 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 no. Yeah, he just fucked up. This is so bad. I forgot how bad he fucked up at this point. Thank you, astronomers. But we're not critiquing me. I mean, we're not critiquing to Scrub King. We're critiquing me. Sorry, I he fucked up really bad here. We gotta get no, my no, dude. Please seriously. let me finish the sentence. Please, there was a comma and there was a but. Okay. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it is not okay to assume that they are the aggressor. Um, because these are two separate things. Damn. So then, so what you just said was a non-point. It was a complete non sequitur. What you're, what you're no, saying? No, it's yep. actually an extremely valid. Really? Point. Okay. So, so what you're saying because is, I think wait, it is wait, unfair wait a minute. That so, in a domestic abuse scenario, the man is always arrested no matter what. Generally. Because he's, the threat, be the because he's the Even bigger threat, isn't he? Because he's the bigger threat, which is what threat, you were advocating for. Your arguments are like a pretzel, my dude. No, I'm not advocating okay. for yeah, that. Yeah, he's I... completely in knots here. He's I totally, he's should... totally pretzel. He has no idea what he's arguing anymore. Yes, we. Well, no, because we'll we'll watch that just for fun, Razzle. But it, yeah, arrest the biggest threat. I think you should arrest the aggressor. Okay, so hey, when we talk said... about why men Sorry, are arrested all the time. It's because they're seen as the aggressors. They're seen not just as the aggressor, but they're seen both they're as, seen as both, and an aggressor. But they yeah. aren't seen as the aggressors by default, which is okay. incorrect. You wouldn't be mistaken for assuming that, but no. Correct. Yeah, but you do realize but they that are the, the reason, bigger threat wait, in almost wait, every situation. Realize, they are going to be the bigger threat, but that doesn't you do mean realize, you're though, that those things are very closely tied. That people who no, are no, not at all, if, actually. Oh Some, my God. Somebody being a threat has literally wait, nothing wait, to do with real? whether or not they're the aggressor. I mean, wait, I agree. I agree. It has a lot to do. Yes, I think that getting lost on the semantics is 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 that's a good critique here i if we're again we're critiquing me today i should have avoided letting him get to the point where 
I should have controlled the convo better to not allow it to derail into weird semantic bullshit. And I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that, Cortilla. Thank you. I should have I was I'm the host. I should have controlled it better. Exception. When you have low information, if you have an assumption that someone is a threat, I mean, this literally happens. Like this this actually has a direct parallel with racism. This is a direct parallel with racism. So do you think yep. it's like good that police officers will just arrest the black guy by default? No. Or? You're arguing okay. that. So you are arguing that. Like you don't even know your own arguments. What I'm saying is that if you if you have a societal standard that says that somebody else is the biggest threat and that is that is accepted, then when people are making snap judgments, they're going to bring those prejudices in with them. And that's going to lead to these things. And what I'm talking about in the context of the original conversation, before you went on this random tangent about some other bullshit, is that the assumptions that men have absolutely um, with Reamer. regard to all Again, of this. Again, I'll restate because I know we got a lot of new people here. We got to, you know, everything switching, you know, as we've been going for a long time. If you're here, you're allowed to just enjoy the show. You're allowed to think I blew the fuck out of any of these people. But me, I'm here to get better. So I'm going to be working on critiquing me, but you all are allowed to enjoy whatever the fuck you want out of this, okay? You can think I'm a dumb shit. You can think I won every single one. I still think I did pretty good on these, but I'm here to improve myself. Don't worry, Reamer. You're allowed. Just I'm just making it clear so that everyone doesn't feel like, uh, uh, um, you know, required to do things doesn't actually lead to systemic power for women in any way women are not empowered huh? women are not empowered by the fact that men get uh, okay wait so if if one group no, wait, of you people literally are systemically you literally didn't even let me finish no no, no. i just want to i want to run you those little, these little hoops real quick okay so like if you have one group of people right and they're systemically disempowered right yes there's some system in place yes that makes them have less power uh -huh. right would that make the other group of people have more power yes Okay, so then, like, by let's and say large. well, like, I guess it would depend. So no, no, right? let's say, let's say, if black people generally, like, uh -huh. whenever there's a crime, uh -huh. they get arrested like more often, regardless of if they're the perpetrator or the victim. They just arrest the black guy instantly. That would be like systemic disempowerment. Wait, hold on, right? I'm, I'm getting confused. And then, no, 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 let me let me just walk you through the whole thing, okay? Yeah, so I think black you're right. I see, I see what we're get doing. arrested Clear by default catcher. whenever there's a uh, yep. phone call to the police, right? That would be systemic disempowerment for mm -hmm. black That's people. That's another thing and I can note. The inverse of that would be anybody who's not black would be systemically empowered, right? In this particular example, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know that that would actually be an empowerment. It would just be the absence of it. Thank it you very be, much, I mean, Big Orange we Jew. I appreciate that. I think I'm a good debater too, but I always want to get better. Is this person I'm debating a friend? No, just a just an acquaintance, somebody I've I've been on a show before once or twice. Talking about this, it would depend largely on like whether it's white police, right? As far as whether that was systemic power. When we're talking about women, <laughs> women aren't granted a systemic power by not being by not being arrested. They're literally I mean, seen. Wait, they're literally seen. Yeah. Hold on, wait. I should have shut this down. I I wrote up that I should I should consider a strategic topic change change. They wait, are. okay, okay, dude. All right, all right, enough, enough. All right, this is the like fourth time that you've interrupted me when it was my turn to talk. I'm having enough okay, of this, sorry. and I'm getting I'm to sorry. the I'm getting to the point where like if we want to go into the real memes, like I can get mean because this so far has been like an incel hole, like rabbit rabbit hole. But like we can get there. If <laughs> really? Getting, yeah, it has been. And if we're gonna start getting if we're gonna start getting into the interrupty, like really like trying to do the donkey thing, I promise you, I will beat you. Um, but that's now, okay. By the way, for the record, for the record, I said this whole thing. This whole thing has been an incel rabbit hole. Now, he took that and he claimed explicitly that I called him an incel a whole bunch. That was spicy. That was spicy. But I think it was fair. However, I recognize that saying the word incel at all was like a trigger word for the bees. So, I am going to put this on my list of self-critiques that using the term incel is unavoidably controversial for people like this it is unavoidably controversial and i need to be more careful however let the record show that everyone lied when i when they said that i directly called him an incel i never did like i was more interested in having it like a like an interesting probing into your meme but as we dug deeper i just keep finding all these further incel memes 
So let's get let's get to the point in this. What I'm talking about right here with regard to this is that women are not given societal respect. In fact, they're seen as too weak to possibly be the one that's wrong. Now I will agree that in the very micro, in the like individual circumstance, a woman could potentially take advantage of that to her advantage. But that doesn't mean that there's a systemic empowerment because when we're talking about systemic issues, it actually I'm not debating conservatives right now. I always like to. But yeah, matters what the reason no, behind no. those issues are. I'm asking for critiques today. So don't worry, be critical. Just, you know, are. And then the example that you used where you're talking about, oh, well, black people get arrested instantly um, by the police. There's not even, that's not even the same reason. The reason why black people are, are the implication is clear. Is sure, but that's his fault, right? We're dealing with that's on DSK. him. TBRH this is gender rep reparations for having to deal. <laughs> Thank you so much for that incredibly generous twenty dollars. Let me let me read that. This is gender reparations for dealing with DSK. He has bad attitudes and bad arguments, and Destiny backed him so hard it was grossly irresponsible. I'm concerned for its impact on this kid. Ah, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. I will. will we will go over the post, okay? Thank you so much for the incredibly generous the $20. Because we have really a racist appreciate that. Police you make this shit possible. That has, that has justified this type of absurd r discrimination. And when we're talking about women versus men, we're talking about a completely different dynamic. So these aren't parallel. Mifinity? Mifinity? When I was on Vosh the other night, Vosh gave me credit for how much people fucking hate my guts. Do you see what I'm talking about? Um. Or were you just not paying attention? Um. To be honest, when you said that, like, it doesn't necessarily systemically empower one group when another is disempowered. I kind of stopped listening. Because okay, all right. Like, well, I can see. I can see. I see. Yeah, see? And this is where I actually get spicy, and that's because he literally just openly said that he stopped listening to me. See what's the thing. So let me just let me just summarize. I mean, I mean, let me just summarize you your argument back. Let me just summar summarize. If you lower well, one you've gotten group to the point. People. No, all right, my dude. Listen, you've gotten really fucking disrespectful since you came on here, and this was interesting. <laughs> Wait, no, it was super interesting because I okay. came on hoping to question you in good faith, and the further that we I went mean, on, you called me an incel. I, I just called you an incel after you interrupted me about four times, and I'm not gonna lie. At this point, and by the way, I lied. I was wrong. I was. I didn't even call him an incel. I was being charitable to him. I was wrong. And the whole thing is I went back and watched it and realized I didn't even call him an incel. Big mistake on my part. Big mistake on my part. Misrepresenting my own position. That's a big one. Accidentally misquoted myself. That was actually a huge fuck up for me. Is increasingly seeming like you are more incelly than I thought originally because I came oh, in originally okay. in like I came in with, with literally 100% good faith but after interrupting me and now you're doing the smuggling and now you just are straight up tuning out in the middle of when I'm talking to you and, and thinking that makes you feel good it actually really yeah 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 it yeah that's why that's why I put that on the critique list uh uh lamage oats feels really fucking weird and i'm not gonna lie okay. this is something i encounter pretty yeah, self cia and, mama. and it does play into that sort of um it does kind of play into that sort of incel -y kind of bullshit doesn't it that you would just think that oh i'm just gonna tune out while i'm talking to this woman we're talking about gender issues i'm just gonna i tuned out when you did this you ha -ha. think i called him a, an incel does saying that we went on an incel rabbit hole does that really does that really mean calling him an incel i don't know i don't know llama goats oh I misread that. Is that? It's. Im I mean, it's kind of implied, but it's like. I don't know. Is it? Yeah, but that's different. It insinuates he has incel ideals, but that that's not the same thing, right? It's flying close to the sun. Okay, but I want to be honest about this. Let's let's talk about this. I want to talk about this because, the whole the whole reason, um, hold on. Well, there's a lot of controversy here. Let's let's think about it. Okay. Let's let's try and figure it out, okay? If somebody is if the thing that bothers people when you call somebody something is that you're essentializing them, right? I don't know. Also, well, we'll talk about this after. Let's get back into it. We'll think on it a little more. Smuckle, 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 and then I'm going to interrupt you when it's your turn. <gasps> yeah, that's a little You made your own yee? 
What? The Posadas John? That's awesome! We have an alt Yi! Thank you, Posadas John! I gotta save this. Here, let me put this in the in the notes. Thank you, Posadas John. <gasps> we have a backup Yi! We got uh oh. Oh shit, that broke. It broke. The link broke. Oh fuck. Hold on, I gotta copy it. Now I can put it over here. Hold on. Posadist John Yi. And then we got the Just Zach Yi. There we go. Excellent. All right, let's continue. My dude. Thank you. So, um, for sure, uh, we can we can keep memeing like this, but let's be honest. Your argument is more or less that men have no culpability in any of this. You regularly were very, very, very liberal with your I with your. You were very. Um, I'm still talking. You were very, very liberal with your use of the terms titty streamer, and then you backed off like six different times, backpedaling on what a titty streamer is. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's fair, Soma. Yeah. Yeah, I probably should have said something like, I feel, no, I feel like, okay, if I said you're doing an incel here, he totally would have interpreted that badly. It was close to the line, but still. Okay, I see. I see. Why? What it sounds like to me is like you have a problem with women. And you think that it's it's like the women's place to assolage oh, the egos of men so that men won't stalk and rape them, which is what actually happens in our society at a ridiculously shocking rate. And you're unwilling to say, damn, maybe there's a there's a problem with our patriarchal male driven society that men need to address. Maybe if men. And you're banned. Bye. And treated each other with a little bit more kindness. If I had said misogynistic, he would have lost his shit even harder. Can you imagine if I said that he was being sexist? He would lose it. Maybe if men... Yeah, boy to boy, I do think he was doing an incel in fairness. I mean... Yeah, right? If Do you wish you could redo the Destiny debate? No. What would I do differently in a part two? I talked about that earlier didn't um d taught each other and took the time to teach each other that hey you can't just uh you can't just assume that a woman is, if a woman says you're cute that you that you can therefore fuck that woman maybe that would actually solve some of our problems maybe if we started breaking down patriarchy among the people who benefit the most from patriarchy we could actually make some progress but you wouldn't even be willing you weren't even willing to go halfway there in fact you said that most of this is on women and so I feel like at this point, your hand I has been played. I banned them, don't worry. It's the same person. You played your hand a while ago when you were unwilling to even consider the fact that maybe men have a part, a pretty big part to play in this as well, especially considering that in the big picture, women are the bear the brunt of the blowback of all of this. Okay, um, I got a few problems with what you said. Go One, on. the only reason I used the word titty streamer is because you did. Um, so it's pretty interesting that all of a sudden I'm the one being really? liberal with the usage of it when I only used it Can after I, Lena? you did. And even when I did, true? I, I think I am. You could always look at it like when somebody calls Endernax a Nazbul. Whether it's true or not, they will flip because they're insecure. Is a, a phrase you're willing to give up knowing it will trigger them or is there a better way to say it? Yeah, I think you're right about that. Okay. Immediately clarify Good night, that Lena. What I Thanks for coming by. Always happy to have you. Their behavior. So I just like to clear that little bit up. I hate the term too, but whatever. As for the rest we of what you said, I don't think I've ever said that men bear no culpability. In fact, I think this entire fucking conversation, I have been very careful to make sure to say that these are Yeah, I don't think Internet is where knowledgeable. Multiple people can be at fault, and some of the responsibility can fall on some parties. Actually, I, I believe, if, uh, if we're clear, uh, just okay. to be clear about this, um, I believe you said that uh, women, uh, the main thing that needs to happen with women needed to start paying more compliments. Just he did say that. He did say that. He did say that. So we're clear on this. Go ahead. I think, I think yes, the main cause of this, pheno this specific phenomenon where we're talking about this one specific area of men reading too much into women's compliments, mm -hmm. I think the lion's share of the cause there is probably going to be the lack of compliments from women in general. Damn. Okay. That's what I would say. Nice. Well, um, yeah, so interestingly, uh, my concerns with the meme... As we dug into it, we're 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 demonstrating. I mean, this is about the meme anymore. Well, no, I mean, I mean, it isn't really about the meme anymore. But it's interesting that the meme that like my my and my chat's intuition on the meme was very. Please check Yum, the my epic. post I did on you on your Reddit. Thank you so much for the twenty sek. Thank you so much. Uh, please DM me a link and I will check it. Absolutely. Oh wait, I I have that one. I have that one. We're gonna watch that. We're gonna read that sek. 
SEK, we're going to be, or sorry, I'm saying the money, not your name. What was your name? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I got your name, username. Yum the e Epic. Yum the Epic. We are going to be, uh, we are going to be looking at that. We're going to be looking at that. Swedish Kronar, excellent. Don't you worry. Watch this. We've got we've got a devoted uh, we've got a devoted hater in chat. Love it, love it. Telling of the sort of worldview, which is the assumption that basically you know women owe men a fuckload, and if if women get stalked, yeah, I agree, Relayer. And harassed. No, it's I'm not a video; not... it's a post. Sorry. It's also funny that he keeps mentioning compliments from women as if every male values sexual or flirtatious attention from women, so excluding gay men. Yeah, uh, he stated that earlier. We said we were gonna we were gonna be cishet for just a little bit. Like we said that we were gonna just only talk about cishet for a while. But I agree with you. Yeah, that's oh. actually exactly what you said. Your argument is implied. Really? This, yeah, Can you actually, find me any point yeah, in which wait, I literally, yeah, unironically yeah, said or implied that yeah, women owe random yeah, men? Yeah, literally, anything? literally five seconds ago when you said. Really? That, what did yep, I say? Yep, exactly. When we, we you literally, ju you just, you motherfucking just said it. In fact, we could literally rewind this and play it back. It would be really cool if I had that ability. I don't have a tape deck, but it would be super cool. Um, you just said a couple minutes ago that when referring to this specific is issue, I agree. aka... I agree. Here I am being condescending. This is one hour and 34 minutes in, definitely being condescending. When when men um way over-assume um, what women are saying, because when a woman says, back. oh, hey, you're cute, that they over-assume that and assume that that entitles them to sexual attention, you said that the bulk of that problem falls on women. So, yes, you literally uh, made... Okay. Wait, wait, Again, getting... you literally no, made that argument... Getting... You just made no, that argument. You're Everyone the argument. just heard you make that exact argument. No, because I never said falls on. I never said anything. Yes, about you literally as did. A cause. What? I did not. That's the... I was very. Wait, wait, what do you mean? That's the exact. Extremely specific to use the word cause. Wait, what do you mean by falls? cause? So wait, uh, when you say it's caused by women, that means that the responsibility to fix it would fall on women. Yes. Not at all. That is a huge leap. Just okay. because something At is this the cause point, of something I'm... does not mean it is the responsibility of them to fix it. That is a okay, can you can you square that with what you said earlier, where you blamed, where you said it was the reluctance of women to engage in discussions about their own harassment online, and you said, well, maybe if they weren't so afraid to talk about it, the problem would actually get fixed. See, this is the thing. I You're literally retreating. Wait. never said that. Ever. Oh my in god! Fact, okay, I think I was is... extremely specifically clear oh, to say oh that sexism would god. exist without this, and that it is just an extra fuel dude, source. You, I think you, I literally said straight that. Straight up, straight up, dude. Like this is at the point where like, you're, you're just, just lying. lying. About you, that no, I no, said you are literally lying about the things that you said in this argument. We literally have the bottom. I will find you. The clip where I specifically say unprompted that sexism would exist without wait that has nothing to do that has nothing to do with what we're talking about here your position at every juncture of this discussion every single yeah he's being disingenuous I agree you boy to boy thank you I agree juncture has been to put the responsibility for solving the problem mostly if not completely no, 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 no. hold on a second it. okay you can you can squeeze around the words you can you can try and no, massage maybe. them and pussyfoot around it but what you said is that oh well if women would just do this it would solve the problem what you're doing is functionally i mean it would wouldn't it no it wouldn't not at all do you green ghost you want to come on and talk about it green ghost you want to come on and talk about it we're about to end the section do you want to talk about it Incidentally, found you through the RGR drama. You want to come on and talk about it, Green Ghost? Side, devilish face. Think? Do you how, think how that? So? Do you think that women paying men more attention in a world where men already get an incredible amount of attention from women and then also abuse that would be would really? solve the problem? Yeah. Are you, you think men get a lot of positive attention yeah. from women spontaneously mm -hmm. in a non-romantic yeah. way? Some some men do. Yep. Some men do. Some. Yeah, but Some. it's rare. And you want to know why it's rare? It's rare because men have... Wait, no, so is no, no, it no, rare or no, is it a no, lot? Nope. No. It's rare for an individual to have that type Wait, of... Wait, no, but you just said it was a lot, though. Okay, all right. Are you, are, you, are you just... I literally said some men get a lot. It's rare for men to get it. But some men get a lot. That makes a lot of sense. Get it? Like, a handful of men get a lot of positive attention. Yeah, he misheard me and wouldn't back down. I don't know trolling at this you. point? Is this like? Is this like? Your I, you idea just of... said it was a lot. No, I, no, I didn't. I said certain men do. You, I will. Dude, you literally just okay. said the what words. Is your, what are you trying to get? Okay, what men get a okay. lot of attention? I will. Right, I'll let me, send let you me a just, clip right now. Let me. Let me just. Uh, let me just.
let's try and do this again because here's what keeps happening you keep interrupting me in the middle of points and then you try to act like you got a gotcha and then i try to figure out what the fuck you're actually trying to argue and you're not arguing anything and it's making me increasingly frustrated because what it seems like you're doing is being a clown and it can somebody can somebody check on on the state of the discord you're at the moment a clown and you just can't like admit when you've like you've exhausted your debates that's fine i didn't really expect it to get this intense but i mean to a certain degree like holy shit my dude but um but on the other hand i hate it's like, that shit what is your point here what do you what tr sort of point are you trying to make we have a society where men that part is bad your first statement doesn't say some men get a lot his question was what do you think men get more do you think men get more attention than women and you said yes no i didn't i said some men do uh big lundy you can send me um you can send me your notes if you want to or you can come on it's all good oh that's just for this setting because we have yeah it normally isn't black it's just for it's just for this have normalized you can do either one big lundy whatever you prefer it, to the degree that nearly every woman you talk to and it, it's it, it, if you don't want to do a big combo i would I, you can absolutely send them to me and i'll go over them yeah let's hear what happened here we go to argue and you're not arguing anything and it's making me increasingly frustrated because what it seems like you're no what do i need to even do what do i even I okay, think I was is... extremely specifically clear oh, to say oh that sexism would God. exist without this and that it is just an extra dude, fuel source. You, I think I literally said straight that. Straight up, straight up, dude. Like, this is at the point where like, you're, you're just, just lying. lying. You're, no, no, said, you are literally lying about the things that you said earlier in this arg argument. We literally have I the will, bot on this. I will find you the clip where I specifically say unprompted that sexism would exist without... Wait, that has nothing to do that has nothing to do with what we're talking about here. Your position at every juncture of this discussion, every single juncture has been to put the responsibility for solving the problem mostly, if not completely. No, not no, no, no. Hold on a second. It. Okay, you can you can squeeze around the words, you can you can try and no, massage maybe. them and pussyfoot around it. But what you Thank said you, is that oh well if women Al would just Al do this, it would solve the problem. What you're doing is functionally I mean it would, wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't. Not at all. Do you think do you how, think how that so? do you think that women paying men more attention in a world where men already get an incredible amount of attention from women and then also abuse that would be would really? solve the problem? Yeah. You, you think men get a lot of positive attention yeah. from women spontaneously mm -hmm. in a non-romantic yeah. way? Some some men do. Yep. Some men do. Some. Yeah, but some. it's rare and you want to know why it's rare? So wait, let's go back. In a world where men already get Do you how, think how that so? No, it wouldn't. Not Hold at on. all. Do you think do you how, think how that so? do you think that women paying men more attention in a world where men already get an incredible amount of attention from women and then also abuse that would be would really? solve the problem? Yeah. You, you think men get a lot of positive attention yeah. from women spontaneously mm -hmm. in a non-romantic yeah. way? Some some men do. Yep. Yep. So right there. If you think if you think that that like I'm sorry but Yeah, but that's like you're talking about within a sentence. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Like, again, I think that I, I, I get you. I get you. I get where you're coming from, but that was in the same sentence. Yeah, but like that's saying that I should never, ever misspeak ever. Not even a slight misspeaking. It's not even that much of a si slight misspeak. That is, yeah. 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 I don't Some think it do. was that big of a deal. Yeah, but it's like, rare. I don't think there's I don't think there's anything functionally I can take there and do better besides talk better faster. He conflated attention and positive attention. Yeah, that's true. And you want to know why it's rare? It's rare because men have Wait, no, so is no, it no, no, rare or no, is it a no, lot? Nope. No. It's rare for an individual to have that type Wait, of no, but you just said it was a lot though. Okay. All right. Are you are you are you just trolling at this point? Is this like is this like I, you just said it was a lot. No. I, no, I didn't. I said certain men do. Yes. You, true uh, strictly Peppa. True strictly Peppa. Married men have wives. There's a lot of married what there's a lot of married men. Boom, female attention. It's true. Now, married men are more rare than single men. That's a really good point. I will Dude, 
You literally just okay. said the what words. Okay, what are you trying to get? Okay, what? Get okay. a lot of attention. I will. Right, I'll me, send you this just, clip right now. Let me. Let me just. Uh, hey, let me just. Welcome back, Ziggy. Let's try and do this. It's going great. Because here's what keeps happening. Back. You keep interrupting me in the middle of points, and then you try to act like you got a gotcha, and then I try to figure out what the fuck you're actually trying to argue, and you're not arguing anything, and it's making me increasingly frustrated because what it seems like you're doing is being a clown. And if you're being a clown and you just can't like admit when you've like you've exhausted your debates, that's fine. I didn't really expect it to get this intense, but I mean, to a certain degree, like holy shit, my dude. But um. But on the other hand, it's like, what is your point here? What, are you, what sort of point are you trying to make? We have a society where men have normalized it to the degree that nearly every woman by you talk way, to— and By the way, I'm sorry. Just a small moment. Just a small moment. Just a small moment. No, no, no. Exia, you're enjoyable. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? You want to see something funny? Watch this. Take a look. Hold on. I'm going to hide chat for just a second. We're going to hide chat for just a second. Look at chat right now. Look at re look at chat at the time. <laughs> oh, this is why I was looking forward to today. Oh my god. <laughs> Funny if you took the time to go watch what women are actually talking about and the problems that women oh, deal so with good. in online spaces, you might actually know this. You might actually know some of these things. Um but yeah, if you if you took that time to go figure that out, you'd find out that it's a, a <gasps> widespread issue that women receive an incredible amount so of sexual much. harassment, stalking for for so nothing, funny. even when they don't do anything at all. And when they do, they increase the risk of that greatly. And if that's the case in a society that is nonetheless pervaded by patriarchy, then at, at least we should be able to admit that at least a pretty good chunk of that <sighs> is going to have to come so from good. men coming together and changing their behavior. So what are you actually saying against that instead of like, I don't know, trying to get some weird gotchas? So if Ooh, I had 20 guess, clown combo! Oh shit! We're kind of on a different argument than the one we originally began Not really. uh, with the tweet. So I will try and condense the past hour or so. Um, okay. I should have hung, what I should have done, I should have hung up on him right when he went to go resummarize his point. Now that would have been really mean, and that would have been just. But the outcome would have been just as bad. I should have done that, and that would have been much funnier, and it would have had the same outcome. Like half hour. I'll, I'll try to condense like the last half hour. I'm um, into one point, which is that I think that the largest Boop, cause right there. of men overreacting to compliments it would have been so bad, them, faith, but it would have been funny. The largest cause of that okay. is the lack of compliments that men get primarily from women. That would be my point. Okay, so who, if that is the case, if the largest cause is the lack of compliments, then who is responsible True. for changing and fixing that problem? Um, that's a complicated <sighs> question. Hmm. Okay, do you are you just going to avoid it, or I are think you just we collectively as a society, it's kind of a dumb answer, but like we collectively as a society are okay, responsible, that's fine. I guess. Hmm. To, like, no worries, we can talk about it in the future. Foster spaces yeah. in which women feel True, more comfortable Selma, compliments I know, to but men. it would have been so think, funny. Um, it would have been so any, funny. Um, responsibility in this? Well, men are part of society, so yes. Okay, well, what's their what's their responsibility? Because you've told us what women should be doing. You've said that multiple times here. What, what you believe women should be doing for men? What do you think men should be doing? Oh, I agree. Um, yeah, K Katie Longo, I know. The, like, I'm just gonna say the same thing again. We as a society. Ah, damn, you're, you're so non-committal. So foster wait, 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 spaces in which women feel safer in order to give more compliments to men in their lives. Damn. So you're you're very willing to engage in incredible specificity with they what ran. you demand from women, but then they when it's time ran. for men, it's like, well, society needs to do this sort of thing. What should men I do? I love clowns too. Like, let's come on, get, put some spine in there and give us some some real statements. What well, should men really, do? It, okay, the, the... do you want to know one of the nicest me, one of the nicest people I ever met when I was a kid was a clown. He was super cool. <laughs> okay, the reason I can be specific is because, I mean, all that's required of women. Is to give compliments now in order to build a space in which, and, is, no, wait, wait, in which they feel so oh my go ahead, you go ahead, get no, mad go at me for interrupting please let me finish all that needs to be done to fix the problem of no compliments for men is more compliments that's an e that's an easy thing to do the hard part is making a space in which women do that more often that's the complicated part because it turns out humans are complicated mm -hmm. sociology is a complicated science okay mm -hmm. so pardon me if i can't give you specific ideas Oh shit! Oh fuck! This is this is from the, the oh my god we got logs we got receipts oh shit hold on let's get this up here uh oh uh oh over Russell strikes again 
over Russell strikes again. Let's find out. Do, 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 do. Let's find out. <clears throat> I heard that Vosh wants to moderate a round three. Let me be clear. I will never voluntarily talk to that scum fuck piece of shit demon mama ever again in my life for anything less than $10,000. She is a disgrace to progressive values and my sincere hope is that nobody ever has to listen to her voice ever again because she is an active harm to everything I believe to be good for this world. So if Vosh wants to PayPal me the fee, hit me up at PayPal, blah, blah, blah. Otherwise, I look forward to hopefully seeing that piece of human filth die in obscurity and go back to working whatever wage slave job she was at before having the brain dead idea of sharing her opinions on the internet. Da 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 I ain't dying in obscurity, bitch. I'm sorry. I'm going up, up, up. That's it. Da 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 Ba -da -ba. All right, let's keep going. All right, I think we've seen enough, though, right? We've seen enough, right? Uh... Wow. We've seen enough. Let's move on, shall we? But guess what? Wow, that's so good. I got to save that one. I've never seen that one. How did I never get that one? Wow. That's like, oh, wow. I'm going to name this Seethe. There we go. Damn. Let me, should we just read it one more time? Should we just read it one more time? Should we? I feel like we should. I feel like we should read it one more time. Just so we go through. Here's my face. Here's this. I will never voluntarily talk to that scum fuck piece of shit demon mama ever again in my life for anything less than 10,000 USD. She is a disgrace to progressive values and my sincere hope is that nobody ever has to listen to her voice ever again because she is an act of harm to everything I believe to be good in this world. So if Vosh wants to PayPal me the fee, otherwise I look hope look forward to hopefully seeing that piece of human filth die in obscurity and go back to working whatever wage slave bazinga job bazinga she was at before having the brain dead bazinga bazinga idea of sharing her opinions on the internet bazing 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 bazinga All right, everybody. But we're not done yet. We ain't done. We got another Bazinga moment. Bum 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 ba da ba da ba da. We got another Bazinga moment, everybody. Get ready to Bazinga. Get ready. It's time. Because guess what we got? We got to go through this. Because how could we ever do talk about this whole debate without reading the Demon Mama Manifesto? Which actually, I can go to the original, that way we can have it in dark mode. Because I like dark mode. I prefer dark mode. Oops, sorry. That's mean. That's mean. That's mean. Okay, all right. That's mean. Here we go. <clears throat> Let us begin. We've never read the manifesto on stream, but we're doing it today. Today we read the manifesto. Today we do it. At long last. We never did it, but we're doing it today. The Demon Mama manifesto 
Look at all those awards. People spent money on this. Yep, we just finished the Scrub King debate. There actually was a second debate, believe it or not. But let's go. This person recently posted a YouTube video, which I will not link because I do not want to give this person any internet engagement at all, whose title implies I want government-mandated compliments from females as a policy. Due to this flagrant, disingenuous, idiotic, bad faith, dishonest, scum fuck move, I have dropped any last shred of charitability or decently I had for this shit stain of a human being. Here's why. If I was anything other than an ardent believer in intersectional feminism, this conversation would have pushed me towards misogyny. At no point in this conversation did she actually acknowledge or empathize with men's struggles, not even the ones caused by patriarchy, nor did she acknowledge any of women's role in reinforcing patriarchy or the struggles it brings men. Patently false. Patently false. She has no concept of how patriarchy could have benefits for women and problems for men. Also patently false. We just watched the VOD. All in all, she's a bad feminist that has a tenuous grasp at best of the ideology she is so confident to tell me to educate myself on. Ignoring men's problems. At several points in our conversation, I would bring up an example of a struggle men face in society, sometimes due to patriarchy and sometimes not. At no point did Demon Mama ever acknowledge these problems with anything more than a passing word. Patently false. You all just saw this. And even at some points tried to refuse that those problems were valid or significant. Um, dismissed, sell, uh, sorry, responded to there is a strong cultural push to ignore men's emotional needs with to a certain degree. Yeah. I did talk about that. Dismiss self-esteem as a significant cause of male suicide. That is not true. This is patently false. There is literally no point in which this is the case. And I proved this live, by the way. I proved this live on Dylan's show, just so you know. Said that being led on or rejected romantically isn't really psychologically damaging. No, I did not. Didn't engage with men's unfair treatment in military service and disaster scenarios. I explicitly acknowledged that it was unfair. Tried to argue men's unfair treatment by police was justified. I did not. He did. I didn't bring up the fact that men have plenty of experience with crazy stalking and harassment from an obsess obsessed woman. We just didn't talk about that. Throughout the entire conversation, I had to carry the weight of acknowledging both women's and men's struggles. The fact that she was so reluctant to acknowledge any of them and outright denied some is very strange for someone who considers themselves a knowledgeable feminist. This type of behavior be leads me to believe that Demon Mama doesn't really care all that much about men's problems and would rather spend her time blaming them for all of society's ill treatment of women. Okay, everyone, good faith moment, okay? Best faith possible moment, okay? Is any of that even remotely accurate? Any. Just if there's a single piece of that that was even remotely accurate, please tell me so that I can put it in our document. Okay, let's finish this. We're almost done. Okay, we did it. Okay, part two. Here we go. Ignoring women's benefits. To mirror the previous, Demon Mama also ign often ignored benefits that women receive as a result of being coddled and underestimated in society. Uh... While this kind of infantilization and patronizing is problematic and often unwanted, denying the benefits it brings is outright dishonest, idiotic, or both. Dismiss the idea that women are saved first in disaster scenarios. I don't think that's been true since at least like the 1930s. Dismiss the fact that women are arrested in domestic abuse far less than men regardless of who is the aggressor. I did not dismiss that. Didn't engage with women's preferential treatment in military service and family courts. That never came up. We never talked about that. Dismiss the fact that women have stronger emotional support systems to deal with relationship issues. I directly addressed this. I directly addressed this and explained that that's because of other women. Women support other women. Okay. Part three. There were many times in the conversation where Demon Mama exhibited an impressive lack of knowledge or comprehension of how patriarchy operates in our society. Oftentimes, she would n needlessly implicate race or class as factors in the analysis or write out a tr misattribute the cause of some problems. 
She, she said that abusive fathers are an example of patriarchal power. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. This is, this, that is, this is, this is, that, 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 this is correct, but, but that's not false. That's not false. This ignores the existence of abusive mothers. No, it doesn't. Comically bad understanding of the word patriarchy, thinking that it literally means paternal. No, that does not what that means. Abusive parents hold the same financial and legal power over their children, regardless of gender. No, that is not true. That is literally not true. Said that patriarchy affects literally aspect of every aspect of our society. You either believe in it or you don't. Yes, it does affect every aspect of our society. Brought up Harvey Weinstein's race for some reason? No, I did not. What? I didn't. I literally didn't. Wait, what? When did I do that? <laughs> True, Soma. I mean, it happens a lot in chat, but okay. I did? A rich, powerful man, a white man? Did I? I said he was white? Wait. Is that count as bring up Harvey Weinstein, Weinstein's race? What? Just saying, wait, wait, just saying a, a wealthy white man? What? Oh, okay. Said that men's economic power, which is waning, not significantly, has an effect on whether or not women want to compliment. Okay, so maybe I did. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Maybe I did say it. Was it relevant? You mentioned him as an example of a powerful man, a powerful white man. Oh, come on. All right. I guess it happened. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do you think men are responsible for not having emotional support systems to the same extent that women do? To a certain degree, yes, God King Yumi. To a certain degree, yes. For example, we can't help that society is the way that it is right now. We can't help that. Thank you very much for the raid, Emo Soccer Mom. Welcome. Come on in. Um, we can't help that men don't right now, but men can choose to engage in dude love. Yes, men can choose to build better systems. Like I said, life is life is 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 feedback loops, right? So yes, men ha like have some level of responsibility in that. They have to choose. They have to choose to love one another. They have to choose to change things. And guess what? There are lots of people who have to do that. That is a reality. Everybody. You know, the world is made up of systems, but there are still people in it who have to make choices. That's how we make things better. If we want to make things better, then yes, men are going to have to learn to love one another. Can't women just do it for me? No. Okay. Denied or ignored any involvement women have in reinforcing patriarchy. That is, again, patently false. I did not do that. Hey, long bongs livers. No, because that is not equivalent, God King Yumi. That's fucking stupid. I, I understand what you're trying to get at, but that's silly. That's incredibly silly. Come on. That's not even the same thing. That's not even the same thing at all. I, the thing is, it's funny. We haven't even gotten to that part of the conversation yet, but I talk about this. Actually, no, it's on Dylan's stream I talk about this. On Dylan's stream, I talk about this. I talk about how it could be. So for an example of this, by the way, just while we're here, so that, so that if for an example of how women can reinforce patriarchy, watch this. Ready? Rich guy. Imagine a rich guy who owns a sugar fact or a, 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 a candy factory. Okay. Rich guy owns a candy factory. He has a, a wife, a rich trophy wife. And that rich trophy wife says, uh, Hey, to her daughters, she says to her daughters, you need to get pretty and learn how to be beautiful so that you can get a man someday. And therefore she thinks it's weird when her, her daughters try to go to school and do good at school. That happens. And that's how women can reinforce patriarchy. There's an example. It is cute. I really like that badge. Anyway, let's continue. 
I will say I think it's tougher for men to make friends, which is a huge contributor to male loneliness and misery. Um, yes to yes, I think I agree with that. Um, we could talk about that more. Let's continue. Uh, I bolded this last point because it's such a basic core. Blah, blah, blah. Like, do we need to engage with this? Do I need to engage with this one or can we skip? Part four. This is when I point out just a few highlights of Demon Mama's ludicrous display of bad faith. Discussion. She is so reluctant to engage with anything I said at any point in this talk that she ended up refusing to agree to some basic things. Fairly certain I could have said two plus two equals four and she would start talking about alternative numeric systems that prove me wrong. Okay. Said that someone with a knife could be a bigger threat than someone with a gun. Yes, they can be. That is just true. Couldn't answer who is the aggressor in a situation where one person is charging the other unprovoked. This is a lie. A blatant lie. Literally a lie. Consistently, unrelentingly would not understand the difference between cause and responsibility. Uh, what? Accused me of sexism in using the phrase titty streamer. I explicitly said for lack of a better term and explicitly explained several times that ex ex sexualizing yourself on stream is pretty fine. I did not say that. I don't think I ever accused him of sexism for using the term titty streamer. I don't believe that ever happened. We just watched, watched it. Did it happen? Am I misremembering? We just watched it. I do not remember that happening at all. I don't think it happened. If anybody remembers incorrectly, then let me know. <laughs> Implied that I wanted government-mandated compliments from women in a, in a clickbait title two days after. No, I didn't. OBC lol, send me a link to the spot. The record does not show. Sorry, you're lying. Implied that I was an incel and said that I espoused incel beliefs. Okay, I did imp I did say I did no 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 no. Let's be clear. I implied that he espoused incel beliefs. I didn't imply that he was an incel, but all right, fair enough. I did imply that you espoused incel beliefs. Which having walked that back. Hmm. Fuck this person. They cannot engage in good faith discussion if it would save their life. They refuse to agree with anything you say for fear that it might expose one of the countless holes in their smooth-brained attempt at a logically coherent argument. They would rather pivot like an NBA all-star until their shoes wear out, desperate to trap their opponent in a rhetorical trap to reinforce whatever preconceived notion she and her small audience have. Here we go. This kind of behavior does feminists and women by large a disservice. Demon Mama is the anti-SJW straw woman come to life in all of its horror. By opening her mouth on any topic relating to gender roles, patriarchy, sexism, or feminism, she reinforces the idea that feminists and women are just illogically, emotionally driven morons. She reinforces the idea that feminists and women are illogical and emotionally driven morons who have no real arguments or valid points. Luckily, I actually strongly believe in intersectional feminism, so one dumb, f dumb fuck shit stains idiocy isn't going to change my opinion. Unluckily, that's not the case for everyone. Any man watching that stream who might have agreed with me but was curious about the other side's interpretation would walk away thinking feminism is about blaming everything on men and ignoring their problems, just like the anti-SJW caricatures. For the sake of women and feminism, I do not think anybody should platform Demon Mama on any topic related. They do such a bad job arguing their positions that they actively hurt the cause of feminism by attaching themselves to that label. And then all the all the fucking love bomb. A lot of upvotes. A lot of upvotes. All right. Okay. We're going to do the notes real quick, just real quick. Okay, everybody? We're going to do these notes just real quick. Okay? <laughs> DSK debate number one. Mentioning dying on the hill early on was a very easy to uncharitably read mistake. I would like to not do that. I need to be more careful with early word choices. Easily misinterpreting uh, my, this was my reaction. My reaction, like where I was like, all right, here we go. Let's get into the meat of it. That was easily misinterpreted. And I would like to avoid that in the future. 
the comment about D destiny was very bad for the con for the for the later context of the debate i will agree with this and this is the sort of thing i would like to be more careful about in the future the mask off moment was it did increase the spice significantly which i should have been more careful of but in retrospect i don't think that i would uh would do anything dif differently with regard to that particular point. I should have controlled the, the conversation better to not allow it to derail. This is true. This is something I would like to work on as well. I would like to avoid allowing conversations to de derail. I accidentally misquoted myself, which hurt me in the long run. Using the term incel was a, was a loaded bomb, even though I disagree. Um, even though I disagree with the way that it was framed, this was still a mistake. And a strategic topic change might have saved the entire discussion. Okay? Now. Now that we've done that. Can we not say, given that I have dug into it, that the response to that, that I just read, the Discrub King Manifesto, was that not horrifically unfair? By the way, that got more views than my original fucking video did orig originally. And I, the hate that I got from that was ridiculous. That's why I call that the first real, um, real cancellation. Okay. I think it was unhinged and not only unhinged, but deeply dishonest. And keep in mind that I had already in I was already engaging with with critique at that point. So just so you know, the last like public critique stream that I did, no, actually I did three critique streams following this conversation. And now that you have seen the conversation, do you not understand why it is maddening to have people tell me that I am bad faith when? In response to this debate, I did n n like somewhere in the ballpark of 12 hours of on-screen critique. Do you understand why that would frustrate me? No, I'm not single. I'm Polly. I have three partners. I hope people can understand why that drove me up a wall, okay? Because the uncharitability was unbelievable. Un-fucking-believable. All right. All right. Dirtbag left. Hit me with it. You seem to have a lot of critiques of me today, and I don't really agree with them, but I would like to hear you out because, after all, today is my critique stream. I, I do. And, and I want you to know that um, I'm, I'm not being antagonistic, but I okay. am listening to this antagonistically just to pull out as much as I can. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh so you're 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 playing you're you're playing devil's advocate, but you're playing Very heaven's so. advocate in this case. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. I can I can get down um, with that. So the my biggest complaint with uh -huh. the way that you're kind of viewing this uh -huh. is the the conversation is about a systemic issue, uh -huh. and a lot of the language and the word choices that you're using makes it feel personal to him. Mm -hmm. So, like when you when you use general terms like men, mm -hmm. it feels like you're saying all men instead of there is an elite group of men at the top that is shaping the culture, and this is a response. This is they are responsible for the crap that's happening. But I don't believe that. Does that though. make sense? I don't believe that there's just oh. an elite group of men. Oh, sorry. Let me turn up the uh, Discord audio. I apologize. Um, okay. There we go. Just want to make sure everybody can hear you. Um, uh, yeah, but I don't believe that there's just. I do believe that there are, like, obviously, um, men. W there are white men who have a, a an, an undue amount of power. But, like, mm -hmm. I think that these sort of, like, um, like, like things like patriarchy are pervasive they they invade all parts of our society um and they decide Absolutely. who gets power altogether so Absolutely. yeah so like i i i don't know how like i feel like in that conversation i was very clear 
about my distinction between individuals and systems. But at the end of the day, we have to acknowledge that it is individuals who are able to make the choices that change systems. Uh, no. Individuals can act within a system, uh -huh. but um, and, and that individual action can build on other individual action. Uh, but, okay, so let's, let's use race as an example, okay? Okay, sure. Realistically speaking, mm -hmm. how much can an individual black person do to fight white supremacy? Well, I think they can do a lot. But I, but I think the, the analog here would be what can an individual white person do? To fight white supremacy if we're going to if we're going to no, make no, no. A, a parallel no 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 it's not a parallel though what it's actually not because you have to understand that within within the overall within the overarching structure there is only so much that the average white man can okay. do to affect the overall system so the the disnification uh -huh. of um romance the what has the the Disneyfication Disney? Yeah, but what do you mean when you say hurt, that? I I mean that. What? It, keep in mind, I am not a straight male. Okay. 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 So so this is an outside observer okay. looking at the situation. Sure. Um. What I see a lot of straight men wanting is uh -huh. to be the prince charm. And they're told over and over and over and over again right. that if you are the Prince Charming, this will happen. This is what society will give you if you do these things. And so they're doing the thing, and they're not getting the payout. And they are not in a position to be able to see, because they're in it, that this is a lie. Okay. It, it, they're they're being gaslit, like well, it is straight up gaslighting but, but, of an entire. You're describing you're describing people being you know involved in indoctrinated systems. I agree, but part of fixing those right. systems, unless you're just a complete doomer, and unless you're just a complete doomer and you don't think there's any change, then part of the answer is making is helping people realize that, and, um and, uh, uh helping people realize that, and then once you realize it making changes to your actions that help change that like that's how all social change happens all so absolutely change. and absolutely. that is what i talked um, about numerous times which is that i very so, strongly so, believe um i very strongly believe for example that men like one of the big things that men need to do as a class of people is that men need to start encouraging one another and encouraging more positive male spaces and the way that you do I'm that, I'm not going to disagree. Okay, I'm not going to disagree there. Okay, where where well, we are going to come to a did, disagreement though. though? Yeah, he he did. Right. And unfortunately, a lot of the things that he he wasn't wrong. Right. But that's different than saying he was right. Does that make sense? Uh, I think it depends on the point, right? Yeah. So, so here's here's um, the kind of parallel that I'll draw. Right. Uh -huh. We can both agree Christianity is a toxic philosophy. It is just evil as a well, philosophy. Uh, I don't think I would go that broad, but I would say that there well, are look, strains of Christianity that are extremely toxic, and there are we. I don't know, like. We can uh, we can exclude I don't see what progressive the kind of, I, Christianity, I, I, which is the minority. What's that? Be, because the people in the, the people inside we'll talk specifically about fundamentalist Christianity. Okay, the people inside. Okay, so we're talking specifically system. about like what fundamentalist, um, like fundamentalist, right. uh, like uh, like like evangelical Christianity. Is that what we're talking about? Right. How okay. do we how do we help those people mm -hmm. as a system? How do we pull them out? How do we how do we cleanse the impurities within that system oh Does i'm really sense? glad and, you and, brought that and, up and, because that's actually something i'm doing that this over. week i'm doing this week right. and 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 draw that over to this conversation about men and what men can do right yeah. how much can can people inside that are trapped inside this toxic system 
actually affect the system? Or does the or, or is it the but, external forces? But you're on the you're missing you're missing a you're missing a, a key uh, like parallel here that's different, which is first of all, uh, you you are still a man uh, before and after you acknowledge the existence of patriarchy and its negative effects on both men and women, but specifically on women. So, okay. but that is not necessarily the case for Christianity. And for some Christians, uh, you for for some Christians it might be true they might maintain they might continue being a Christian, but many of them will stop being Christians, and then they will no longer be allowed in. You're not no longer allowed in in to be a man once you have some um, criticisms of 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 male uh, of patriarchy, right? So like, and I can okay. tell you, I so do think that there is a parallel on this note. Um, the the like. Um, <clears throat> So, so like the, uh, for example, this Friday, this week, I'm doing a bunch of big fucking streams. And on Friday, the stream that I'm doing is my spiritual deconstruction, which is going to talk yeah. about my experience of going from, uh, as a child being a Christian, but a very sort of vague Christian to my family joining a cult, to getting very much into the cult, to finding my way out of the cult, and then ultimately finding my way out of Christianity and how I came to the point where I'm at now. And this, that sort of thing, those sorts of videos were actually super, super valuable to me when I was trying, when I was struggling with Christianity. So I, I do think that there are ways in which you can pull people out of extremist groups and that are not the same as how you ad ad adjust, uh, address, you know, uh, gender issues in society, but that nonetheless have some parallels. So for example, I think that men who recognize that there are huge problems with patriarchy should take uh, should take some time to think, oh my God, like are there parts of these systems that I'm still contributing to? Are there ways that I can educate other people? Are there ways that I can engage? And I would say the answer is yes. And that was what I was arguing, is that right. um, you can't so expect, like think about it like this. If you want another, another example, a better parallel of this, it would be like, um, like, if there were Christians and then there was like there were Christian colonists and non-Christian colonized people and then there was a conversation between a Christian and a, and a colonized and a person who was colonized by the Christians and they were having a discussion and then the colonized person said hey I can't you are your people are are crushing us we need you like you need to be able to challenge this before you ask things from us and then that colonizer right. saying well don't you think you should do x and x and x which is what happened in the describe king conversation so so i'm actually going to very strongly disagree here because what it means to be a man mm -hmm. inside of this toxic system uh -huh. and what it means to be a man outside of this toxic system are two radically different things. There's a, there's a conflation of terms that's going on here. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, but okay. So, so wait a second. But do you think that in the conversation that was held earlier that we're reviewing that I'm trying to review and improve on, do you think that the scrub king represents somebody who is still trapped in the system or somebody who is out of the system? Because I went into the conversation assuming you know, out of charitability, that they that that he was not trapped in that system still. That he had, you know, and it seems to be. I mean, he says he's a feminist and all this stuff, which I would say that if that's the case, then he should acknowledge, and listen, and and be be actually capable of acknowledging that, like, oh shit, yeah, actually, men do have to kind of take if we want things to change. That is, if I if if you're no longer a part of the system, you no longer buy into it. If you want it to change, you have to take action, because. While it's not necessarily that assumes that assumes a power there that is not there. So okay, so you're just a doomer. Where then. where do no, I'm I'm not a doomer. Okay, so then let me where ask you a quick question. Young wait, men... wait, let me ask you a question because you asked me you asked, asked me a few real okay. quick. Uh, how do you change patriarchy then? The way you change patriarchy is by changing romantic comedies. Just straight up, that's where you change it. Romantic comedies. Because where okay, are this isn't a serious conversation? Getting okay. this idea? I'm sorry. No, I'm it sorry. is. This, this is, is not no. A this is a very serious conversation. 
this is a very dirt bag left. This is this is uh, that is. I, I. Where are they learning this stuff? Where are they are learning you, this stuff? Are you are you are you for real right now? Yes, I'm very for real. Where are they learning it? They're at home with their sisters, with their moms. They're watching this stuff. That's no. Oh my god. Yes. No. 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 Yes. I, I'm it's so where they're sorry. It up. You're so wrong about this. There is so many levels of of how patriarchy is is in in debt. Let me let me lay this out. Let's talk about something very specific. So let's talk about okay. um specifically dudes not complimenting each other and where they learn mm. that from. Okay. Um, okay. So they learn it from church, which is yes, you know, a big part of it. They learn it from their fathers. They might learn it even from their mothers. They learn it from their brothers. Yep. They learn it from their fellows at school, sometimes teachers at school that are going to be teaching them things like boys will be boys, et cetera, et cetera. They don't learn. It's not rom-coms. Like talk about like, no, 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 no. Talk about that's missing the, the forest okay. for the trees. That's like, that's wait, like, wait, no, no, no. So, so you're talking about men's relationship with other men. And I'm talking about men's relationship with women. These two things are they're not in, They related. are absolutely related. Yes, it is. They're, because wait, wait, hold on. Let's reset this up. Men's, because, men's hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait. Before you get ahead of yourself, let's resume to what we were talking about in the original debate. The original debate was do men. The original claim was that men don't receive enough compliments, and therefore they seek them aggressively from women. And I said that if you put the onus on women to solve that problem. Women will have to put themselves in danger. Men do not have to put themselves in danger in order to compliment one another, which allevi starts to alleviate the problem of compliments and makes it less dangerous. And this is like, this is really important. One of the, and, and, and one of the things we know that's different between men socializing and women socializing is that we know women pay each other a lot of compliments. Like that's been studied. Yes. Yes, women pay but each men, other lots of compliments. Men don't, which leads them to rely on women for emotional emotional validation all the time. You, you and I are not in disagreement there. Men complimenting men is not going to resolve the problem in any way okay. of the way men perceive compliments from women. We just disagree on this. We just disagree on this. That's just all that it boils down to. You just disagree. There's no critique here. This is just a disagreement. You don't think it will work. I think it will make a big difference because I think one of the big reasons, it's not the only thing that matters, but it is a huge part. The fact that men are attention starved and they lock each other out of their lives and they don't, they're not kind to each other. In fact, they're ruthlessly cruel to one another most of the time. That leads to incredibly, incredibly uh, codependent emotional relationships with women which we see all the time yes yes so yes men yes, and, starting so, so to men taking initiative to take to treat other men nicely and to and to convince other men to treat one another nicely is a huge step in the right direction massive step in the right direction no no we're, we're not disagreeing that it, that, that would be a just massive disagree. step in the right direction you just no, did disagree. i'm not disagreeing that it would be a massive step in the right direction what i'm okay. saying is it it will not fix the problem like let's let's grant that that happens right and so now men are in a much healthier place accepting compliments from other men the way they perceive compliments from women will not be changed by this yes it will because if men teach each other that hey you don't need to aggressively seek attention just from women if you're feeling bad, you can talk to your bros and they will build you up. Or, and then over time, you it will it will demystify, it will destigmatize the idea of getting a compliment. If compliments become commonplace, they become fulfilling. So therefore, right. you but don't it's... have that you don't have that impetus to to overread into every compliment. Because if you're used to receiving compliments from men, and this is presuming you're not gay, if you're used to receiving compliments from men you're also used to not thinking that every single compliment is a sexual invitation which is the case except right now and also by the way that same idea 
is what fuels part partially fuels men not complimenting each other because men don't compliment each other because that's fucking gay. That's what they say. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And and they're conditioned to see compliments as a sign of sexual interest. That's what it's saying. And so you have to destigmatize men complimenting one another so they stop seeing compliments as implicitly sexually interesting and then they will stop seeing it from women not one does not entail the other that is not necessarily true okay because men are taught to think of women so so the way men interact with men mm. is radically different and not just yeah i agree not just in a lot of angles but on the compliment thing men gotta start fucking being nicer to men and you don't like that but it's true no no i i absolutely agree with that what i'm saying is where's the disagreement when it comes to when it comes the the disagreement is the the interaction between men and women is women are alien and it will not resolve the women are alien issue i'm It's not. It's not this just is, that this, these are uh, other human beings. Okay. I. I. Uh, do you not acknowledge that part of the alienness of women comes from the fact that? Now, of course, there's a million different things we could talk about, but given that the context of the original debate was about compliments. That in this aspect, with regard to why women are alien with regard to compliments, is because women compliment each other, and men look at women seeing them complimenting each other, and they look at men and they don't see them complimenting each other, and that gives them the impression that they're alien. And then when they get a compliment from a woman, they don't know what that means, and so they think, I'm going to fuck that. Do you not see how that might contribute to the alienness and that removing that major roadblock? Especially, again, we're in the context of compliments, that that would change that alienness by making men more familiar with compliments. And then they look over at women, they say, yeah, women compliment each other, men compliment each other. And sometimes women and men compliment each other. And I can tell you this again, I've talked uh, since this since this original debate, I've talked with some people that I know, like and I know this is anecdotal, but I have a friend who's super not creepy and who's a super intelligent guy who's not a weird, creepy sexist. And, um, and he's realized that, yeah, like women get treated pretty shitty. He's like got an, uh, uh, like a feminist m- worldview and he gets compliments all the time from all the women in his life because he's not a fucking weirdo. And it's that easy. Right. This is in one generation. We don't even need to talk generational. He already, he is able to communicate effectively that he's not a fucking unsafe person to be around. And so he gets lots of compliments. It solved the problem. And some of that is because he had supportive male friends. And some of that is because he learned about feminism and realized, yeah, I shouldn't be weird about this. And he... Okay, I'm going to say this, and it's going to come out wrong. There's there's no way for me not... for for this not to come out wrong. Well, before you say it, before before you make it come out wrong, do you think that might be... Because you're wrong on this. Do you think that's a possibility? It is a possibility. Okay. And I'm more than willing to have my mind changed on it. All right. Okay. So, recognizing that he is a man, he is male. Within the broader cultural construct, he is not male. Does that make sense? No. I understand so, what you're trying to get at, but I think that, that that if that is the argument that you're attempting to approach, uh if that is the argu- if that is the way you're attempting to approach this that you become not a man once you become a feminist or you start to realize some things, I just think that you have an unworkable worldview I'm, I'm not, that is most No, no, I'm not saying that that's how I I'm I'm not saying that that's true. I don't think that that's true. What I'm saying is this is the narrative within who's, who's society. Who's saying that narrative? Society. 
Yeah, society patriarchy. At large. Patriarchy is doing that, and that's why we fight against patriarchy. And the way we fight against patriarchy is by recognizing patriarchy and then figuring out tactics that counter patriarchy, such as men compl complimenting right. men. And it has to be done on a systemic level, not on an individual level. And a systemic level is achieved by individuals working together strategically, which you do by communicating yes. with one another, just like we're doing right now, and by making arguments that are convincing. And now we're there. Right. And I put, presented the argument that was correct and convincing, and people refuse it. But the way you went about it was very individualized. Wrong. It felt... Okay. It's individualized to you, but I'm it, sorry. It I'm, it, I'm sorry. No, no. Listen. Look, it, I, it I wasn't appreciate. individualized. It I, felt I, I individualized. Wait, wait, listen. I appreciate... I, I really appreciate that you're trying to give me feedback here. I just feel like we're at the point where it's... 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 it's it's bleeding into not helpful feedback because it is it is refusing the facts of the conversation I had. Like in the conversation we just watched, there was nothing hyper individualistic about anything that I said. Were there perhaps no, moments? There, there wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm not done. There may have perhaps been moments where there was too much individualistic language, but the message that I gave was very much not individualistic. It was that we have to come up with solutions so that we can make prescriptions about the world and enact those in order to change the world for the better. Right. And I, and I'm going to 100% agree with you there. Okay. And, and that is my big complaint. It's not that the, the, not that the conversation was individualized, but that the feeling of what you were saying came across as individualized to you. Maybe and that's and where my perhaps critique is to scrub King, but I don't think that right. that's and there, but I don't think that to, to like... me, it did. To me, it didn't, but I'm not looking at me. I'm looking at him and his reactions and where he where he started to fall back on things. And it was the things you were saying came across to him. Yeah, but that's because don't as you think, individualized. Don't you think, though, that like I, I understand like critiquing and I want to critique myself, but I don't think I'm doing myself any favors if I try to customize my general debate approach towards somebody being like, like, like blindingly self-focused such that when somebody uses like very reasonable and very, very patient language throughout the entire first hour and 30 minutes of the debate, which I did, which we just watched together, um, that like somehow if they still get it in their mind that they can only think in an individualistic lens that that's my problem. That's like a that's a gap that I don't think I can cross in a debate, you know. Yeah, it 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 depends on on what you're doing. So, I'm gonna recommend something to you. It's something Vosh has watched. It's something Zan's watched. Look into street epistemology. For for somebody who is on the right, your approach, I would say was the right approach. For someone who identifies as a feminist and he very clearly has some feminist ideas there i don't think that, that the approach you were taking was an effective approach do you think that the approach you're taking now is an effective approach i don't know we'll see okay maybe you should if watch. not maybe I'll you should watch what i do <laughs> maybe you should watch street epistemology first i i do all right cool well um uh look i i appreciate the feedback um and like i just I, I i just i don't know i i think this is getting so granular and so out of the scope that like i i don't i don't know how it can be functionally useful i do agree that like actually i honestly i almost feel like uh, i almost feel like if i had treated him like a right winger this convert this would have gone better but i didn't and as a result there was this idea of like i gave him way too much charitability and uh i spent an hour and a half wasting my time when I could have just said, dude, it sounds like you're being a bit of an incel. And then that would have been the end of it. Like if I had just fucking ducked on it, but instead I was super patient. And like, I feel like that was actually like, I don't know. That feels like a little bit of my, a uh, little bit of my, um, I don't know. Maybe that was the misstep. I don't know. Maybe I should have just been an asshole off, off the front and then, but I don't know. Maybe it's just, it's just, I, I, I don't know. Uh, that's Glooby Explosion, just so you know, who's in chat right now. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, anyway, was there any other like takes that you wanted to critique me on? Uh, that was just the big one right there. Okay. Well, 
I, I, I appreciate, I appreciate the, uh, the critique. Um, I do, uh, I, I disagree with certain aspects of it, but, um, I, I, I do appreciate the critique a lot, Dirtbag Left, okay? You're welcome. All right. Thank you, and, uh, thank you for coming on and, and, and for, uh, making your, your, your voice, uh, heard, her, or your, or your voice heard to me. I appreciate that a lot, all right? <laughs> all right. All right. Bye. Thanks. All right. Let me just uh, let's get you to the next one here, okay? On Big Lundy, I'm bringing you in. Hello, Big words. Lundy, Big Lundy, Big Lundy. We speak again. Big, Big Lundy, Big, Big, Big Lundy. Hey, how's it going? I, I, you got me right mid drink on my iced tea, and now my voice sounds terrible because I had to cough, and it, it, the whole thing is already a mess. I don't know what to do. <laughs> That's all right. What are your pronouns again? Uh, he him. All right, Big Lundy. I'm happy to hear you again. I'm glad you don't hate me after we we had a little little bit of a spicier debate than usual last time. Listen, I'm 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 30 years old. Hating people over the internet's super cringe. True uh, though. <laughs> That's why I don't hate people over the internet most of the time. Yeah. Most most of the time. Uh, Nazis. Uh. Yeah, Nazis. Yeah, usually yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, there's there, there's a limit. There's a threshold there. Um. So I took I I didn't start taking. Oh, before I get started on this, I just want to platform off something because this is always a question that I'm super confused about. True, but you're you're right. you're really really quiet right now. Oh, I am. I'm terribly yeah. sorry. Um, oh, hold on. Okay, while oh. you work on that, Ace Man, Ace Man, it's been a billion years since I've seen your seen your weaselly face around here. How you doing, old landlord buddy? It's been forever. It's been forever, Ace Man. Good to see you again. Still hating. Still hating all these months later. Damn. You've been very busy lording? Nah, you haven't. Don't fucking lie. You know you haven't been doing jack shit. You've been That's fucking crazy. flicking through the channels, playing some video games, and collecting rent. Here, let me just, I guess... Put my mic closer to my face. See if that works. Ooh, that's better. Yeah, it sounds a lot okay. clearer. Uh, I can also Ooh. probably boost you a little, little bit there. All right, let's try. You want to give me a, give me a, a test, test, test. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Sibilance. Sibilance. Yeah, much better. That's awesome. Fantastic. Okay, excellent. So let's let's talk. Hit me with your critiques, Big Lundy. Hit me with your sure. big chungus critiques. Oh. Sure, sure, sure. Um, no, one thing that I just uh, think would be a really think good thing to note: do you, Are you aware of what a genetic fallacy is? Uh, vaguely, I can't remember the exact wording, but hit me with it. Basically, it's a fallacy of irrelevance. Uh, when somebody says that something is wrong, sometimes they will tie it to its history, but its history isn't necessarily um, related to why it is wrong in the context that it's currently being used. You understand? Um, so it's okay. like, so hey, like. Something why are you using a wedding band okay when the wedding band used to symbolize uh shackles on sure. the woman's leg and things okay. like that it's like uh -huh. well there could be a lot of reasons why people use wedding wedding bands and might not even at all be related to that or perpetuating that so it's not doesn't necessarily make it a bad thing um and the reason i bring this up is um one of your chatters i started making these notes halfway through the De okay. destiny thing mm -hmm. one of your chatters said that uh they didn't think it was right to say that mental illness is necessarily a slur for trans people and you point out that historically it has been used as a slur for trans people and while that is true yes. it's more important to be able to tie the current the the context of the uh, of the act itself towards the trans person and how you know that it was meant in that particular fashion um this is sort of like a linguistics plus normative uh type of framework okay. of the logic of why it is wrong or right to say it okay um <clears throat> so it's it's important to say that like like yes it has historically been used in that particular way but that mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily that isn't why it's wrong to do that not on its own it's, there needs to be right. more things to that. Well, well um, I mean, yeah, but I mean, the other things in that, I mean, okay, are you criticizing the, the, the chatter or are you criticizing me? Um, 
I think it, I just think it would be a really good thing to note in the future. I think that this does happen with some of your debates. I couldn't give a particular uh, instance at the moment where you reference the history of something and say that this is a reason why we should consider it to be bad. I think that that's a that's a not a good way to get a point across. A lot of people are unconvinced by that sure. and I think because it's fallacious. Well, a lot of people um, are unconvinced by a lot of things. I agree, but I I, I don't think I wouldn't characterize my argument uh, the one that I had with Destiny as uh as my point leaning only on that no no um, i i don't I, think i, you I did think either. i did a good job illustrating both the current and historical harm um that and, and most of that was to indicate that like playing on um certain terms that do have historical meanings can uh signal unintentionally or intentionally those meanings to a large group of followers hence the issues with platforming uh yeah i i agree i'm not trying to say that you were particularly wrong in that debate or anything along those okay. lines these are just notes sure, uh sure. just <laughs> they might be just nitpicks for all intents and purposes uh -huh. um one thing that i have noticed sometimes is that some uh -huh. sometimes you are uh, you speak authoritatively uh -huh. um and you might believe that you know something but sometimes that can be extremely uh that can backfire immensely okay. rhetorically speaking uh, and I put down the instance of not knowing what a gish gallop is. Um, Destiny asked you what a gish gallop was, and you responded in the VOD that it means pivoting to different points multiple times in a row, yeah. um, which is not what it means. Okay. Um, it specifically means, uh, well, it's canonically from Dwayne Gish, a young Earth creationist who did a lot of debates. Okay. Uh, it's basically just talking for a very long time and making a lot of arguments that can all be about the same point uh, and not really giving your opponent time to address all those arguments. Uh, and then kind of like by virtue of rhetorically doing this, you're making it look like you win because they haven't refuted everything that you said. But what you know what I mean? What you're saying though is you're, you're giving me like the dictionary definition and what the definition that I was that i was what's a tift on in 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 like the the moment was i think is perfectly functional i think that like describing gish galloping as when you rapidly pivot between points so that people can't re respond to them all i think that's a perfectly functional definition of gish gallop that i'm sure that any if i asked you to define like a number of things right now and you didn't have the time to google it up like you probably couldn't give the exact worded dictionary definition but you could probably come up with a functional definition maybe not but the thing is is that if you come up with a definition that sounds different enough from what p the person who's asking you mm -hmm. understands the actual dictionary definition of it can make it look like you don't know what you're talking about um yeah but you because, know what would have like, looked way worse there is if i was like no please tell me what a gish gallop is that would have been fucking horrible they would have never let me live that down and so i think giving maybe a, a good faith honest and functional definition of a gish gallop that doesn't go uh, well, in, in 1973, G uh, Robert Gish was the, like, you know what I mean? Like, you can't do that. Obviously. Dwayne Gish. <laughs> Dwayne Gish, whatever. Like, God, come on, that's nerd shit. No, I, 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 get, I, get, I get what get you're you, saying. You're kind of, oh, damn. I, I'm no, being you're a little body, nitpicky. You're, you're bodying me, for sure. Yeah, you're nitpicky. So <laughs> I'm being a little too. nitpicky. Got you the asked for it. technical definition. The, the, <laughs> you, or, sorry, you I got the dictionary and, and the, the definition. Reason, I, I just want to make this as like a broader point though, is that sometimes like you have kind of like default mode when you're like getting spicy with somebody where you're uh -huh. just like, no, no, no. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm demon mama. All right. Yeah, so I usually do. Down Come on, let's be real. I usually um, but, but um, that is kind of a high risk, low reward type of rhetoric. I think it's entertaining. Yes. And if you are very confident in what you're saying, then that's perfectly fine. However, if you're in a contentious argument with somebody and you're doing that and then you get just one thing wrong mm -hmm. then that sort of like i know what i'm talking about is immediately just deflated in a way in which is really difficult to come back from okay um so that's something to bear in mind when you're kind of like in engaging in that form of argumentation so um, don't be i mean i don't yeah. know actually i think that's true if like you're really bad at being wrong but like I did, I fucked that up in the in the um, Waco debate, and I still think I came out number one in the Waco debate. I couldn't watch the Waco debate because Waco is a toxic cancer subject that I hate. That's fair. Um, it was a toxic <laughs> cancer panel, but I did fuck up. <laughs> so on I heard. Point. I misquoted. 
uh, you know, I misquoted one um, finding and all I said was, oh, I, my apologies. I, I misquoted that particular finding, but my overall argument is still the same. And that was fine. That's true. But that's when you're re you're willing to be like somewhat reconciliatory in the moment. Right. True. Um, some. But if true. you're if you're speaking authoritatively. Mm -hmm. Right. Then that sort of pivot to reconciliation on being able to accept that you may be wrong about something can be like a hard whiplash uh, on the person watching. Okay. Like you just said that like really confidently. And now you're like, oh, I might have been wrong about that. Like, OK, well, what else are you wrong about? A lot of people will get that sort of thought in their head. Mm -hmm. um, so. Yeah, that's that's just something to bear in mind. Sure. Um, so you had a conversation with Destiny where you, I think the main point was trying to exactly figure out when it is and is not okay to bully people on Twitter mm -hmm. and, and, and like why and all those sorts of things. Correct. Um, are you okay with me being a little bit of a douche? sure about that <laughs> okay sure um I'll, I'll i'll be able to but but you know, I'm, I'm not it's gonna, it's gonna be conversations i no, i understand it's conversations like that that really make me wish that people t like were a little bit better informed on normativity and meta ethics and things along those lines maybe not meta ethics normativity because you're talking about what one ought not not do and things along those lines but normativity is very important and understanding sort of like the details as to what makes things right or wrong or why we ought and ought not do things uh on a fundamental philosophical level is mm -hmm. very important to being able to draw some sort of like a particular hard line ethic on any one question of what we should and should not do so for instance mm -hmm. if destiny were to ask me um okay who is okay to bully on Twitter and who is not okay to bully on Twitter? Mm -hmm. I would say, well, we can say that it is okay to bully people who are unjustifiably hurting other people online. Mm -hmm. uh, and that unjustifiably could be something that we could hash out, but it would be a lot, it, it would be something fairly concrete, at least in the sense that I'm giving an answer that is shortened to the point. Um, so that's, I, I think it would be good to, like, I don't know, learn uh, uh, how normative arguments are generally constructed if you're going to have arguments about what, about what is moral to do, mm. how it is moral to act. See, I, what, what I, if I'm going to be, like, just as, you know, just as, as blunt back, to me, I have a feeling that when you talked, everybody in the audience's eyes just glazed over and nobody understood a single thing that you just said. I totally understand, which is and why we I need think rhetoric what I rhetoricians. Said, what I said was super clear and also por communicated exactly what you were trying to get across, but better. Because, um, like, I agree that, like, if you want to have, like, a, a logic textbook, um, like, uh, this, a lawyer could try and take this apart and they won't be able to. That's true. But the thing is, there's barely any lawyers watching and people need to be able to understand things. And my argument was basically the exact same thing that you said. But in a more understandable and realistic, uh, well, yeah, but that's cheating, ya boy, Tapoy. That's because you're fucking into this shit. You're a fucking linguist. That's cheating. <laughs> that's, you're you're the same. Um, you're the same genetic strain of nerd. I it, it, it is it is definitely a, a genetic thing to be super into ethical philosophy. Uh, uh, I get it. I get we're, it. It's interesting to me as well. But like, uh, like I'm not gonna pretend that like I mean, of course, like I fucking I really like philosophy. You know, I fucking had. Uh, uh, I tanked my own viewership to have an argument with uh, ask yourself and 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 uh, and uh, oh god ask yourself ask yourself and um and he is Avi on another Be level. Avi Biederman Avi Biederman um about the the whether linguistically defining gender as I don't even fucking remember the words anymore it's that's that's how much it is I I like those conversations but I mean like I don't know like I I, I I, I can understand where you're coming from on that, but at the same time, like it's incredibly hard to uh, to like portray any sort of meaningful ethics, like like ethical conversation that's like ironclad when you're in a conversation with fucking destiny. That's fucking impossible. Um, come on, this is rape I don't cages, know. I've, I've seen people, I've seen people do it, but it's just that they're yeah, Rem. Okay, so the, and how popular? Well, is Rem? not. Not just Rem. Uh, there's a guy, Perspective Philosophy, who did it really well, and it really annoyed the shit out of Destiny. It was very funny. Yeah, but I also um, annoyed the shit out of Destiny, and I had fun. Uh, it, no, that's fair. I mean, 
<laughs> I'm just saying that it can be done. Um, mostly, b- but the only people who have done it are people with like big degrees in philosophy and have yeah. big brains. Uh, yeah. So I, I mean, uh, I have a big brain. I just don't have a degree in philosophy. That shit's for rich people. <laughs> what, fuck, what do you think I am? Or, think or I'm fucking... hey, 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 I'm I'm working class as it comes, and I at least got my batch. Uh, that's right, something right. at the very least. <laughs> good on you. Good on you. Um. So okay, that was that was basically my main things when it came to the destiny debate uh moving on to the disrupt king debate Ooh. i really don't want to relitigate this entire discussion again um well, you can just accept so, that I'm right and well i will say this uh you regularly made the claim that you did not start that particular debate off in any way aggressive or like an asshole or anything along those lines yeah, I don't think I did. um and i will say that your tone was very uh, i would say friendly um however there is something to be said about the fact that you did start off the conversation by saying, hey, so we saw you um, tweet out that this meme was unironically a fact and true and based and shit like that. And we were memeing about it and we were just doing a whole bunch of thinking emojis just going, hmm. Yeah. Uh, saying things like that can create a sort of hostile environment. You're sort okay. of letting him know, like, we've all been kind of making fun of you. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to talk to you. That's kind of what you're doing. I feel like that was the opposite. I feel like I was putting my cards out on the table and being like, hey, look, we didn't know how to read this thing. And by the way, now this is one that the context would have come across a little bit better uh, for people who actually watched it happen live because this is the problem with anything that happens from Twitter and also why I don't do fucking shit from Twitter anymore because the context always gets lost. But I mean, he retweeted a, a boomer Facebook meme with the thing nuclear take the op is 100 percent correct and then everyone mm. was freaking out on him and so i said hey well why don't we give him a chance should we i literally looked at the meme i'm like because somebody sent to me is this is fucking cringe as shit and i looked at him I'm like i don't know maybe he didn't mean it that way should we have a talk with him and then we did and then he got real mad during the conversation after like an hour and a half of me basically just being like hey well, i will say this from? having seen the conversation you got very mad first I, I think that is a fact that can be demonstrable. That that's fairly demonstrable. Um, I don't think that's an unfair thing to say. Um, <laughs> you did, you did. Don't don't give Big me the first clip. I you think did. Listen, Big Lundy. I really love talking with you, but I really think you. I really think. Oh God, this is going to sound so bad. Now nah, you know what? I'll just let you have it. You can think that if you kill want me. to. Yeah. No, I'm not going to kill you. I mean, I, what I was gonna say is that I feel like you I mean, have, I, mm. I feel like you kind of, I feel like you kind of have a problem with like reading women's tones, because like, holy fuck, like I was, that was an hour and a half long conversation before I even wrote a single thing, and he had already dunked off on shit like, oh, you know, being horny is the same thing as being drunk. Like, come on, like, what the fuck, dude? All of that is fine. You can say that he made like a lot of points that you could have gone nut so nut bar not, on. Not him just for. that, but he made like he was like sm- by the time that I even got mad, he was doing shit like huh, sorry, I didn't even listen to you. Like, come on. No, yeah, I, I, by that point, you had already been yelling at. No, him. I hadn't. Yeah, we you just did. watched it. We just you watched yelled it. at him. I just you made yelled a note at him to shut up. It was already quoted in the chat. You told him to shut up because you're tired of getting uh, interrupted. And yeah, he's because he was interrupting me. Yeah. Yes. Big Lundy, yeah. I don't know if you know this, but if somebody repeatedly interrupts you and then doesn't even listen after they interrupt you, that's like, that's like, for, like under like re- truly frustrating. That's like actually like ag- aggressive, annoying troll behavior. Well, it was during that particular uh, outburst as well that you also and in- kind of inferred he was an incel. Outburst. Oh. Big Lundy, look, I just don't think you're a reliable. I just don't think you're a reliable source on this. Every single time we talk, you always come into tone police, and every single time you tone police in like the most aggre- like you like uh, there is nothing. There is nothing I could do that doesn't come off as too aggressive. <laughs> I don't think that's the case because I don't really? have any notes about three I calls no from notes. Big Lundy, and I all have, of them have. I have. About- no, well, actually, the second call was just about a cap, but. <laughs> the uh 
but i i have no notes about the about your like being aggressive or mean or anything okay. from like as, aside from creating the the potentially creating a hostile environment in the first place which out of context if you just look at the video just with you starting off being like we've been memeing things along those lines can seem like creating a hostile environment All right, which enough. that 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 that's kind of the only thing i have up until the point where you tell him to be quiet because you're tired of him interrupting you so and blah blah. Outside... So that that whole hour, I yeah. don't I don't say like you were mean. I don't do that. Hostility too much. Okay. So real quick <laughs> question though, <clears throat> if what what I would love to know, like what like what possible like outside of just not talking to people anymore, like what possible options do I have that was more chill than that conversation where i literally didn't even raise my voice i didn't even do anything any drop of sarcasm despite him being sarcastic to me i didn't do any single drops of sarcasm for over an hour and 20 minutes how I mean, much hey, I just greet him just greet him like you would anybody else as far as like a uh the conversation is concerned hey what's going on dude you want to talk about the thing that we've been talking I about online we did that i was like yeah. hey how's it going? all right hold on nope 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 nope, nope, nope. i'm sorry big lundy Look, I don't want to – let's go right back to the beginning of this. Let's watch the intro. Ready? We're going to watch okay. it together on stream, okay? Here we go. Okay. Watch this. Here we go. So here's the – here we go. All right, we're bringing Discrub King on. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. I can't hear it. If oh, doing it. well, I don't know Hello, 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 Discrub King. Welcome. Okay. How are you doing? Here, just unmute the stream for just a second. Yeah, I'm doing that. Okay. Ready? All right, here we go. Here we go. Hello, 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 the Scrub King. Welcome. Hello. How are you doing? Can you hear me all right? I can. Can you hear me? Ah, can you hear me? Yep. Sorry, I forgot I had push to talk on. In fact, let me turn that off. Give me a second. No problem. There we go. Uh, and I I don't know for sure, but uh, I assume because your name's the Scrub King, you he him, but but uh, uh yeah sure yeah, yeah. okay. Alrighty, I'm just gonna unless you want explicitly to be on video, you can be if you'd like. I can set that up if you'd prefer. Um, um would you like no, to be up on video? Okay. Alright. So Oh wait, hold on. Apparently my stream can't hear you. Give me a sec. Oh, that's a bit odd. Alright, can you talk again? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me now? Test, test, All test. Right. Alright. And uh I mean wait for chat to respond, yeah. Sure, sure. Go for it. Okay. All right. Looks like they can hear you now. All right. Excellent. Well, that's great. Um. So yeah. Um. Good to talk to you. It's been a while since we last talked. Been quite a while, I guess. Um. We saw your meme today. Your your meme about using friends uh, is psychologically damaging or whatever. And we thought it was funny. And we all wanted to like me and my chat were like, huh? And there was a bunch of uh, thinking emojis in chat. So we're trying to figure out what you meant by it, what your argument is, because you said OP was right, and we didn't know what you meant by uh, that. Yeah. But you seemed like you were willing to defend it. So all right, we want to know what you mean what your position is, and if there's anything to debate about. Because who knows? We might actually agree on things. Bam. All right. Yeah. I, I, who knows? We might even agree on things. I don't know how much more cordial and inviting you can get than that. Like, I did, I did I, ask I, him. I, I, I mean, I asked him on I'm stream. Saying, yeah. All I'm saying is that you don't need to let to tell him, like, hey, we've all been kind of memeing about this. Oh, okay. All That's right. it. Okay. All right. So don't tell him At things. Gotcha. <laughs> Don't tell somebody you've been joking about them. You know, it's we just it, it, it makes them think we like oh, we this confused. is probably going to be adversarial. We, I mean, we, we well, said, uh, okay, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> just we're okay. All right. okay. All right. If you if I'll that's uh, I I what I am I, I don't from... I don't think that's reasonable, <laughs> but that I'll, I I I don't want to push too much on this because it really okay. is just a very I mean, this small is point. Th th this is a massive nitpick i i agree i i but i did ask for nitpicks and i hope that you're okay with the banter because uh this is a massive nitpick this is like i don't know yeah if it's, I, if it's I, fine yeah, but... it's fine all right. like all right. i knew it was a nitpick when i wrote it down true um <clears throat> i knew it was a nitpick when you wrote it down i didn't even know what it was yet you just you just got a psychic message from me. Yeah, I was like, oh, I, Jesus. I wrote Big it. I wrote it in my notes, and you were immediately were just like, someone's about to nitpick me. Yeah, I got it. I had it my my, my fucking ears noise. were tingling. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't want to go over that point because it's just relitigating the debate. Um, 
the people got mad at me for questioning low police brutality numbers but we're on uptick at the moment um so what happened in that particular moment was uh the scrub king was saying that like these days police brutality is low and you question that now there was no sort of conversation of well i would agree with you if we're talking about like maybe 50 40 years ago but there is an uptick these days but that that wasn't a conversation that was had yeah he said um, he said in the last 10 years and so i said um yeah, he said that in the video. He says, and I, I know this one because this was one that Dylan like got on me about too, and we I had Dylan play the clip back, and then we just watched it today. He he said over the last ten to twenty years, it's been going down, and I was like, I don't think that's accurate. Like in the last ten years, we've had like everything from Ferguson to the George Floyd stuff, which had you know just happened a few months prior here. So. But but sure, okay. I, I, well, do, I I would agree. That, that I was the impression if he said from fifty years ago. Yeah, that well, I didn't. I that the thing is that I I didn't hear him specify a particular time period. Yeah, I think I um, just saw. I just heard him say it's very it's lower than it's ever been. Or blah blah blah. That's yeah. something, something along those lines. No, it which was, he then said I saw you question. Years. Yeah, he said ten to twenty. Yeah, okay. yeah. You can go back. I'm, well, I'm very sure of this one. Yeah, I suppose that's probably something that you could probably like quibble about. Um, yeah. I don't have any numbers on hand about that, but. Sure um do, 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 do. Thank so you, board lobster appreciate that the major point in the conversation about like 31 minutes in when you clap mm -hmm. your hands and you're like now we're getting into it yeah um so you said when you were going over this that you were hoping that you could have the conversation that you were going to have at that point mm -hmm. long before um mm -hmm. So to me, that indicates that everything up to that point was you waiting for just kind of messing around and waiting for him to say something that you could actually latch on to and like something that was meaty and weighty that you could then begin a nice like that almost adversarial back and forth. with. Yeah, I can understand how people could uncharitably read it that way. I don't think that's hardly the only way to read that. But yeah, I understand. Uh, I think I think it's a charitable reading of it, at the very least. Wait. Um. No, I think that's an uncharitable read. I think it's uncharitable uh, to go to to see me. All right, now we're getting into the meat of it. Like, and just immediately assume, ah, this bitch was like sneaking around and laying traps for me. No, it was literally just me going, ah, oh, finally, we're getting the meat of the conversation because we're not just we're we're actually talking about the sentiments behind it and not just the the wording j just the wording of the post like we're like that's literally all that i was saying in there that's what i was saying originally that's what I, was saying. I do agree that you could it is possible to be misinterpreted that way but i don't think it's a charitable interpretation i think a charitable interpretation would say oh okay you're getting into the meat of the issue is what is what was there i think it's a well okay when i say charitable i don't mean steel man uh i'll just say that out front that's not when i say charitable man, i mean well, when I say charitable, I mean it is reasonable for someone to see that and then come away with that conclusion. It's not an unreasonable thing for them to do. Right. It's not an driven by a bias or anything along those right. lines. It's just a reasonable thing to come away with. I think we're just explaining different things. I think a charitable, an uncharitable read would conclude that the only possible way, the, the only conclusion there is that I was setting up a secret trap for him. And I think a charitable read could conclude that maybe she was setting up a trap but maybe she was also just excited to get into the meat of it that's what i think a charitable read would be i don't i i didn't even say anything about setting up a trap right. uh i was just mentioned i was just saying that it seems very clear that you were kind of waiting around until you could get to something that you actually want to talk about that everything yeah. before then was just fluff i mean yeah um, it kind of was though like the first 30 minutes was just us going around and around on the on the like wording of the of the Facebook thing and I really wanted to talk about the sentiments and what what he believed the meme was actually saying and whatnot and I don't think we were ever getting to that I feel like it was just kind of like uh, buzzing around like a like a sleepy fly okay um well I would say then that the mm -hmm. critique to be given to you is mm -hmm. to is if that's the conversation you wanted to have like mm -hmm. immediately yeah. then that's the conversation you should have put forward immediately it does not isn't that literally what i did though at the beginning of the thing i said we saw this meme we didn't entirely get it we want to understand what you actually believe on this 
and then we proceeded to go back and forth over the semantics of the meme instead of just going like okay what do you actually believe on this that's like literally like, yeah, exactly you gave what him, I said you gave him an open you gave him an open ended question you could have been more like specific like what i want to know is x y and z so hold it we should have maybe maybe you, you know you're probably you're probably right i probably should have like i feel like i I mean, I do think that there is some, some like, especially in retrospect, I didn't really think this, because to be fair, I didn't know how young Describe King was at the time that we had this, but I do agree that I probably could have taken more control of the conversation and, like, just been like, no, I'm not here to argue about the semantics of the meme. Like, I'm, yeah. tr I'm here, I'm here to try and talk about why some people got offended and why we were confused, as opposed yeah. to, so I, I agree with you. I mean, I... If I was to say that in like a, in a sort of my my typical snarky way, I would say I needed to hold his hand more. Um, but I do think that's actually true. I think I did. I think that controlling the conversation stronger there probably would have made it go better. Yes, I agree. Um, yeah, and I think that would have probably avoided the uh, like because it it really is easy to come away with the idea of like ah she was trying to she was trying to trick him into a conversation he didn't want to have. Um, uh, maybe it's easy but, uh, to do that. I don't think, and I think I mean, you could have just I don't avoided that easy. entirely. I don't think it was. E I don't think it's easy because the organic traffic on this video, I at least in my experience, does not come to that conclusion. But it is very easy when someone tells you that, which is literally exactly what happened. When Destiny reviewed this, he said very early on that I was like before we even got to that point in his review, he was going in on how I was trying to trap him and lead him in and, and look for a way to cancel him, which is totally untrue and then when that moment happened he took that as confirmation of his pre-existing theory that's that's destiny i don't particularly care about his yeah, opinion but, but, on this but um, that is but where, I, that is where so the audience as a, like was colored like as as a for instance as somebody who was just watching it because a bunch of people were talking about it and i'm like all right well let's see what the hell happened um i watched it and at that point it did feel like you were like gunning for an argument mm -hmm. and it was you were waiting for it uh okay. and that i didn't come away from that debate thinking that either one of you in particular were, had, a, had a good time uh i kind of just wanted to blow my brains out after watching it Damn, to be entirely dude. honest um, hey, watch but, that show, well, to Minecraft, be fair, I kind of want to blow my brains out whenever I wake up, well, so it's okay. not necessarily well, well, your fault. Well, 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 <laughs> we're on Twitch. We're on Twitch, That's buddy. That's true. That's true. Hey, in a video please, game. In a video please. Game. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, fuck. You're going to give me a heart attack. Jesus Christ. I'll never actually do that. Please this is clearly don't. a joke. Please don't. Entirely, do entirely I ironic. I get you. I get you. Okay, now it's a little <laughs> All right. Let's, 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 let's not go there, okay? Listen, Big Glendy, I love you very much in a non-parasocial way. I enjoy talking of with course. you, even if I go back and forth with you. I'm a sarcastic Yes, I do coach, remember so what I we am. talked about in the waiting room, Jessica, but that wasn't a slur, now was it? <laughs> Fair. Um... <laughs> so um all right let me continue on here i don't want to take up too much more of your times um so one thing that kind of rubbed me a little the wrong way mm -hmm. uh on your part when in the debate is when you defined patriarchy to the scrub king mm -hmm. can i just call him dsk yeah exactly. like i feel like that's yeah, okay. DSK's fine. Yeah. <clears throat> i don't it just feels weird anyway uh you defined it as uh, a society where men hold all the power and get all the attention. Um, now, obviously, this is a very rough sort of like summary, um, but the like way in paraphrase, really. the way in which you phrased it, the, uh, the the important bit is men getting all men get all the attention. That was a part of the way in which you defined it to him. Now, obviously, um, if his argument is that men don't get enough attention from women and you say, well, we live in patriarchy, you agree we live in patriarchy, patriarchy means that men get all the attention, then clearly you're wrong. Um, but that felt like a, like a, like an ontological trap. And I didn't like how that felt that if that felt like a, like it wasn't a good, it wasn't a good way to approach that argument in my opinion. And it rubbed me the wrong way when I first saw it. Okay. So, I mean, um, I, I think that was a bit of a uh, of a paraphrase of what I said, but I do believe that, like, um, patriarchy as it functions does result in men being the focal point of society. Yeah. I think it's and more that doesn't necessarily than, mean that um, they don't get... It's a man's perspective. That's the... It's, it's, not, it's, just it's, a per, it's, it's not just a perspective. It's patriarchy. It is, it is, like, I mean, like, it literally is about a society that's structured 
in such a way that men are men are the ones who make the big decisions and that is true and they are the ones who the big decisions it is are true made about but it's also well. like to be to be intersectional it's also right. pointing out that like while men have the power it's, it's technically speaking rich white men specifically um sure. and men well, I, is I not that, necessarily though. i the said same that class. in there and i got i got yelled at for that by the way in the fucking i mean uh, i think the manifesto was stupid but i did say that i explicitly brought that up that it was straight that it's straight white men that benefit the most from patriarchy but that doesn't mean that other people don't well it just means that straight different. straight white rich men specifically yeah yeah of course um, i mean i the, agree the with poor you, yeah. poor and i think that was i think that was the thing that he kind of took issue with is that he didn't he wasn't like talking about that specific like group of people he was talking about like men in general which would include um the the upper and lower levels of, of the class of men which majoritively is on the lower side i would say i think that's fair most yeah, men aren't rich of course <laughs> Um, but I mean, so when I you do brought up Harvey Weinstein, of... he's like, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't, he didn't clarify. He didn't make that clear. That's like, that's on him. If he doesn't communicate his point well at all, that's not me. That's not a criticism you can make mm. of me. I think you're smart enough to know. <laughs> you're, you think, <laughs> I think wait, you, know. you think I'm, you wait, you think I'm smart enough to, to su psychically predict his bad argument no, and then re no. re bring it back. Oh, come on. I like, said nothing about telepathy. Yeah, okay. but come on. I, like, that's I, like, what I'm saying wait, is I think you're smart I enough think... to infer but that I he's not being that... so dumb that he thinks that Harvey Weinstein doesn't get any attention from women. Except except he was pretty dumb in this conversation on multiple points. So I don't think that that's I don't think that's a I I I don't think that that's a fair thing. Like if I think somebody's that's an unfair Assum I, well, the thing is, is that that's still an assumption that you're making about what it is that he believes, and it's an unfair assumption. In yeah, but if he doesn't communicate anything else, why would I? Why would I grant him that undue level of charity? That saying, like, if he's not, if he's not expressing an understanding of, of like, uh, of ge like gender balance in our society at all, if he's not expressing that at all, which he didn't, yeah, I don't believe he did. And then, if, why would I also assume he would have an understanding of class analysis? Well, okay. So, well, he did kind of explain a decent amount about like class and the difference between class and individuals and things along those lines. So there is at least, there's at least an idea there that okay. he might have an idea there. But here's what I will say: mm -hmm. um, being able to delve into what somebody's saying and accurately describe uh, their argument to a point in which they can't really contend with your particular rephrasing mm -hmm. is an incredibly valuable. Uh, and very difficult to learn skill that is extremely rhetorically effective. Yeah, I um, did that in this conversation. Mm, I did that specifically when he was trying to talk about threat and aggressor. He completely bungled his own point, and I understood what he was trying to say, and he couldn't get it out. And I explained it back to him, and then he agreed with me and didn't realize he was agreeing with me. Wasn't his point originally that it's reasonable for men to be presumed to be the bigger threat in a domestic violence situation, but yes. it's unreasonable to presume them to be the aggressor? No, he said – no, okay. He said – oh, my God. So he claimed – You know what? You know what? <laughs> this is relitigating the debate. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. You've to. done this five bajillion times. Bajillion I've times. watched you do it at least several times. You I know, I'm yeah. not – no <laughs> but fair enough not doing it okay fair enough um <clears throat> so can you at least accept that saying this whole thing has been an incel rabbit hole is at the very least like implying that he's an incel no might not be directly no, calling no, no, no. him i don't in, i don't think it implies he's an incel but it does imply that he is he is he is presenting some incel talking points I think that is fair. I will I will cop to that. But uh, come on, that's like a huge jump. That's like being like, I don't I know. I don't think so. If I were to have like an hour and a half long conversation with you where I then like about an hour well, then, or 10 but in by that get same, like super, okay. super angry and then I say, okay, this whole thing has been like a fucking blue haired fucking I, – I, I, I don't want to use that example because you're on Twitch. <laughs> SJW? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's no. That's I don't want to say that. Uh, I okay, I had okay. it's so, the it's it's the brain thing that starts with an A. Okay. Yes. Please don't do that. Um, yeah. Th that's 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 beyond just Twitch. But but but. 
okay, I, I, yeah, then I here's the thing. But it would I would say it's that hole that, if, I, that if, we're in. If right that's now. true, then I then I feel like then I feel like he could have uh, uh with that same level of charitability when he was talking about uh like titty streamers uh predating on lonely men that I could say that well you're just calling them sluts to the same like yeah you can you can follow that but i didn't fucking sit there and just call him an incel like i exp i explained why that was the case one second gotta welcome in the raid welcome raiders from the doe herd right you're a herd right the doe herd welcome lovely lexiites welcome come in get comfy we are doing the demon mama meg uh self own mega critique and currently i'm getting uh laser focus analyzed on one of my previous debates and then we're going to do a little more very happy to have you our website is finally back up so if you want to come and hang out on screen with all the fancy um fancy emotes come on in and uh yeah shoot me a follow we would love to have you join the imps you can be a doe and an imp at the same time thank you so much for the raid lexi very happy to have you all here um, rhetorical critique very nitpicky while you can true. call a bunch of doe a herd you can also call them a bunch a mob a parcel or a rungala i didn't know that i don't even know what a rungala is but now i well now i kind of it's do. a group of deer that's awesome <laughs> um anyway yeah <laughs> that was so, done with me i'm very sorry yeah, I, I i think that while I, I think i can understand that being like this feels like like saying like oh this is like a um like like i feel like we've gone on an incel rabbit hole like I will say that that can that could come across as me characterizing his arguments as incelly, but I just I think that there is a distinction to be made between literally being like she called me an incel. No, I said very specifically this sounds like incel talking points. Those are different things. Sorry. Well, I'm gonna stick to my said guns on that one. We're going down. Sorry. We, you said this whole thing, which would indicate the whole conversation, has been an incel rabbit hole. So everything he says has been incelly. That doesn't incel change. It doesn't change the the substance of what I just said. I they were believe, they are. I believe that in any other context, if I were to say we're going down a rabbit hole of blah, then it would imply that I'm calling you blah. We're going down a nitpicking rabbit hole. Yeah, I guess. I guess if you yes. take things super boom, personally, boom, boom, sure. and then yeah, confirm a point by insulting me. You fell what? into your own trap. Aha. I wasn't. Um. <laughs> Big Lundy, Ugh. you're good at philosophy, but you got You got to bump up your Duncan. I don't want to though because dunking feels mean. But it feels I don't like good being too. mean to people. I don't like being mean to people. It's I like, rude. I do. I like being mean to people. Especially, I I especially like to be mean to people who say they don't like being mean, but they kind of want to be mean. Well, I mean, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and move on <laughs> all right. before I say something silly. Um. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. So one other thing that I wanted to say, sure. uh, and this is something that I have seen you do in a, a decent amount of conversations that you okay. might have with other progressives. Okay. When it's contentious, you have this habit when you go on very long, like explanations of a point to okay. say basically things that a, a, another progressive probably already knows. Um, it's like um, you said, if you took the time to research this, you'd realize a lot of women you get a lot of unwanted sexual attention uh -huh. and things like that. Now, I think he made many points throughout that whole debate to indicate that he's aware of that mm. and that this is not exactly a contentious issue for him. Um, and this is something that you've done for um, other conversations as well. Um, when in my second call that I have with you, there was a lot of talking about how bad Republicans are. I already know that. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not necessary for you to talk about that. And yeah. the thing that's kind of like uh, about it is that it comes off as you kind of inadvertently accusing the other person of just not knowing those things. And if it's like a basic progressive point, it it it's slightly insulting, which. To be fair, at that point in the debate, you were both being extremely rude to each other. So, eh. But <laughs> it's not the only time you've ever done that is the thing. Yeah, but I mean, there's there's another aspect I think that you're not considering here, which is that I have an audience, always. I always have hundreds of people watching. So it's important for me to be able to establish things. In fact, on my previous, on the analysis of the previous one, 
one of the things that I explicitly stated I need to get better at is by is is at setting up things so that the audience that's coming in later can understand what the fuck is being talked about. Because if I assume that the audience is going to know everything that I'm talking about, that's gotten me in trouble more than almost anything else. In fact, that was like probably my biggest critique of myself in the Hippy Dippy Rumble, the the recent one, the one that I lost to Vosh. I think that biggest thing that I did there was I didn't establish the fact that John is like uh, playing nice and is actually a massive, massive, massively fragile sexist whose a, a majority of his content is devoted to just making fun of women for being women. And I think that was a huge mistake because, but now, now I could, there's a lot of ways that that could have come across as insulting to people who think that they already know that, but that's a personal thing. You know what I mean? I recognize yeah. that there's some people who are going to not, who are going to know this stuff already, but if I'm communicating to the audience, they need to know why I'm saying things. And sometimes that involves me having to explain certain concepts. And I also, no, I, I, I yeah. do agree with that when you're so, okay. In that instance, the reason why I think it's okay to do it a lot more when you're arguing with somebody who's like, either right, right-leaning, or anything yeah. along those lines, or even just like kind of like a neolib, um, there are points that you can make that are basic progressive points mm -hmm. that they probably either disagree with, don't think is true, or don't know, mm -hmm. that you can reasonably infer from where they are on the political scale. Eh, but, I don't like doing that, though. Like, that's that's too much. That's, that's too, I don't know. Like, sometimes, yeah, there's some extremes where it's like, yeah, I think I can assume that but but like that's gotten me into so much trouble you know how many fucking left like lefties who say that they're a progressive or say that they're this or that and then they end up fucking catching them doing fucking class reductionism or or anti-lgbt or weird traditionalism shit i don't know it's too frequent i don't like giving people that much chance it's not worth risking the audience on it mm. if they get offended and they're that sensitive then yeah i don't know i well sorry for being sensitive but <laughs> Uh, I think that it is important to, um, I don't know, try not to condescend necessarily, I think would be the main thing. Um, at least not to people who don't necessarily deserve it. Yeah. Um, obviously, in the cases like people that everybody knows is like dumb or wrong or somebody who just says something that's so batshit off the wall, like the way we fix patriarchy is by changing the way we write rom-coms um in those instances a little condescension hey! might be called for <laughs> that was a dunk from big lundy hey look at that everybody Listen. damn fucking taking shots at another collar i see i got gotcha, you uh, i got gotcha, you i get i'm you. sorry i just my nah, mind that was, was a good one i like it one. i liked I... it i liked it <laughs> i don't I... What, what the hell was his point i'm sorry i'm getting off i'm getting off i think that in those and there are many instances in which you can you can definitely condescend to people. There's a lot of people who end up deserving it for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. And those are the people who have demonstrated a level of like just absolute inanity that mm -hmm. it's just okay. Like for instance, when like not to reference Vosh too, he too heavily here, but mm -hmm. Vosh had an argument with a, 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 a global warming denier. And mm -hmm. I think like, I want to say for 30% of it, he was just kind of laughing and making fun of him, mm -hmm. which in one sense you might be able to say is just is just wrong but in another sense he had already made all of his points and the other guy was just responding with the science is wrong it's all a conspiracy fucking reptilians mm -hmm. like it was it was it was insane so mm -hmm. the only option there is to laugh at him and make fun of him mm -hmm. um so it, scale that down a little bit and then you can say that if somebody says something that's clearly absurd or, or or silly, then a little bit of condescension is okay. But when you're having a conversation with somebody who is also progressive or leftist or anything along those lines, until they hit that point, the condescension can be kind of like blowing your load too early. You know yeah, what I mean? I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. That was a similar critique to what Vosh had for me. Yeah, I agree. I think that there's there's better timing, and part of that I think is about establishing establishing why someone deserves it i think i did a good job with that with rob and i did a bad job with john burke because um part of that was just a miss a misread of the audience i assumed dylan's audience would be way more familiar with uh john burke than they were because i wasn't super familiar with john burke and i know john burke's been on dylan's show before that was a bad assumption on my part because rob 
they knew like everybody fucking everyone knows, knows rob yeah. rob's a goof rap god rob yeah rap god rob <laughs> fucking rambling rob over there but um but yeah like like but that didn't happen with john burke and i didn't know that like literally nobody knows who he is and uh that was a yeah yeah i definitely had no idea yeah. well yeah that was the problem that was part of the problem so yeah i agree with you on that i just think that like i think that that yeah it's 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 a it's a, it's a matter of timing and uh i can definitely get better at that i think everybody can i think i think everyone can improve on that but i definitely can for sure that's some one of the things i've already have noted so yeah i appreciate that one okay um well just zach sorry uh for being on so long but that was the end of my notes so hey, i'll go. go ahead and leave now and satisfy you uh, you're good, um you're good. i have listen good thing good news is just zach as as much as you've made a great emotes today, you don't run the show. I get to choose the show, so you can stay on as long as I want you. So do you have anything else? And then I'll... Um, no, those those were all of my main notes. Um, yeah, I think that's uh that, that's all my. Was there anything that I said that was like that like really sunk in or or like you took on board or anything along yeah, those lines? Yeah, like... yeah, I think I think so. Like I appreciate it. I think that. I think certain aspects I feel are are kind of a a, th a callback to this, like all right I get it you always think I'm hostile I know but uh, <laughs> but other things I do think that you're right about controlling the scope better I do think that um, I I do think that uh, like timing the con condescension or at least establishing some deserving of it would be very very effective and you know I always think that there's that there's room to buff up my sort of factuality my my having proper definitions for common gotchas and stuff like that and whatever and i think that's fair i think those are all fair okay well i thank you for uh bringing me on uh and Thanks talking to me on. about all these things Absolutely. uh you made the fact that i watched you for a good solid hour and a half and wrote down a bunch of notes not a waste of time <laughs> well i mean i appreciate that you do that like you know no, it's the least I can do. I appreciate you being willing to take the time to critique me. It means the world to me. So, all right, I'm off. Chat. See Don't you later, Big Lundy. About and, me anymore. And I'm sure we'll talk again in the future. All right. Quite possibly. Yeah. Have a good night. I have a feeling you'll get mad at me again, and we'll talk again soon, all right? I don't get mad. I oh, just get concerned. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Perfect stoic. Big Lundy. I, the, just, the I just get concerned calm. is yeah, all. Just, concerned. A little, just a little concerned. Ah, yes. Concerned. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. Always nice to talk to you, and much non-parasocial love, all right? Have a good night, everybody. Good night. All right. That's that. All right. All right. That's okay. that. So, all right. We're going to do one last – we're going to do one last little thing, okay? Because uh, it's getting late, and I'm it's ten, hour 10 of my stream. Um, and I just want to say one thing, which is I, wanna, I want to be – to end off the self-critique by talking about what I could have done in one place better in the Hippie Dippy Championship, okay? And it's simple. One, I miss I misgaged the approach that John Burke was gonna have, and I could have done way better. Two, I misjudged how easy it would be for me to look like a shrieking banshee on a panel of just me with three dudes. It's just true. It sucks, but it's true. So I need to get better at that. And third, third. I didn't take home the belt. That's the third one. A meme. A fucking three. Yeah, right. I didn't take home the belt. That was the biggest mistake. The biggest mistake is I didn't fucking take home the belt. But honestly, those were my two big critiques. Before I, before we, we finish off the stream or anything like that, real quick question. Is there anything that I missed in this self-critique stream? Is there anything that I missed that you all want to bring up? Because today was a lot. We went through my stuff. I, I took extensive notes. I listened to multiple people critique me from all kinds of angles. And this is the second one I've done this week. So, oh, thank you, Hexagram. I know I have, uh, unfortunately, I feel like this, <laughs> I'm wrong about Monkey versus Lizard. I'm not wrong about Monkey versus Lizard. I fucking love King Kong, okay?
You can you can buzz right off with that, all right? What was the best critique I got? Honestly, let me take a look here. The best critique I got today? Let's take a look here. The best critique I got was the one that I got on, uh, oh, who, who wins the critiques trophy today? Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, Vor buddy. Thanks, Kubi Rells. I think Elak Caval wins the, the, the award today. Yeah, but guess what? Sorry, hot take, Astronomus. Vosh's, Vosh's, Vosh playing it cool would not have worked if I wasn't there for him to, if for him to be cool in comparison to. I'm sorry, but that's true. That I, I know. Listen, I'm not saying that Vosh couldn't do it without me, but that was a two. That was a fucking two-player show, okay? And my my fucking heel shit to his. His face was so good. And you know what? I didn't get the belt, but I did make it an amazing show. I did and generated one of the best memes ever. The Rap God Rob meme, which leftist Jeff Tederick put together. So maybe I didn't get the belt, but I did win your heart. And that's more important at the end of the day. Okay, so yeah, Elak Caval wins today. Elak Caval wins the, Elak Caval gave me a lot of feedback, a lot of really useful feedback. And I got to say, Elak, thank you. Elak gets the trophy for today. Somebody make sure you let them know. I think Elak went to bed. And of course me, obviously I get the trophy because I fucking tore into myself today. And at the end of the day, though, in Mama versus Mama, Mama wins, which was the goal. Okay? That was the goal. <sighs> DM. Demon Mama, the ultimate Demon Mama. That's fair, Lenoira. Mama v Mama, and the winner is Mama. Actually, you want to know who the real winner is? This is the secret. Shh. The real winner? The real winner is you. You all won. You got entertained for 10 hours, and you just helped your the show that you like get better. You just you just participated in the process of making your own entertainment more entertaining. You won. The real winner was you, and I fooled you this whole time. I told you that you were going to help me win, but I actually helped you win. Ten head. Ten head take. 